there it is. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you're watching this and it does not say live at the bottom of the screen, unfortunately, you're watching the recap. The good news is we are live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open. Drop your thumbs up on the video. Make sure you're subscribed. You're on mobile. Press hot chat. X out the chat. Hit the thumbs up button. Second link for the nightly watch list and main channel. First link for the Scream Alerts boot camp and real estate course. But, ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to Friday. It has already been a wild week. Beware the Ides of March. A lot of people say a lot of things about the middle of March. That's where we are entering. This week has already been insane. We had CPI, then PPI. This morning, you had Empire Manufacturing, and that actually came in lower, even export, import prices. They ended up dropping off of it. We had that data there, but all in all, this was all this setup getting ready for next week. There's not anything too crazy. We get a little bit of data here in the morning, but we are just taking in what this week has brought us and getting us set up now into Powell. So, Chad, I hope you're ready. You got a little bit of news out of China. They snapped their seven-week uh, winning streak. And then uh, Japan, the yen went down, even though you had some news that would have helped it out. So I'd watch the dollar. Gold started uh, coming down, and then oil, they also started off a little weaker. So we will see where that takes us. But Chattadonia, I hope you're locked and loaded. Today should be either very chill or very exciting. The option market is pricing in a decent move for today's expiration. So we'll see how it is. But Chattadonia! Good morning. What up, Lori? What up, Battleborn? How you living, BMO? Theodore, Ben, Laker, Jay. Good morning, baby. What up, Najee Wolf? How you living? Kenny, Mark, Jerry, Ben Stone, Troy Lenman in the house, baby. Good morning. Oh, Burrito, Anzel, Jesse, Mr. VIP, Fortune, Kenny D, Jai, Gary, he Hobby, Manson, baby, you feel me, Mark J, S Dub for Mayor, Tony Garlinger, Marcus Hanlon, good morning, baby, what up, Carson, how you living, be fire, what up, winning, loser, tactical trader, dirty bar, Ricardo, CJ Trades, Mitch Matsuno, oh my goodness, happy Friday, baby, what up, Christian, what up, Kate Vandy, Matthew Warman, Cole Pizza, Candy Upton, Ja, brother, Omar, baby, Juan Cito, Cristo, Ryan, J. Biz, Brian Lopez, Humble Business, baby. Good morning. Oh, what up, Brian Hunt? How you living? Matthew Warman, El Chapado, Mega, Anthony, Patrick, Dario, Cam, Stocks on Hinge, C Money, Chris Scanlon, Sean Most, baby. Good morning. What up, Andy? What up, Smars? What up, Carissa Hines? Oh, my goodness. So I'm talking about Floor, Joey, Ken, Monica, Tina, Robert, Jay Samuels, Joey, Kakamo, Alvi, baby. Good morning. What about the Twitch? What about Charlie in the tree, baby? Slizzin, BDA Cookie Monster, Senkal Hustle, Braxton, Angeles, Kurt at Bait, baby, S. Jones Jacks, Braxton, LV Lover, KJ Lemur, Nikki I Smash, Vasily Wolf, Blizzy B, Ibex, Most Dope Andy, It's Mums, AC Dolphin Punch, and External. Or Externo, Externo Trucks. I don't know how to I think I said it. The Pajank. Damn royalty. Robo Hand Tech and Uncle Nick, baby. Good morning. <laughs> so, Chad Adonia, I think you guys are ready to go off Friday. I hope you have liked the video. That's a great way to show that you're ready. But either way, good morning. We're going to have... Are you kidding me? What is this? Bradley Frizzle and then $100. Asset work. Bradley Frizzle and the peach. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's here, pre-market, with a huge dono. Are you kidding me? Happy Friday, baby horn. Let's go, baby. That's it, work. God bless you, bro. And Bradley, pre-market, baby. We hitting them pre-market. Oh, my gosh. That's a, that's a lot of energy for Friday, baby. I don't know if they can handle it. I don't know if they can handle it. God bless you all. Brian Hunt, toe, baby. 1,200 likes before the horn. God bless you, baby. Thank you. Wow, that's a great way to start the morning. I haven't even got over. I just got the good mornings finished, baby. Oh, my goodness. So, Chad, get ready. We're going to have a good one here today. Shout out to Asset. Shout out to Bradley Frizzle and Brian. Let me get you Josh AI. Take in as much info as you can, and then I'm going to close it out with the final headlines, and then we're going to get into plays, and then start our day.
Amen, amen, amen. Stocks, Treasury steady at end of volatile week. Stocks and bonds are ending the week on firmer footing after the latest U.S. inflation data weakened the case for imminent Federal Reserve rate cuts. Futures on the Nasdaq 100 and San P500 were steady while Treasuries recovered following a sharp sell-off on Thursday's overshoot on producer price index data. The San P500 is set to end the week with a small gain ahead of the Fed's policy meeting next week. Doubts about whether policymakers can take their foot off the monetary break are creeping into otherwise bullish markets that have taken stock indexes to fresh highs. European stocks are on track for their eighth consecutive week of gains, the longest winning streak since 2018, lifted by conviction that euro-area interest rates will start to fall in the coming months. Equities could face additional volatility with Friday's multiple options expiry, known as a triple witching. Markets are now especially vulnerable to any setback, either in optimistic economic outlooks or bets on monetary easing, according to Guy Miller. Chief Market Strategist at Zurich Insurance Company LTD. I think we're getting to a more challenging period in markets because we've had all of the good news, Miller said. There isn't much risk premium priced into risk assets and therefore if any of the following happen, namely if we don't have a soft landing or no landing or if we don't have a rate cut this year. That's going to becomes a problem for the market. Japan's yen weakened. A rate hike has been largely priced in by markets. But a slow pace of tightening after that would reduce the yen's yield advantage over the dollar as the Fed remains cautious about lowering borrowing costs. The yen is struggling to trade higher, showing how a U.S. Treasury sell-off can still overcome the impact of positive monetary policy developments. According to currency strategists at ING Bank NV including Francesco Pisol, the Fed is expected to keep rates unchanged at the March 19, 20 meeting for the fifth straight gathering, where the focus will be on the central bank's new dot plot. The median forecast of policymakers in December showed three-quarter point rate reductions for 2024. Copper, typically seen as a bellwether of the global economy, surged to $9,000 a ton, as bets that a pickup in global manufacturing activity will push up demand for industrial commodities. Also in commodities, oil held near a four-month high after the IEA forecast a supply deficit through 2024, changing its earlier projection of a surplus. On the premise OPEC Plus maintains production cuts. Bitcoin fell Friday, retreating from its all-time peak of almost $73,798 a day earlier. Data Vacuum it's been a busy week for economic data in the U.S. as the market gears up for what the Federal Reserve will say next Wednesday. Inflation and unemployment reports have given officials more reasons to hold off on cutting interest rates, pushing Treasury yields higher in recent days. The adjustment means markets and the Fed are now on the same page when it comes to rate cuts, more on that from Christine below. With no significant data prints on the calendar before the Fed meets to decide on interest rates and release its dot plot. Markets may tread water as investors assess the outlook with the information gathered this week. San P500 futures and the dollar are slightly up to start the day, while treasuries are flat. Japan in play. Alongside the Fed, decisions from central banks in the UK and Japan are also due next week. The latter could be the most market moving, especially with speculation intensifying that the Bank of Japan will raise interest rates for the first time since 2007. Japan's largest union group announced stronger than expected annual wage deals earlier today, adding more fuel to bets the central bank will move this month instead of waiting until April. A former BOJ official sees a chance the bank's policy board will seize the opportunity. Though a Bloomberg survey of economists earlier this week showed a slim majority still saw April as more likely. Big-name investors are making large bets before the decision. Bitcoin retreats. The cryptocurrency is, believe it or not, actually falling today. The largest digital asset set a fresh record of almost $73,798 on Thursday before beginning its descent, which comes amid signs that speculative fervor is petering out in the derivatives market. Coinglass data earlier showed $526 million worth of bullish crypto wagers were liquidated in 24 hours, the most in about two weeks. There has been so much money chasing the crypto rally that the assets attracted a record $3.4 billion worth of inflows in the week ending March 13. According to the latest flow show report from the team at Bank of America. U.S. stock funds also drew a record $56.1 billion. China's chip champions. The Chinese government is accelerating its campaign to reduce reliance on Western imports and boost its homegrown semiconductor industry. Authorities have asked electric vehicle makers to ramp up their purchases from local auto chip makers and are directly instructing firms to avoid foreign semiconductors if at all possible. It comes after Washington opened an investigation into potential data and cybersecurity risks posed by internet connected cars from China, including EVs. U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo in January expressed concern that data collected by the cars could wind up in Beijing's hands and is overseeing an investigation that may result in sales restrictions in the U.S. Top overnight news. China left its one-year MLF rate unchanged and withdrew liquidity from the banking system as the government prioritizes currency stability over stimulus. 
RTRS. China's home prices continued to fall in February, underscoring the challenge for authorities as they step up efforts to salvage the beleaguered market. BBG. The Chinese government has quietly asked electric vehicle makers from BYD Co. to Geely Automobile Holdings LTD to sharply increase their purchases from local auto chip makers. Part of a campaign to reduce reliance on Western imports and boost China's domestic semiconductor industry. BBG. Japan's unions reveal more evidence of robust wage hikes in the latest round of negotiations, providing further impetus for a BOJ rate increase next week. RTRS. OpenAI is in talks to raise money from Abu Dhabi for the firm's new AI chip venture it hopes will reduce its reliance on NVIDIA semiconductors. FT. Electricity demand in the U.S. has been flat for nearly 20 years but is suddenly starting to surge on back of an explosion in data centers, a resurgence in domestic manufacturing. And the advent of electric vehicles. NYT. Vodafone sells its Italian business to Swisscom for an enterprise value of EU8B, and the company is updating its capital return framework. W the dividend cut to 4.5p per share while the buyback is increased. RTRS. The U.S. plans to award more than $6 billion to Samsung to expand beyond a project in Texas, People Familiar said. Federal funding for the chipmaker would come alongside significant additional investment by the company. BBG. President Javier Milei's sweeping executive decree was rejected by the Argentine Senate and now goes to the lower house of Congress, where a simple majority can scrap it. This is the first presidential edict in recent memory to be repealed by the Senate. BBG. The focus on artificial intelligence has re-intensified in 2024. Initial ebullience about AI in 2023 drove a massive increase in public and investor focus on AI, as measured by search volumes and news stories. These measures plateaued in 2H 2023, albeit at a high level, but have surged again in 2024. Similarly, the share of SanP 500 companies mentioning AI on earnings calls dipped slightly from 35% in 2Q 2023 to 31% in 3Q 2023. However, the share increased to 37% in 4Q 2023, led by Infotech and Com Services. GIR. GIR. So, that's a majority of the news, quite a bit, uh, even though we're in this uh, market breather mode. Uh, but S&P futures, they are down by 0.1 Friday pre-market trading off of some overnight weakness follows a mixed Thursday that saw bigger moves in MAG7 names, but more notable weakness in equal weight S&P. Treasuries mixed with curve flattening comes after a four-day run-up in yields across the curve. Dollar flat, though the greenback stronger on the yen. Gold little change, Bitcoin off by two and now lower for the week. WTI down by 0.7, but remains on track for a weekly gain. Fairly uneventful session expected at the tail end of a week with several moving parts. Path of least resistance has remained to the upside, anchored by soft landing thesis and expectations for eventual Fed rate cuts. AI optimism also remains a key tailwind. Equity inflows have been strong and analysts and commentators this week have increasingly pushed back on bubble worries, some focus on broadening leadership. That said, this week's mixed economic data including yesterday's hot PPI, highlighted potential bumpy road ahead. Recent big backup in Treasury yields has been a drag, and sentiment remains stretched with the S&P looking at its 17th weekly gain of the past 20. There are thoughts that the market could be more vulnerable to bad news. Headlines fairly quiet with a lot of market attention pulled towards next week's NVIDIA AI developer conference, a potential hike from the BOJ, and Wednesday's FOMC meeting. However, still some notable data on today's calendar. New York Empire Manufacturing moved further in a contraction with a notable decline in new orders. February import export prices rose faster than expected. Industrial production and preliminary March U Mitch sentiment uh, is yet to come in terms of overseas development. Uh, France, February final CPI revised higher. In Asia, Bank of Japan tightening expectations coalescing around March with GG press conference reporting Thursday. Central Bank has begun preparations to exit NERP. PBOC left MLF rate unchanged but unexpectedly drained 94 billion yuan, making it the first time a withdrawn and liquidity has happened since November 2022. On the earnings front, uh, Adobe, earnings and revenue a bit better, but guidance underwhelmed, particularly digital media, though analysts still generally bullish on generative AI prospect. Ulta, earnings beat, company announced a new buyback, some focus on higher promos and light full-year EPS guidance. Smar, another report that underwhelmed on guidance with some slowing in business momentum and SMB struggles. 
PD guidance overshadowing largely in line report outside of earnings. McDonald's coping with system disruptions in Asia. ISRG helped by FDA clearance of next generation robot. Boeing still in the headlines with reports. UAL is looking to replace delayed 737 orders by leasing Airbus jets. Wow, and then spy a little lower. Pre-market, there's still a little bit more. Uh, dismissing risk of stagflation, investors pump over $56 billion in U.S. equities led by tech. Flow data shows money market assets hit another record high amid dialing back of Fed rate cut expectations. Society General says market not in a bubble. S&P would need to rise 20% to resemble 1990s bubble. With latest hot PPI reading, Fed has more reason to wait on interest rate cuts. U.S. electricity demand surging after holding flat for two decades. City budgets starting to see stress from loss of commercial real estate taxes. PBOC unexpectedly drains medium-term liquidity for first time since November 2022. Bank of Japan said to be in final preparation for rate hike next week after latest wage data. Bank of Japan seen by most that it will end negative rates in April, but growing numbers see decision coming this month. Adobe delivers weak sales outlook for current quarter and concerns new A startups uh, are a competitive threat. McDonald's suffering after disruptions in Japan, Australia, and elsewhere. Cleveland Cliffs to reconsider another bid for U.S. Steel if Nepal of uh, Nippon offer fails. Inflation and high interest rates drive corporate defaults to highest since financial crisis. ByteDance U.S. investors weigh options on TikTok ban as Mnuchin looks to purchase uh, from the company. Apple acquires Canadian startup Darwin AI, adds dozens of Canadian company staffers to their AI division. United Airlines is close to securing three dozen or more Airbus jets as they look to replace Boeing 737 MAX 10 orders. China home prices decline quicken with property support measures yet to bear fruit. China activity data expected to slow, show slow start of the year. China credit growth curbed amid financing activity due to Lunar New Year. China loosens tourist visa restriction and move to boost economy. China NPC financial measures may be more stimulative than headline numbers suggest. IEA says Red Sea diversions boosting demand for oil due to fuel needs for longer routes. U.S. Senate signals opposition of speeding up TikTok sale on ban of legislation. House Speaker Johnson expects to pass separate Ukraine funding bill with Democratic votes. Judge rejects Trump's bid to have classified document case dismissed. Hamas presents ceasefire proposal detailing exchange of hostages and prisoners, but Israel wary. Wow, that's it. That's all of it. That's all of it. It seemed like it was never ending there. So good morning, Chad. Again, a lot of headlines here. Maybe we get a little bit of movement. I mean, you're already moving pre-market, but... Like we said, a lot of people are already punting towards next week. So it doesn't mean we can't move here today, but if you really are going to start moving, again, Powell and getting ready for all that data, that's probably going to be the kicker. But that being said, we got some pre-market movers. Have no fear, Vodafone. Uh, They're up 4.2, Swisscom to acquire Vodafone for $8 billion, report return $4 billion in share buybacks. ISRG up 3.9, FDA clearance of 5th gen robotic system, DaVinci 5. Rivian up 3.8, Piper Sandler upgrade to overweight. Stellantis up 2.8, Piper Sandler upgrades to overweight. Micron 2.4, SCCO 2.3, Pinduo Duo up 2.2, Deutsche Bank transfers buy. PSTG up 2.2, City initiates buy. Eric up 1.9, Vodafone Sympathy. Madrigal up 24, FDA approved of res diftra to treat results with NASH consistent with moderate to advanced liver fibrosis. GCT up 8.4 off earnings. Getty 4.5 earnings. VKTX 4.2. IAG 2.6. BHC up 2.4. EQX up 2.4. Lucid 2.3. BKE up 2.2 off earnings. GEO up 2.2. PAC B 2.0. SWI 1.9. $1 special dividend. Uh, Gurn or Jern, so we talked about this one yesterday. They're up 79 FDA panel votes to benefits outweigh the risk of IntelliSat for intended population. Zio up 50%. CDLX up 42. Earnings in agreement with American Express. FSR up 29%. Engaging in strategic partnership with large automaker. Bloomberg citing emailed statement. Uh, AVD up 18 off earnings. ACBA 18.6 off earnings. GNS 14.7. Weight Watchers up 10 on track to beat previously recorded full year 24 guidance for end of the period clinical subscribers. 
LICY up 9.1, ACTG up 8.3 off earnings, TSVT 6.1, TLS up 6 off earnings, RXT up 5.5, LAC up 4.7, Groupon up 4.6 off earnings, APLD 4.3 to sell Garden City Campus to Marathon Digital, Very up 4, Swin up 3.9, PWFL up 3.4, Craig Hallium initiates buy, Nova up 3.3, Ehang up 2.9 off earnings, Adobe down 11 off earnings, Jabil down 10.5 off earnings, Ulta down 8 off earnings, Abbott down 1.9, NEM down 1.8, HP down 1.3, SMAR down 10 off earnings, PD down 9.1 off earnings, SMR down 8.7 off earnings, Audity down 4.8, 4.8 million secondary offering, Cop N down 16.9, PBM down 13.8, BW down 12.5 off earnings, HIB down 11.5 off earnings, Blink down 5.5 off earnings, AISP down 3, GPMT down 2.3, cuts quarterly dividend by 25%, and then select semis lower and Bitcoin stocks trading lower. Wow. No data. You had bad manufacturing data. And then the prices, they came in a little lower. Uh, but other than that, uh, we're waiting for consumer sentiment. Adobe, I have those shares from yesterday. I'm mo probably going to flip out of it, though. I'm not going to hold that too long. I had flashbacks of the last time I played Adobe. And I remember I held that for like months. So I'm going to try to get out of the Adobe. But for now, it's either going to break 500 and go to the four, like 490s down to 480. Or it's going to bounce back up to 520 to 530. So we'll see. We will see. But Chattadonia, that is everything, man. That's it. I only got a couple of plays. Adobe, ISRG, uh, watching Jabil as well. Going to keep an eye on some of the chips. Marvel and Arm and then Square and then keeping a play on Bonds. Nothing too crazy. Again, we'll see where the market goes. But I'm in some plays already that I think have kind of just been floating around this week again we've moved around on dollar gold bonds oil all of that stuff but haven't really uh hit a new level so we'll see how that plays out we got a little bit of time i might use this to go to the bathroom so follow me on instagram at the trading fraternity time to get prepared when i come back i hope you have plays and i hope you're ready to start the morning because it's almost here baby on a friday so good morning i will brb Strong as 10, so, regular, so you see this equalizing. feedback loop between mm -hmm. higher uh, Nikkei 225 and higher dollar yen, which, by the way, is another factor uh, that I do think uh, has helped uh, keep the yen weaker than maybe uh, you might have otherwise expected, Danny. Matt, I'm so happy we were able to, to give you a throwback to your days in Japan, to your starting days at Morgan Stanley. What a lovely way to end it. Matt, Brian, we're going to have to end it there. Matt Hornbach and Brian Levitt, thank you so much. All right, just some more economic data hitting the terminal. Let's get over to Abigail Doolittle, who has the details. Hey, Abby. Hey, Danny. Yes, we do indeed have some breaking news here. The U.S. February industrial production uh, broke just moments ago, and it did rise uh, one-tenth of one percent on a month-over-month -month basis. That's slightly better than the estimate for zero percent, but where the bigger surprise is for a January revision. Uh, we are looking at a revision to uh, 78, uh, excuse me, to uh, down half a percent from uh, down thir uh, a third of a percent. Excuse me. That is, uh, yes, and that, that is a revision that uh, suggests that maybe January, the industrial production, that output from some of the uh, industrial establishments, well, it was a little bit weaker than expected, Danny. And, and that data having a big impact on equity is down about a third of 1%. More hot inflation data coming in. Abby, thank you so much. Now, coming up, we're going to get to your morning calls. And later, SoFi's Liz Young says, don't fight the tape. She's going to join us at the opening bell to explain. This is Bloomberg. This is Bloomberg. <laughs> yeah, Gary. Bro, I emailed you back, man. That shit broke my heart. I wanted I wanted more confirmation. But yeah, I got it, bro. Thank you for letting me know. That mumbling was me mumbling the song in the background. I don't know. It's like a K-pop Samsung commercial. But Or unless you're talking about her, I have no idea what she said. But Chattadonia, we've gone over the place. There, You didn't check now? I sent one last night. But Chattadonia, you're here right now. The morning's about to begin. 
I don't know if you understood the lady on the TV, but tell me right now, what is your first play of the day? What is the first play of the day, baby? What do you have for me? Let's go. Post it in the chat. TLT. Spy put, Tesla put, Law Netflix, Protect Profits, Scalping, SoxX, XLF, Wall 60, Calls, Apple put, Spy Call, NQ put, Spy put, Spy, Spy Call, Spy put, Spy Call, SMCI, Tesla, Gold Plays, UVIX, Spy 500, Apple Calls, Coffee, Coin Puts, Dina, Short Everything, Vu for the Long Term, Short Netflix, KR Continuation, YCL, NVIDIA, Cry Over NVIDIA, Life Savings in a Tesla, I'm on lunch right now at work, Palantir, QQQ, Meta, UVXY, Wait, Forex, SMCI put, Spy put, Short Celsius, Puts on Everything, Long Apple put Palo Alto still in Adobe 495 spy put hello Nvidia clap spy Neo Jesus spy with the cheek lay MNST XLE in the final plays <clears throat> Josh coin spy puts Google I love oatmeal and XLE wow My goodness, Chadadonia. On that note, <clears throat> I hope you guys are feeling good. We got everything out of the way. But now here at the Colt, before we do anything, before we try to chase a dollar, before we try to enrich ourselves, we must pay homage to a very special group of people that has sacrificed more than most of us ever have and ever will. And I am talking about the veterans of the United States of America. So on behalf of the cult, the people here, the people not here, I want to give a huge special shout out. All the active servicemen, past servicemen, anybody who has served this country, even their families for real. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you for your services. Whether you've agreed with everything or not, you did it for people you didn't even know. So thank you, and I hope the least all of you could do is show this love and appreciation to those vets. So veterans, thank you, thank you, thank you, and big shout-out to anybody else out there giving back to their local communities, all the doctors, nurses, teachers, firefighters, police officers, the janitors, the coaches, the garbage men, anybody making their community run. That's where it all happens, baby. So keep it up, and God bless you, bud. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. <clears throat> Place your right hand over your heart. Say it with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all, baby. Ah. Send it to church! Oh, it's game time, baby. Uh, or no, let's go. Oh, Chatadonia. Are you ready? Are you ready? You buckled up for takeoff, baby. Oh, my goodness. So... How much time we got? I got a minute 30. Oh, yeah. I don't know. We don't fly on Boeings. No, 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 no. Otherwise, we wouldn't land safely. Anyways, Chattadonia, we got one minute till the bell. You guys got about 400 likes until 1,000. So hit that thumbs up on the video. Unlock all the features of the stream. Make some call outs. You have any questions, you let me know, and we'll be good to go. We'll be good to go, baby. That's it. Like that video. Make any call outs. We have less than one minute till the bell. Again, you have data coming out 30 minutes after the bell. That will be the primary set of data we're looking for. And then other than that, watch the dollar, watch the bond yields, see where we end up after this whole week. Keep in mind all the lagging and leading industries and then good luck. So less than 30 seconds. Hit that thumbs up. We need a thousand for the plays. I'm just saying. If we don't have a thousand likes on there, don't get mad at me. And then if the bell rings, it's twelve hundred. It's twelve hundred. So this could get weird, man. This could get weird. Nothing really happened. We just kind of started dumping there. There wasn't anything that set us off. Empire manufacturing was bad and prices went down on export prices. It was borderline good news, but we kind of started dumping here. I think uh consumer sentiment will get us moving a little bit more. 
All right, guys, less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Oh, Ado damn, Adobe already flushed 490 at open. So Adobe starting off lower at the cash open. J and J on the high. Let's see, Altria, they even opened up a little lower. Palanter, a lot of things started off with the early dump. Oh, where is it? Let's see what level we're at. Remember that, like, uh, which one was it? Yeah, 5130. So we are below that, 5120. And then 5100 might be the level we test here today. We'll see how it all wants to play out. Give it a little bit of time. Uh, the Futus, those are still up. Again, take a look at Baba. Again, Netflix going back up. Palanter, Tesla green. Palanter down three. Baba's actually up. We'll see how long that lasts for. Boeing's even going up. JD on the low. Bonds gave up their gains. Again, they, those were a little bit higher earlier. Mm -mm. ZW up one. Wheat. NQ going lower. Indeed. And then Adobe got clapped right off the open. See if Adobe starts moving up. Uh, who was the other one? There's Pager Duty. City's on the high. Banks are starting to go. So Adobe is waking up now. I see Adobe on the high. Baba moving. Pfizer. A thousand percent on MO? No way. Oh yeah, MO's climbing here a little bit more now. Yeah, I have six hundred. So there you go. Those closer to the money ones paying out for you. But yeah, those MOs are still in play. Those are going up. MO SMCI below a thousand. Oh, that's the one I wanted. Where's ARM? Remember, ARM was leading yesterday. It's kind of down right now where the rest of the chips. NVIDIA, there's Apple, what was it, Apple, we did something like this last week, mm. Boeing ripping, TJX moving a little bit, weed stocks, those are on the high today. <clears throat> I don't know if we're back to green on those. And then watch the bonds if they get around. Yeah, we're almost green on weed again. <laughs> no pun intended. Again, MO still rising. Boeing ripping. It is the quad witching. Yes, indeed. The news at 7 is going to be uh, Michigan Consumer Sentiment. So there'll be inflation and uh, inflation gauges as well as just overall optimism and how people are feeling. Again, we're slightly wrapped. That little pre-market dip took us down the most. So we weren't even down that much there to begin with. But you're at the low of yesterday. A couple of things still moving again. Weed, we are now green on weed. We were down on that all week. Data in the morning was Empire Manufacturing and Import Export Prices. IPG, that was from yesterday. Who was the other one? Jern. They had the positive data there from the FDA. Arlo on the high. Uber's coming up. Disney's in the green. Airbnb's down. Again, weed keeps going. Ultra's still holding up. Tesla's in the green. Yeah, 1.5. Spy slightly above VWAP. Bonds are holding barely above break even right now. Again, weed stocks are ripping. So now, again, weed is up 11% right now. AMD, or where's ADM? Yeah, they need to go up a little bit more. Those contracts, wide-ass spread. Tesla, Raul. Well, SPY holding 5.11. Again, we are pricing in about 0.6 for today, and SPY already opened up around 
That's the irony with all of it. Oh, Marvel, I forgot about them. So there's ARM. They're starting to move a little bit. And Apple now. <clears throat> I don't know why weed is up. Even in the yen, too. Yen had data that should have made it go up with what they were talking about with wages and all the reports. But somehow the yen went down. So, again, I think that's just word to the dollar strength here. HD on the high. Bonds are coming down here once again. So those are starting to slip a little bit. Uh, Square is coming up. Remember, they were down yesterday. There's PayPal. Again, weed, I have no idea what happened there. But they ran up. We're green on our weed. Play. Actually, no, I just went negative. Oh, there it is. Someone in Twitch has it. They said, we have learned yesterday that the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency will shortly approve a rescheduling of cannabis to Schedule 3 and the biggest legal hurdle of an international treaty to which the U.S. is a signatory has been resolved favorably. So another DEA declassified. Is that new? That's only I see Chad posting that in the Twitch. I can't verify that yet, but that seems to be the only... Again, that's a big pop. It was just up 11%, so it's not small. I'm double-checking... And then again, SPY still holding VWAP bonds near the low. That seems like huge. It seems like it's old news. I don't know. That's why I'm like, I wonder what's causing it. So like I'm saying, I say that tentatively, but that's the only thing. I'm in MSOS. I've been in it for like a week or two. I think since super after Super Tuesday, I made the play. I'm right. Oh, so that's old. So yeah, I don't think I don't think that's the new news. IWM, yeah, they're in the green, up by point one. Abbott down five. Adobe, they came back down five hundred. Baba green. Yeah, I don't see anything. I don't know what's going on with weed, but they're moving up. Again, MO, you've seen that all week. Uh, Futu, they're still dropping. Yeah, Futu, those contract spreads are widening heavy. ADM would be nice if they could come up. Dell on the low. Yeah, Baba's going up there. And then I think Pinto Duo, they got to upgrade, but they're down. Weed's still going up. NCLH on the high. And then airlines, they're going up as well. Spy, a little cheek lay back down to opening candle. JD, more China names are going up. NVIDIA going for more. Marvel's even going up. And Q new lows. Peloton gassing. Oh, I forgot about Jabil. Jabil. They're starting to bounce again. They had bad earnings. They were down 10% earlier. The MO still chilling. Disney's trying to move up. Airbnb pinned down 1%. DraftKings on the high. Coinbase. Blink. Where is 3M? 3M's held that 103.50 all week, man. Kind of impressive. I didn't think that CEO news would... They had, like, real big carry-through or follow-through. Med popping, ACB running. Metafast. MSTR. Baba's on the high again. I don't know. Our Baba... We made that Baba play yesterday. Their break-even. Again, the weed stocks, they're still moving around. And that Dollar General, remember, they were down yesterday. So DG's kind of waking up right now. Again, I don't think Dollar General's was that bad. That could be interesting if they keep going. Uh, 
Habibi. Uh, Dollar General, they're cheap on some of the contracts, but they're all dead. But if Dollar General wakes up, those will all wake up too. That chain is wild. Meta flushing. And right now, NASDAQ's down three quarters. Spy down 0.5. Dow down 1.2. Russell's actually in the green. Meta is down. AMD in the green. Apple's coming down as well. Microsoft already sold off. Arm is staying pinned. Pfizer's coming up a little bit. Ulta down seven. And yeah, they didn't move as much. It kind of looks like Adobe too. A lot of these earnings pins, so we'll find out here in a little bit. MO moving a little bit off the highs. Weed stock still climbing. Spy just got a candle there off the low of the day. So we're moving up a little bit. Again, your low is 514. 5130, though, you got to get above it. That was that low we were kind of worried about yesterday, if you remember. AAP on the high. So someone else is posting the the DEA news. So I don't know. Maybe that weed news might be new. I'm seeing somebody else post it again. Yeah, there's one five hours ago. That... Quote is from five hours ago. It's so it's not too old, but it does seem like there was some some discussion. So watch out for that. That one's gonna be tentative. Bonds coming up. Spy coming up here too. Bonds actually getting volume. Remember, we have data in twenty minutes. Banks have been up every day. I mean, I feel like they've just been doing good. I was talking about it the other day. Like, I feel like we have really underestimated the uh, strength that solid bank stocks have added to this market. Pfizer going up. They're on the high ticker now. He said, hi. Mm -hmm. oh, there's our friend. NUE on the high. Oh, yeah, where's oil? Airbnb dropping. Adobe slipping now, too. Yeah, oil came down. Still above 80. I'm still in Outlook. Yeah, I'm still... I'm waiting until that data on Outlook. Towards the end of the year. Tesla's still near the high. Where's gold? Gold's coming down a little bit too, actually. No shit. Where's the dollar? And see if the bonds actually break out here. I think dollar's still a little elevated, but it's not showing like scary, scary moves. Mm -mm. Yeah, Weight Watchers gave out good guidance this morning, man. Scammers. Dollar Tree on the high. So watch Dollar General. Like I told you, they have some. Dollar General has some cheap options, but the stock has to like break out. Kind of like Zscaler, if you remember. But Zscaler never broke out of that like earnings range. So watch there again. Weed stock still holding. Lee Auto on the high. Ford, I want to say all automakers are doing good today. Yeah, every single automaker is killing it. The name of the data is Michigan Consumer Sentiment. University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment. You mish. DG JD's going up there. So China names again. China names in China did bad today. That's the irony of all of this. So yesterday, they cooled down a little bit. They cooled down on U.S. exchanges, but China didn't do that good last night. So it's interesting to see Baba, JD, and all of these up. Baidu's break even. Spy hitting new low of the day. So you are going a little lower. 5119. 
So five points away from the low, but you are slipping. Again, gold is coming down. Oil's already lower. Well, today was pricing in 0 0.6, 0 0.7, and we're there right now. So that's going to be the interesting part. It's either we move past that and get a little bit more of a surprise or literally data comes out in 15 minutes and then that's it. So the irony is that you are where the market was pricing in for yesterday. I don't think Dollar Tree is too bad for the long term. Only problem is it just moved up a lot recently. That's it. It may be a high artificially because of elections. Well, I mean, I said this yesterday. The thing that I'm looking for with the data, and I'm sure you guys have noticed this, is that some data the market has reacted to, some it hasn't. So, like, literally, CPI was hot, we went up. That wasn't really a reaction there. Yesterday, PPI was hot, we really went down. So, today, that could, depending on the consumer sentiment, it's either going to cause a direct reaction or we're just, we're literally going to get a knee-jerk reaction on bonds and then everyone's going to ignore it in the next hour or two. So, because remember, you do have this set up into Powell next week. So things can change, but they shouldn't change too much ahead of Powell now. Yeah, we gave it up now. Spy at the lows. Same thing with the bonds as well, too. And NVIDIA. NVIDIA is only down one. I mean, I feel like they're holding up good. AMD's in the green. They're near high. SMCI's down three. Intelia down 0.4. Tesla sold off a little bit, yeah. A couple names that were holding up early in the morning. They just they literally all just had a sell off there. Apple. Adobe. Kava on the highs, VIX up. Remember I told you, if we get above like 16 on the VIX, that could reignite some fear. I didn't see that. I saw the email, but I didn't have a chance to look at it. Uh, XLF's barely red. Metapop. <clears throat> a little bit off the bottom. Gold is coming up. And then Weight Watchers still going up. Yeah, gold just popped up two bucks there. And we just came back down from that earlier pop. Marvel on the high now, finally. I'm still down two bucks a share on Marvel, but it's the first day it's went up. Arm on the high now too, 130. Bonds on the low. Arm, SPR on the high. I don't know if Boeing's going up. And then Spy still hugging the lows. So 5119, again, this is one of those baby levels here. And then five one, and then pretty much five one oh nine to five one oh seven, and then fifty one hundred, and then if you break fifty one hundred, we're looking at fifty eighty. And then if we bounce back to fifty one thirty, then fifty one fifty, pretty much or fifty one forty. So we got a lot of stops on the way up and down. Yeah, Airbnb got clapped today. A lot of things gave up here. Again, Nasdaq's down 0.8, SPY down 0.6, Dow down 0.3. Russell is the only thing in the green by 0.1. And the uh, VIX is up too. All right, 10 more minutes till data.
like I'm saying, you're right around where the market was pricing in. So sure enough, you're closing in right on the data. You may overshoot or undershoot a little bit, but I think we might we may have a little bit of fireworks here. We may have a little bit of fireworks. Dollar is still doing very good. And dollar had a reason to go down today, but the yen just was like, nah. Bullish inflation expectations drop markedly. And then consumer is still optimistic, but not bad. Like sentiment still high, but not like so hot you're worried. Pretty much good consumer sentiment, low price expectations. That would probably be the best outcome. AMD on the high, and now there's Marvel again. Casey on the high. I think Dollar General moving a little bit. Yeah. DG at the high again. Micron again. They were moving a little earlier. And then Weed and then Spy still at the level. Micron is at the high again. Again, Micron, Arm, and Marvel. Those are the ones going up. Arm is actually still in the red. And then gold is waking up all of a sudden. Hi. Oil hasn't woken up. They're still down on the day. MO, they're finally giving down. You haven't literally haven't seen MO go red all week. So we'll see how long that lasts. There's Dollar General. I should have got, dude, those options went up 100, 200% already. And the video wants it. He's trying. SMCI is the lagging the most. CLSK on the high. Dollar General again. Coinbase breaking out. 234. Baba trying to get another candle. Trying to play is all over the place, really. Arm. Arm 131. That's looking good. And then Adobe's still near the low. They're not doing good. What was the other one? Jabil. Oh, it's because Jabil was trying to pop out of there. They're still down. Solana. Yeah, Am remember Amazon was leading the last couple days too. Dollar General still going. So again, Dollar Tree, Dollar General. That might have been the play because I've already watched these contracts go up 200%. Arm, too. Remember, a lot of people were expecting bad things for Arm this week and literally just did nothing. But we still haven't found out who has sold or not. Arm again. Airbnb dropped five. Options barely moving. Airbnb's like that. And then on the way up, the options will go down because the stock didn't bounce as much. It just the stock has a wide range. And then Spy hugging the low, JD on the high. Data in seven minutes. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. I need to go pee. I don't want the data to excite me and then surprise me. You know what I'm saying? All right, follow, follow me on Instagram at the Trading Fraternity. God bless you. Good morning. And I'll be right back. Housing experts say will drive down housing costs. We'll certainly be covering this story as it develops through the day, Danny. Abigail, thank you very much. Okay, coming up, the market moving events that you need to be watching. That's next in our trading diary oh, here on Bloomberg. Literally right when I got up. I'm telling you, man, you know the vibes. You know every single time. Every single time. Bad bathroom break. No CNBC either. Right, I guess we might... Might have to push it. I thought I was going to be able to go to the bathroom before the data. Intel TSM pop. Again, chips are trying to wake up right now. And then Dollar General. Yeah, TSM still down. Intel, they're in the green now. Tesla point six is in. Yeah. We're about where the market maker was pricing in. And you have the whole day ahead, so anything lower will turn into two standard deviations. And then if we bounce, we bounce. Oh, those dollar generals. Okay, dude, those options are weird now. The options are coming down. You know, just hit another high. Mm -hmm. 
consumer sentiment? Well, regardless, I just want to know if the market is going to be like in touch with the data or not. Because some of these days we don't data really good, really bad market ignores it. Bonds get hit market ignores it yesterday. You had hot PPI, you had a hot reaction. So let's see if the market is in touch. And the video looking strong now. Yeah, Intel getting some big candles. There's Dollar General. NVIDIA is in the green now. Again, Marvel was running. Arm, all of the chip makers except SMCI pretty much got a bid. And then Apple is still in the gulag. Micro, all the big tech ain't, ain't getting no love on any of this. But yeah, chips are doing good. PayPal kind of. It's like right under break even. Again, Tesla sold off. That was green. New core running. Target, Walmart. Wally, where? All right. Now I could go. I'll be right back. Follow me on Instagram at the Trading Fraternity. BRB. Thursday, we're going to hear from the Bank of England. So it is a big week next week, though equities are down this morning. It is triple witching. We did have hotter data. All of that pressuring markets yields up for a fifth consecutive day. This is Bloomberg. My name is Bro, what the fuck was that? Believe this moment. They got me. I got up and everything. I Are you kidding me? That's crazy. How are they going to just come back for 30 seconds and then it don't even make sense. They like ran an ad for their, there you go, I'll listen to CNBC. Over at Evercore about the yeah, I'll be right back. impact on Amazon. If TikTok well, now you have another opportunity to follow me on Instagram. TikTok is the taking off the table. It could be an incremental positive and means more opportunity for Amazon because of some of these shopping partnerships. Mahaney points out that the social strategy is driving both sales and advertising for Amazon, guys. Back over to you. Well, that's what I was wondering about is the sales piece, Kate, because I feel like we've been hearing about social shopping for at least a decade. And, and while influencers have made a lot of money, obviously, and you spot the trends, I feel like the shopping has been less successful. Nobody has fully nailed it. What, what, are, what does the trends look like on the sales? So it's interesting, Sarah, it's still sort of that impulse purchase, right, that you're seeing, you're getting expi inspired to buy something that you might not need. It's not the core, you know, toilet paper and things that you're, you're trying to get immediately delivered from Amazon. So it's still incremental. It's still kind of the impulse side of things and that discretionary spending. And Amazon, this is defensive. They don't want to miss out on that incremental sales. But right now it is sort of in that category versus being your core shopping where you're looking, you know, for diapers, <laughs> for toilet paper. So it hasn't quite gotten there, but in terms of the growth potential, it's really the, the younger consumer behavior that they're going after here. Kate, thank you. Kate Rooney. Well, coming up right here, an EV winter. Is it one for Tesla, Lucid, Rivian, other automakers? We're going to discuss that with uh, Ford CEO or former CEO, Mark Fields. Keep it here. Man, it's a rough day for bathroom breaks. It's a rough day for bathroom breaks. It's Friday. It's Friday. That's why everybody want to go to commercial. You know what I'm saying? It happens. It happens. Give us the keyboard or you'll never piss again. No. Yeah, Futu. Those plays are doing great. Oh, you have 400% on the Futu now. So not bad. Again, we have till next week. But yeah, we are in the money on those, I believe. Coin DG. Yeah, data, 15 seconds. So here it is, Chatadonia. You're expecting a number of 76.9, 2.9 on five year expectations. And then 3% on one-year expectations. That's it. That's it. All righty. 76.5. So came in almost in line. Five-year expectations in line. One-year in line. 
literally came in perfectly in line. Consumer expectations fell a little bit, and then current conditions went up a little bit, and then overall everything was it was down by 0.4, so slightly lower. Inflation expectations haven't changed, so literally nothing. If anything, I don't know. It won't kill the market. Maybe it won't let us bounce. So it's not to say that like the downside's over, but it's just that everything just flat in, smack dab in line. Bullish bid depends. I mean, lately we've been getting bad data, so maybe the no news is good news. But so far, I mean, nothing. Literally nothing happened with that. That that that, that number is smack dab, just right in the middle there. Bonds did like it because it could have been upset. So let's see what the market does. Bonds moving for now a little bit. Yeah, inflation expectations aren't changing. The dollar didn't like it. Uh, dollar did kind of j j jack up here a little bit. A tiny bit. It's already been up. Good call out on that. See, so equities still at the point six. Bonds are holding the candle. Oh, let's see. All right, bigger drop now on the market. You're getting a reaction here. Again, bonds up. See when the bonds go up. Now the dollar's going a little lower. Again, like the Chad said, the dollar moving up, I think that was your knee jerk, but I do think we should be brushing this off in a little bit. We'll find out. Remember, we don't know if it's going to be in tune or not, but the data had nothing. It wasn't as if that data was very uh, telling. Did some of the chip makers come down on that? Again, SPY hit a new low. Yeah, NVIDIA is coming down. JE on the high. GE on the high. And then JD still going and 3M. So a couple of names are still running with this. Adobe. Adobe. Yeah, Adobe got clapped. I'm getting murdered on those shares. Post earning shares have been violent. Oil, it's holding 80, but has it gone up yet? Yeah, I don't know. Oil's like, it's just holding 80, which is a big deal, but it's still kind of calm. We haven't gotten much out of it. So there's candle number two on bonds. Market sold off a little bit. JD, 3M on the high. Dollar had a pop and drop off the data, but still slightly elevated. That's the not good factor. And then literally SPY is right where we were pricing in yesterday. JD doesn't intend to make an offer for Curies. What's that? I have a headline. JD is not making an offer for Curries, so they're not buying somebody. I'm a little confused on that one. UVXY is going up 14. I remember 16. We get above 16, you could start turning on fear again. ADM starting to move up a little bit. And then there's bonds now. So that woke up bonds. They're back to green. See if they break out. This time bonds have reacted more to the data and equities are kind of in la-la land to the downside, but... See if there's a pickup from there. Smar post earnings. That one's on the high. Mm. ET, PMT, GE still on the high. Again, ADM running. So again, bonds back to opening. Spy right where the data came out. The data was literally just in line. Nothing really new came from it. Nice. You did 100 to 1,000 on Adobe. Good work, baby. Good work. 3M is just... I, that's holding up good, man. Where's Altria? Even Altria is holding up. Some of these values, they got on their runs. I'm used to value running and then selling off the next day, but... Some of these runs have been quite sustainable. Again, bonds are still climbing. SPY going a little lower. Maybe we get SPY down, bonds up. That'll be interesting. But 
they may start following. Watch here. If we go lower and bonds start dumping, they're just going to match up with each other. 5-1-1-3. So this is another little level here. Again, we break below here. You're going to be in the 5-1-3 to 5-1-0-9. And then if we break 5-1-0-9, we're going to test 5100. So going lower, you just set a new low. Apple new low. There's 3M moving a little bit. Again, Adobe's at the low. Apple is flushing here. Spy new low. Again, bonds haven't gone up yet. They stopped moving. So like I'm saying, watch here. If bonds follow along or they get a bid. But yeah, bonds are coming down now with it. So 511122, that's the low. You're about to go a little lower than that right now. Again, NASDAQ down one. Spy down three quarters. Dow down 0.39. Russell barely green. 5110. You can't go for the greedy short, but it's just kind of hard to read, like in the sense of is it are we moving off the data or not? I can't really tell you. So this would be a good greedy short. Again, this level, it opens up the door to the low 5100s and below. But the problem is, like, bonds went up on the data. Now they're going to try to follow, and then we're still selling off. It's kind of a harder read. But generally, nothing happened. Nothing, the data... I don't think it really even changed anything. They're in a Microsoft Daily put. They're a big bond drop there. So literally one candle now. Bonds are back to where the data came out. Spy went a little lower. Again, watch if they bounce and follow along with each other. Otherwise, if they both start trending down, you'll get another flush. Uh, oil's trying to wake up a little bit off the bottom. Big option day. And we're pricing in a lot. And that's why it's like we've already moved a lot. It's kind of wild considering yesterday we had bigger data and we were pricing in just as much. Marvel. PSX on the high, 52 week high. Morning, what you missed? Not much. We had Empire Mania data in the morning. Didn't really have a reaction, but we started dumping pre-market. China wasn't good, and then we just had consumer sentiment came in in line. Not any real change, but then market went down a little bit. Bonds had a pop and drop off of it. And now, again, we're just back to uh, closing out the day and getting ready for Powell next week. Quad Witch is when four different asset classes all expire today. Or on the same day. So I think there's no more quad witching. It's only like triple witching. But it's like futures, options, and then I want to say treasuries or bonds. Something else. They all uh, expire today. Russell was green right there. Just went red. Watch the bonds there again. They're at the lows. Spy now back to the low. So bonds and spy now near their lows of the day. And that's all after the data. A spy is doing a little bit worse. Smart. Yeah, that thing, that thing was down 13, I think. So they came up a little bit. Yeah, banks did not move at all. Remax Realtor Zillow agrees to slash commissions to settle lawsuits. 12 mil volume is wild. All right. That's really where we're at. Damn. We're at 15 million. Zillow's dropping. The fuck? It's not even an hour. We're at 15 million in volume. So, yeah, the volume is flowing today, bro. 
That's actually insane. Yeah, Nasdaq's right above 18,000 too. So 5,100 on the SPY is like 18,000 on the Nasdaq. Yeah, you're going to have a lot. MO needs to get back. It's okay. Big, big bond pop, big spy pop. Remember, MO has had nonstop days. I, as much as I want MO to go up, I'm not going to be too greedy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven green days in a row on a stock that doesn't move. We'll take it. 3M going. That one's another surpriser. Jake from State Farm, baby. Oh, my man. I hope you're doing good on Friday, baby. God bless you. Horn off. <laughs> my man. How you living? God bless you, bro. The uranium waking up. It just needs to hold up. And then coin coming up here, too. So SPY is now above the data. Bonds hit a high. But now SPY might even tick up higher than the bonds, ironically. Yeah, CCJ is trying to go. NVO is at the low. Abby Vi down. Disney. They were trying to fight. Again, GE, I've seen that on the high all day today. Adobe flush again. Yeah, bro. I'm kind of mad on that one. Because remember that one time I was stuck in Adobe for like months? I just got reminded once my, my play started going down. We'll give it a little bit. Yeah, Adobe's down 14, though, right now. That's awful considering that their earnings wasn't that bad. All right, 3M is still going. 104, JPM. Market is barely above consumer sentiment. That move messed up VWAP there. Again, volume is very high. Bonds are dancing, but you didn't break out of the range. So, like, you're still kind of in the data range on bonds and equities right now. So, kind of a wicked move. I held it down for, like, eight months. Yeah, I, did. I forgot about that. I was only reminded once it started going down, and I was like, this feels familiar. <laughs> I was like, I feel like I've been in this before. And I was like, oh. No, I rolled over the MNQ yesterday. They're getting clobbered. Jurin, that was the biotech with data. They went up another 1020. Mitch Matsuno in the house, baby. That's a, that's a baby horn. I don't want to, you know, some people back to back horns, they might have convulsions. God bless you, bro. Yeah, Jern starting to break out. That was the biotech with data from the morning. Tesla barely red. Boeing in the green. Baba trying to move. AMD now moving again. Spy is getting a little higher than consumer sentiment. Bonds near the high end of the candle. AMD, NVIDIA getting a bid. Intel's already up there. And then GE's running all day. I'm still in the Baba cause. Yeah. CSIQ. Kalaba. I, I kind of like that. I kind of like the baby horn. God bless you, bro. Amen. Thank you, Chad. And then Coop, you might be able to hedge with that amount, but it just depends on the type of hedge. So, and I'd be mindful of the hedge. Remember, once you spend the hedge, that's money gone. You know, you could always use that money to average instead of buy insurance, but I think you might need to go a little bit bigger, but then also, too, it depends on the type of insurance, sadly. 
because then you could get cheaper insurance, more expensive, closer to the money, further. Those all depend. Isn't that awful news for Redfin, EXPI? I feel like they didn't move. I feel like they all got clapped on the first time. So I think Zillow gave an update, but remember Redfin and all those, they they got hit that one day when that for when that case was first announced. So maybe it's priced in is the only thing I could think of. And then spy going up, back at open now. Once again, you're out of the range. Bonds break even on the day, so bonds unchanged. Now Spy is back to where we opened up. CCJ running a little bit. We're at 5125, so baby level here. We need to get above 5130. Slick like butter. Who's smashing, baby? Paying the plug. <laughs> okay, I, I cannot control the volume on that one. God bless you, bro. On the five elevens. Again, volume is very low for the morning here, or very high. So we still got a lot more left on the move. Zillow's dying even more. So yeah, Redfin and the other ones, they aren't moving like that. Oh, it's crazy. Todd! <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> Happy Friday, Chattadonia. Oh, you guys are reminded. I kind of want a coffee now. I kind of want me a coffee. I think we turn it up. Mm -hmm. I think Marvel's still going. Yeah, a little bit. Again, spy above VWAP. Bonds aren't breaking out from there. Dollar did come down, if you notice. So dollar is doing that little dance, but dollar hit a new low on the day, but still green. The data, data was good, good, bad in the morning. It was good because it was bad. And then today... Uh, after the uh, consumer sentiment was all in line. So really hard to take a read on that. Mm. Hey, Santa. <laughs> you guys, you guys been liking the little, the muzzled horn. <laughs> I'm liking it. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. I don't think you belong here, sir. Thank you. God bless you. I hope you find a new home at the Humane Society. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hope somebody, I hope another trading group adopts you. And I hope they're, I hope they like you. Because I love you too, but I just think you kept pissing on my floor. I ain't got the desire to take him to the Humane Society, unfortunately. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, Benny. Benny, you've been getting all my coffee, man. We turning it up. Aaron Toe. Let's go, baby. Benny, what should I get then? What should I? Are we feeling Panera, Starbucks? What's going on? <laughs> I told you, though, I said some people get convulsions, they freak out by the horn. Starbies. All right, give me a sec. Let me get let me get this in here. And Spy of VWA, we really have not moved since the data. All right. All right, Starbreeze has been ordered. 
It's on the way, baby. Zillow's still dumping. Lakers going for number 18. Thank you, baby. Laker J. <laughs> oh. I love it. Only trade options? No, I trade pretty much everything. Shares, options, futures, bonds. I'm a big fan of all of them, man. You got a house for sale? I'm down. You let me know. Mm -mm. NVIDIA AI, I have no idea. Next week. I think it's before Powell. But we got a crazy schedule. You got Powell. You got NVIDIA. You got Bank of Japan. AMD at a high right now. You're going to deal with a lot. Uh, NVIDIA and ARM trying to move up too. Hey, boy, and Vincent with that Tiki. Hmm. <clears throat> Robin Hood breaking out. They had a nice run yesterday. Yeah, they're going up. Again, I think even crypto coin they were moving to. And then Tesla's still on the low. Altria back in the green, which is still kind of amazing. Pfizer gave up their green. Where's Baba? Baba, China names. They're holding JD is just doing very well. Uh, who was it? There was Dollar General and Dollar Tree running earlier. And then Jabil and Adobe. Those are the earnings. They're both bad. Adobe keeps getting worse. Boeing time to buy. I mean, it's low, but I don't know. I think Boeing is just... I still think it has a premium. And then again, last week, it was like another... I think last two weeks, I've just hear, been hearing more Boeing events. It's awful. Yeah, JD's still running. Merck on the high. XLV's trying to tick its way back up. Bond's coming down. So literally, even that data there, you think it would have helped out a little bit, but knee-jerk reaction on Bond's. And once again, equity land is in its own little world. So equity's not moving. Bond's about to go lower now off of the data. Sound, yeah, they were. Didn't they hit 10 the other day? And then Walmart's break even, Starbucks down, Nike. Let's see the breakdown. What time is it? It's not even an hour, but volume is high. Been here for a little bit. So, Dow Jones, 18 names in the red, 12 names in the green. NASDAQ 100, uh, you got 71 in the red, 30 in the green. And then S&P 500, 264. Red, 234 in the green. So kind of 50-50. Out of my daughter, Lexi, accepted a UW. Nice. Oh, we've been shouting out Lexi for a while. She going to college. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's crazy. You dubs. Enjoy. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. Have the long term throughout college. Lunar, CLSK on the high. AMD still going up. Even Mara's on the high. So Bonds, new low, SPY up. So literally knee-jerk reaction. It left the market lower and Bonds higher. 10 minutes later, 15 minutes later, stocks higher, Bonds lower now. So again, I think bond market reacting to it now. Market might be in La La Land. We'll see how this plays out. Mm. 
did I? I didn't say that, but you did. So I'm banning you for that Twitch. Twitch. I've had two bans in the Twitch today. What's going on with you guys? Good morning. How are you? What happened? I thought yesterday or when we hit an all-time high. Those are usually the days you guys get frustrated. Not like in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, not in the middle. You guys have tendencies, but you're in, you're in between highs and lows. I don't I don't get it. It's Friday. Could be the triple witching. Could be. I don't know. Could be. NVIDIA's back in the green now. They're on the high. And then CCJ, that's going up. Hopefully it actually stays up. Microsoftian Apple, they didn't go up. Card at 36. Again, Bonds near the low. Spy is right at open. So Bonds did the same thing. Bonds chilled out at their open of the day. So it's, I don't know, it's kind of inversing, but we're going to see. Coin is at the high again, too. CLSK, that's another one. Again, these crypto names have been moving, and then even Robinhood. They've been catching a candle. Marvel's still going up. I don't know. Uh, where am I? I'm still down on Marvel. Uh, a little bit more than a dollar a share. Sorry if you get this question a lot, but is it worth investing 300 a month in the S&P at 18 years old? Oh, dude, you might have just came to the best place. You know that? That's amazing. You should do exactly that. It is definitely worth investing 300 a month at 18 years old. You are speaking my language, brother. So why I'm so excited about that is because like a couple of years ago, we literally made an account to do exactly what you said. So this is that account. We made this account about three years ago, and then I deposit $200, and I've raised it now three years later to $300 a month. So this account is literally a result of $300 a month buying stock, and you're 18. You buy them, never sell them till you're at least 30. You're gonna you're gonna live a very good life, man. You're gonna you're gonna have a very long, successful life, bro. So yeah, I would definitely do that, and it's well worth your while. Again, these accounts, it's it's been great. It's been great. And time is on your side. You're 18 years old. You're an animal, bro. At that young, you could do a lot, bro. You could do a lot. You're going to whip the Twitch into good things. Be careful. They will jump on you. They will, they will gang up on you and revolt. So usually I kind of let anarchy rule over the Twitch. So we'll we'll see how they go, but just be careful. Just be careful. Again, I had to get rid of two of them already. Facts. I wish I knew this. I wish I knew this before college. Amen. So yeah, man. Honestly, bro, you're 18. This is a perfect place, but that is a great, great idea. I would definitely do that. Look at they already gave you a sub too. They know the Chads. We love a 18 year old with a law term. You're gonna be the richest out of all of us. You got the time, baby. You got the time. The richest chat in Twitch land in Twitch alone. How's his hairline? Good. Probably he's eighteen. Just invest three hundred a month and hold until your hairline goes away, and you'll be you'll be good. Mm. 
Marsh McLennan completes acquisition of Vanguard's outsourced chief investment officer business. Tesla, they went back to green. All the chip makers are going up now again. AMD, NVIDIA, Marvel. That's why I'm seeing SMH on the high. Again, even Intel, Micron. So chip makers are moving up. They took a break the last couple of days. Micron. Yeah, all chip makers doing good right now. And then Adobe still whacked. Jabiel Root on the high. Yeah, Coin and Hood both running. I think MSTR, CLSK, Mara, those are going. Spy barely above da data. Bonds barely above when the data came out. They're in the first candle. Buy price Adobe long term, a lot lower. They've ran up a ton. Oh, hit the resistance bands, bro. Thank you. We've been forgetting these 8... Th wait, is it 8.30? No, it's only 7.30. All right, well, you guys... Usually we don't do them in the first hour, but get up and move because I feel like I'm going to forget the 8.30 ones. I need to stand up a little bit. I got to move around. Just stretch chest to the sun. Flex the core. Tuck the hips in. Just a little one because we've been forgetting the 8.30 ones. I've been forgetting my 8.30 push-ups, and then I get them at 9, but then we don't really do anything at 7. Ulta, that was the other one. They were down like 9. Bond's coming up a little bit more. Ulta trying to break out here, but still down 5%. CDLX, I think they might. We went over a couple of biotechs yesterday, and then that Jern one, they ended up hitting... Yeah, Ulta's moving up. M-O. I sold the Kroger calls. I sold most of the ones that expired today. Oh, we should have held those, though. Kroger's killing it. And then gold, barely up today. We're barely down. Oil. Oil went up to 81 again, then came down. Yeah, chips got really, really strong today. Very fast in that thing. And then 3M, where's the other one? MO and Pfizer. Ulta's going. Oh, there it is. MO's getting volume there. And then Bond's chilling. My goodness. My goodness. Intel be this pinned. It could be. Again, and they didn't have a good earnings, too, remember. So there was a list. Some names did very good on earnings, some didn't. Don't forget, they kind of were, like, clapped, and then they had some good news, and then literally a couple days ago, getting clapped on government funding. That doesn't help. That's the put. Spy X Divi could have uh, impact on today. A lot of people have brought that up. People do, you know, make their decisions, buys and sells off of that. Let me see. Where are the banks? Ulta is still going? Man. So watch. Ulta it still has 5% to go green, but if that does go green, that'll be crazy. SMH on the high again. 
all chip makers. That's it. Last hour here has been straight up just chip makers and then JD and 3M. Again, volume is elevated on the day. We've been here for a little bit more than an hour. I ordered a coffee, but I don't know if it's here yet. I don't think it is. She's waiting for my order. She's lagging today. Yeah, NVIDIA, Ulta, 3M about to go to 105. Spy getting a candle. Bond's coming down here, but I'd say a majority of this is all chip makers right now. AMD, Micron, NVIDIA, Intel, they're all moving up. Tesla. NVIDIA. I'm good because at least my Marvel goes up. I'm still a little down on that. Now I'm only down a dollar on Marvel, a dollar a share. So 250 bucks. No TV. SMCI's on the high. They're starting to run. And then where are the weed stocks? Marvel's still going. NVIDIA. Oh, weed stocks staying pinned. Haven't had any more moves from earlier. AI on the high. Meta still down. I don't I don't think any of the big tech is green. Maybe Netflix. I think Netflix is the only one. Again, Google the other day had a little bit of the run. They gave that back. Uranium plays on the high again. So again, we just need those to actually hold up. Redfin, I got it at like three dollars and thirty cents or something like that. I think Ulta did do the same thing. Ulta is a crazy mover. It's a low float. And then 3M, two cents off of 105. That's big. What's that? And then Spy breaking out a little bit here, it looks like. Getting some steam. So Spy getting to the opening candle. And like I'm saying, 51.30. This is that, that level we talked about. So this is where you were bouncing off of the last couple of days. If we could get above here and hold... This could be a nice little level of support. It's kind of been resistance all day here. So remember yesterday we bounced off of there. So let's, I think 3M is still running on the same CEO news. Yeah. All right. 105 now on that. JP Morgan going up. High ticker starting to gas. A lot of different names, mainly chips though. So again, everything from AMAT all the way down to, uh, to AMD and Intel, they're running. And then even Tesla got a little bit of waking up. Uh, Marvel. KKR, dude, 3M. I wanted to look at some of those options, but I thought they'd be scammy. AI, literally, I think that's up three. DV as well. Airbnb still down. Again, the value plays are all coming down. Uh, check Baba and JD. Baba's going to the high. JD's been running. Baidu stayed pinned, but now they're climbing. Where's gold? And then oil. And then bonds are coming a little bit low. 3M could dump after the spinoff could even go up it just depends it really depends on the valuation when it comes out and then how people feel and then i wonder how it's going to affect the dividend
BRC on the high. Toll, bro, 3M, 105.26. And then oil getting a candle. Bonds trying to creep a little lower. Spy trying to creep a little higher. Again, we're working our way above 51.30. If we hold above here, it's good. If And also in the same respect, if you reject this, then you're going to kind of 51.30 is going to start looking more resistance-like than not. All right, new high, 5131. Watch if big tech. Remember yesterday I was telling you how, like, wait till one of those Apple Pops moves the market? That could have an effect today. The only thing is, like, it's NVIDIA. It's NVIDIA and the chips that are moving it up today. But watch if any of those mega cap techs, if they start to run up, that could be something. CCJ, another high. Five, twelve, twelve. That was a level from yesterday, right? Marvel came down a little bit. Yeah, last day to get in 3M spinoff is March 18th. And then I think you get you get one share of the new company for every four shares of 3M you own. So if you own 100 shares of 3M, you're going to get 25 of what's it called? Momentive? Isn't that the name of it? It has like a weird momentum, something like that. Yeah, Solventum. That's the company. Coin again? Yeah, I see that on the high ticker. Three inputs you could cover next earnings. Don't they report in a couple months, though? But they are going to move a decent amount after that spinoff for sure. Yeah, if you own 3M right now and then if you keep holding it till March 16th, you will get the spin-off shares. So, I'm a, I'm planning on holding. We are going to wake up one day and then we're going to have you know a free free set of shares of Solventum and then 3M. But then the value of 3M could change and then even their dividend. That's kind of the problem. What is spinoff? So the company, 3M has a bunch, like 3M sells air filters, they sell post-it notes, they sell paint, they have all these random like segments, right? So 3M has a very big healthcare business. They sell like filters and all these things for healthcare and biotech. So it's a it's a really big business. It's and it's growing faster than every other part of 3M's business. So what they're doing is they're spinning off and they're going to turn their healthcare business into a separate company called Solventum. So they're spinning off one part of the company and turning it into its own separate company. And Solventum is going to be its own medical company. So 3M, yeah, 3M Healthcare is really good. It's, it's, actually, it's probably their best unit. So they're spinning that off if you own 3M. You're going to get shares in it because you own that company. And then they're going to separate the two. So in the future, the earnings and all that, they're going to be separate. So you could see how one's growing versus the other. But then again, they will be two separate companies. It's not trading yet. This happens in about a month. Reddit, I think it all depends on our criteria, if that's there. Otherwise, I mean, I think Reddit will be interesting, but I'm not like I'm not like in love with it. It's just going to be a matter of if the premium is not too high and the demand is there. Sound breaking out and coin again, 239. 
3M just sold off like 50 cents. SPY trying to work its way up. Bonds hit a new low. Again, sound breaking out. They're in the green now. I own 3M, yeah. I don't have a lot, though. I did buy it, but, like, I think I put in, like, a deposit and a half, maybe. So, like, relatively, like, 3M is, like, kind of one of our smallest positions. I don't know. I got 5000 bucks in it. I guess it came up a little bit. Why comes off? Oh, Kenneth Rogoff. Harvard. I need to go to the bathroom. Follow me on Instagram at the Trading Fraternity. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's only been like an hour 15. Volume is hot. Again, quad witching. You got a lot, baby. You got a lot. You got a lot. But I will be right back. Mr. President, and good gas, he will do it again. And as you know, David, we've talked about it and I've talked about it for years. Uh, you can't count on real interest rates being ultra low anymore. I think they're probably not going to be. And the idea that it's a free lunch, I think, is uh, past thinking. Yeah, I want to come back to the real interest rates, but before that, let's go, let's talk about tariffs for just for a second, because President Trump has said he wants 10% tariffs across the board for all countries worldwide, and, and by the way, he might increase them if anybody reciprocated with tariffs coming back, and against China, he's talking about 50 or even 60% tariffs. What likely effect could that have on the economy? We, I must say, we did have Paul Krugman on who said 10% tariffs don't make that much of a difference. I, I mean, 10% tariffs uh, would, I think, uh, push up uh, inflation, they push up interest rates. The, uh, that, that certainly, back when Trump put in his uh, tariffs in uh, 2019, the Fed had to do an about face on its interest rate policy because of the, the uncertainty and stress that caused. So, you know, it's, it's one thing to talk about over a 50 year horizon, does it matter that much if you put in tariffs? If you do it out of the blue, it's very dislocating to the economy. Uh, I think it would be very, tend to be very recessionary, inflationary, uh, and, uh, and obviously other countries would retaliate. So let's come back to that question you raised about the long-term real interest rates, uh, because there is something of a disagreement, it appears. We had Mary Daly on from the San Francisco Fed recently, who said she still thinks it's around 2.5 to 3 percent sort of long-term neutral rate, which is composed of various components, as you know so well. Uh, on the hand, Larry Summers has come on and said it's much higher than that. You, in the past, have said you think it is higher. No, I, well, I, I've studied the most the 10-year rate, uh, really long-term data on 10-year rates. And, uh, it, you know, it's not, it, it's probably more in the range of one and a half to two percent than in the zero percent that it was from 2012 to 2021. The short-term rate, uh, I, I don't, you know, it's possible the term premiums change. But, you know, look at the economy. It, it doesn't feel like we have really tight monetary policy. If, if we were really 3 percent above a neutral rate right now, you would think that something would have hit faster and harder. And I, I would agree with my colleague Larry Summers that, you know, we're probably more like a percent or a percent and a half above what would currently be a neutral rate. So if you're aiming for 2.5, I think Think you're going to end up stopping a long time before you get there. So bring this back to the question of whether it is a President Biden or President Trump come next year. Uh, either one of them is going to have to deal with the consequences of that. Take us through what some of the possible consequences are, because the assumptions put into the budget, for example, are much more modest when it comes to interest. So, so there are two ways it can go. Um, it could end up in inflation, which happened last time, which would eventually ratchet up interest rates. I think one of the reasons inflation is a little stuck at a high level is partly because if you've just experienced this inflation burst, things don't calm down right away. But so one possibility is there's inflation and then we ratchet up to higher and higher interest rates. But I think uh, if the Fed were to stick to its guns and not allow that, then you're really not seeing interest rates come down. Uh, I think we're in an environment where there's so many demands on the government, uh, even if the neither candidate quite realizes it.
And that was Ken Rogoff, Harvard University professor of economics in conversation with Wall Street Week host David Weston. And on Wall Street Week tonight, we'll hear from Michelle McKay, Cushman and Wakefield CEO, and Henry McVeigh, KKR head of global macro, balance sheet, and risk. That's at 6 p.m. New York time. This is Bloomberg. My name is Nikolai Costa Waldau, and I believe no, this moment in time. No, Nikolai. Be no, we're not doing that here today, Nikolai. It's good to meet you, but no. No, my bad. My coffee came. Russian President Putin, Ukraine tried to break through on Russia's territory, did not succeed. Try to commit criminal acts on first election day. Ukraine strikes will not be left unpunished. Mm hmm. My bad. My bad. I thought I thought I'd have more time. Five one three four. We're still holding up. Forming. Let's let the CNBC Se boys. So talk some sectors are turning seconds. green, like real estate, financials, and materials. We're seeing some improvement here in the action. Be right back. It's really not my day. It's really not my. It's okay. I just I just did that because I didn't want to chew in your ear. I'm chill though. I'm I'm chill. Josh back on the stims. Low key though, like kind of. I've been hitting the last like four Fridays I've had caffeine. I don't know. I've been I've been getting very tempted. Day daylight savings has been very very rough, bro. I like I like non daylight savings when you get to wake up at the other time. I like that one better. And now this one I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's getting early. That's the but then it's good though. Like I I'm doing better at the gym. I feel better throughout the day because like it's not as dark, so like that's what I that's what I like. But yeah, it's it's rough out here, bro. It's rough out here. You got to get used to it, and then right when you get used to it, it changes again. Mhm. Mm no, bro. I'm like low key a completely different person off of daylight savings. It's so wild. It's like it's it's different. I can't explain it. It's just like I, the days just feel so much different. Like even yesterday. I was like, wow, like even right before I went live, I was like, dude, it's bright outside still. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit more excited. I'm a little bit more excited. But then waking up is a lot harder. PayPal Big Popper, Cart Big Popper too. That's painting the high-low ticker. Yeah, PayPal waking up, big volume. Bonds came back up, ironically enough now. I mean, they they might end up looking the same. Very weird day again. Welcome to this Friday on the expiration. The day after daylight savings day is the highest day of heart attacks and fatal car crashes. Yeah, I talked to my mom about it. She said, yeah, like people just, it's it's weird how patterns and then the stress and then people get tired and there's a lot of weird things that are associated with it. Yeah, Bernie Sanders introduces bill to reduce four work week to f four days with no reduction in pay. Is there a way to access equity in your home with not so good credit or income? Yeah, but depending on how bad your credit is and like the more desperate you are, it starts to get a little unsavory. Meaning like if you have a house and you have equity and good equity, anybody will give you money for it, right? It's just going to be in relation to the terms. So... HELOCs are very, that's like the easiest way without like, especially if you have other restrictions, but you could always get private money too. Even if like home equity lines, you have trouble with anything with a big bank or whatever it may be, people will borrow, let you borrow. But like, you know, it's not, it's not all like roses. Uh, again, I've like, it happens. Like, you know, like I have had people, they went, they put down a down payment on a house or they used hard money. 
and the hard money lender ended up getting the house. You know, we talk about it, but like the hard money lender, they they could get the house sometimes. You know, it's not as if uh, that it's like immune to that. So if you have no job, no income and you have good equity and like you somehow can't get like a real legit loan and you go to a private lender to pull money, you could pull money out your house, but the terms may be like the maximum legal limit they could charge you. And then if anything happens, I mean, you will, they will cold heartedly without any question of a doubt, they would, they will recoup their asset through that, you know, th they'll foreclose on you right away. So it all just depends, but you do have to, uh, you do have to kind of be wise about it in that situation. You know, one thing, if you ever do pull out money in that situation, like set aside money to pay the monthly obligation. So like, I know people who do this in like Wall Street. I know like, I know like rich people who do crazy shit with debt, like rich, poor in a weird way. Like what I mean, like I know some people I've seen, I saw this back in the day. I haven't really encountered somebody who's done it recently, but I knew this one, I knew like two or three people. They would go borrow fat amounts of money from like their property or whatever they needed, right? Like I'm talking pulling out like five, ten million dollars, right? And then you know what they would do? They would literally get ten million dollars in cash on a loan backed by whatever assets or whatever they were doing. And then they would literally just set the money that they needed for the monthly payments for the loan. They would set that aside. So like, I think $10 million a year, I think he was priced, I think it was like 300 or $400,000 a year in, in payments. He would just set that aside. So literally they would use the loan payments to pay the minimum payment is what I'm telling you. So if you are, because you just got to be careful in these scenarios, but if you ever do get to that situation and you do pull out money, make sure you at least like, if you have no income, have no job, you have equity, and then you're going to start using it, make sure that you could cover the minimum payment on there because then that way you can at least stay alive and keep it going. Otherwise, what I would say, and uh, I know, you know, some people... Some people don't like this. I don't like it as much, but I do think you have to think about it. If you have no job, no income, but you have a house and you have equity, I mean, unfortunately, you may just, it may be a better move depending on the situation to sell the house and then go live somewhere cheaper and then you could plan out everything you need, if that makes any sense. So like I've seen some people where I'm just like, why don't you take the $200,000 profit in your house, why don't you just sell the house, go downsize, move somewhere else, if, it's, if possible. A lot of people, this isn't possible. Not everybody could just sell their house, pick up everything, and move to a cheaper location. But if you can, I mean, that way, you'll know how, you'll get cash up front, you could guarantee a living situation for the future, and then be in a situation hopefully with lower payments and then higher cash flow off of just the sale until you get everything figured out and worked out. MSTR on the high Kroger. So if we held that till expiration, that would have been good. You're living with your parents because you're young. You have a decent amount saved up. You don't pay much for the car. Man, Rezwang, I like this guy. He's new. He's the 18, bro. You save that 300 a month. You make that long term. And then you telling me you live at home and got no payments, bro. You're going to you're going to make a lot of money real quick, man, before you know it. Maybe not real quick. Maybe I shouldn't say that. But since you're young, it'll feel quick. But yeah, that's I always say if you can live at home, fuck yeah. Is it, you know my mom won't let me. My mom don't want me living with them, bro. They don't like me. I asked, I said, would you guys let me move in again? And they said no. So they don't really fuck with me like that. But if you have that opportunity, I would I would take full advantage of it. 
He's basically me minus the Ater. No, not at all. See, that's the thing. What matters is what he does with what I with, with the advice that I give him. <laughs> that's what will determine who he is. It has nothing to do with the age you are, the money you have, the investments, what you do with opportunity. That's what will separate you. Your mom practically begging to move in. Are you serious? Hey, man, I don't know. That's kind of a blessing. I wish, bro. I really wish. But I, it makes sense. I'm annoying. Like, I'm real. I'm annoying. Like, I get it. I get it. All right, are they play? All right, let me play this. I need to eat this maple sandwich thing. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. About seventy-three thousand or thereabouts. We're currently trading at sixty-eight thousand four hundred and thirty-one. So actually dipping below that seventy thousand dollar level at the moment. And moving on to some individual movers as we currently see them. Adobe is the only one that you really need to care about. The biggest mover on the Nasdaq one hundred today. We're off by almost fourteen percent, as we said. I mean, having its worst way day in, in several decades. Let's talk about why. It's straight to the earnings with Brody Ford. And look, could you actually dig into the individual numbers? Perhaps it wasn't that big a miss. But yeah. the amount that the stock ran up last year, people are worried. You ask investors which software companies will make money from AI in 2024, it was two names, Microsoft and Adobe. After last night, investors are saying maybe it's just Microsoft, <laughs> right? Because they expected to see this big surge in new business because of the AI products. Remember, Adobe has spent a lot of time and money putting its model into Photoshop, Illustrator, so you can press that button, generate, and create a new image, right? But it appears that right now they are still more focused on new user acquisition and that kind of monetization of this new innovation is not coming, at least for a couple quarters. So we're looking at the biggest fall for Adobe since 2022, mm -hmm. September the 15th. I'm interested as to how that is really focusing a light on some of the startups that aren't publicly traded. Yeah. We can't see these sorts of moves in. I mean, Sora must have been the big one that everyone looked at and thought, oh boy, Adobe's yeah. got a race to catch up here. It was a funny moment. About a year ago, Dali came out and Mid Journey came out, that image generation. People got real scared for Adobe. They responded with new innovations in Photoshop. Investors said, okay, we'll be fine. Sora came out and it's like Groundhog Day, right? Everybody is afraid again. There's this same energy in the air that, hey, this new piece of technology could make Adobe entirely obsolete, right? I mean, there was an interesting conversation on the earnings last night where an analyst said to Adobe, hey, folks are getting worried that in the long run, this software could be unused. Can you explain to us why that's not the case? That's not a level of candor and anxiety you tend to hear on these calls. Mm. And, uh, I mean, this is what investors ultimately want, is transparency. Yeah. And actually, we're kind of hearing that from mm -hmm. the CEO and a direction of travel. What is there anyone that's bullish that's thinking, actually, look, they're just being conservative here. here. We will start to see generative AI yeah. coming to the bottom line, to profitability, to sales. Yeah, there's this argument that right now, the beauty of being a big company is that you can price for customer acquisition. That's what Adobe's doing now. That's done so well over the years that it's going to kind of get all the creatives in the ecosystem using its product and then monetize it, mm -hmm. right? That's the argument. Um, some other folks might see the numbers and say, ooh, we want a revenue uplift now. I don't know if we're willing to wait that long when uh, OpenAI is generating videos with prompts already. Uh, to that point, I mean, videos with prompts, it does feel as though that actually isn't just around the co corner. I mean, what was it that I think Narayan was saying that this notion that the next Oppenheimer will be done using a text <laughs> right. to video prompt is not gonna happen for decades. Yeah, and it's funny because he said, this notion that the next Oppenheimer will be done with prompts, it's not gonna happen. Then he kind of pauses as, at least for a couple decades, <laughs> right? Because there's this understanding that AI will fundamentally change the way that applications for image and video happen, right? For now, you're just gonna be able to tweak little things at the margins a decade or two down the line, are you going to have, you know, 400 million creatives paying for Photoshop? 
you might not need that many people. But if the training data is where mm. they say it is and you've got to put a protection there, it yeah. might be helpful to them in some way, shape or form. Yeah, no, absolutely right. And that's the big question around the training data, right? Is it that Adobe's big pitch as it relates to AI is that we have the safety, we have the copyright credentials, whereas when it comes to open AI, there's this idea that, hey, where are you scraping it from? Um, I think we all saw this very famous interview with their CTO a couple days ago where they said, are you scraping from YouTube? <laughs> she, she couldn't answer it. She yeah. couldn't answer it. I'm sure she has more answers to that question now, but there's yes. some plenty of memes being made of that particular interview by the Wall Street Journal. 32 buys still, though, on Adobe, two sales. Yeah. Brilliant to have you on. Thank, Thank you, Brody Ford, running us through Appreciate the latest it. and the big dive in the Adobe share price, as we say, having its worst day since 2022. Coming up, Bitcoin is retreating from its latest record high, too. And let, let's get a take on why. We've got Citizens JMP's Devin Ryan joining us. This is Bloomberg Technology. Good timing. Good timing. We did it. We did it, y'all. We did it. Adobe. I haven't seen the AI generation for videos yet. But that is crazy to think about if they start doing uh, AI movies. <laughs> yeah, Wreck-It Benkizer falls as much as 20%. Most on record. Oh, Braxton. Nah. <laughs> Let's go, baby. It's Twitch. I can hit y'all with that. I can hit you with one of those. Mm -hmm. What is Wreck It ben Benkizer? Benkizer? Open AI and BMW robot? No. I have not. I have not. Didn't people stop? Uh, I feel like I haven't heard too much about like chat GPT anymore. Have we kind of gotten over it? It's weird because like I feel like we're at the next level of getting hyped on AI. But like is chat GPT still like 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 everyone talks to it every day? I haven't seen any of the other AI updates. I've seen like some manufacturing applications. College students, engineers use it daily. Do you use it daily? You chat with it. I use it almost every day. What do you guys do with it? Use it for programming. I've seen that one. I saw that one where it's like an AI that you could just tell it to create programs. Cover letters. Accounting. Programming, ask it for code help, or reply to my wife with their text. That's literally the South Park episode. Your wife uses it to cook. <coughs> Spy going lower. We're back at VWAP. A uh, little higher, though, from when the data came out. A decent amount higher, actually. Yeah, so you guys yeah, use it every day. Shoals will organize more weapons for Kiev. Blinken demands Israel plan to protect civilians in Rafa. Dude, you guys all use it. Chat GPT on the daily. I guess I use Mid Journey on a daily. Shout out the thumbnails. That's crazy. 3M. It is. I mean, my average is a little higher than here, but I do think it's expensive in the short term with how it's ran. I mean, usually it gives up, but if it can fill that gap and keep going, that'll be very nice. Is that 107 candle real? 
I don't know, man. This guy is crazy. Ammo. Weed. Boeing is on the high. Boeing's up 1.1. Boeing starting to fly a little bit. Oh, I don't know. Doesn't look safe to me. <laughs> Something about it. Maybe it'll be a little turbulent. I use it to find recipes for dinner. I give it a list of ingredients I have, and it gives me meals to make. It's a good idea. Never really thought about it. Disney ex Apple Pete Distad named CEO of sports streaming. Yeah, my girlfriend, she just give give your girl TikTok recipes if she cooks and you know it's the greatest thing ever. But I won't tell her. I'll be like, yo, chat GPT it. Walgreens rib, yeah, we got that the other day. You use it to talk to girls. I'm still single. Maybe there's a correlation. Like, just, I don't know. Does ChatGPT have game? Like, I don't know if ChatGPT is, like, smooth with it or if it's, like, very, uh, like, I don't feel like it'd be awkwardly formal. <laughs> you got that Terminator wrist. <laughs> The G in chat GPT is for game. They have an app for that called Riz. Sounds about right. Specially coded chatbot to talk to girls. JB Hunt on the low and then Sentinel One. They died the other day. What a time to be alive. I don't want to do this to you guys. But when you just said, what a time to be alive, it just reminded me of how bizarre. Dot, 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 How bizarre. How bizarre. I'm sorry. I know. I didn't want to do it again to you. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Adabe breaking down again. Well, yeah, I mean, that guy just roasted him there, too. But people getting worried. They're like, yo, where's the AI? Where's the AI growth? And then I think chips are all doing good. NVIDIA is still working its way up. Intel came down a little bit. AMD still near the highs. So, again, chips are a big part of today. Oil was going up earlier. Actually, oil is going up right now still. Yeah, oil's finally in the green again. So oil's at 81.42, 20 cents off of the high of yesterday. It hit 81.60. But yeah, oil's starting to go up. Gold is up a little bit higher from earlier, but still red on the day, barely. No, no new. Uh, uranium's just volatile. That's it. I think it's the volatility with uranium. It's been staying pinned. And then even then oil moving. SMHI, SDRL. Boeing, Boeing, back, back. Disney was on the high earlier, but they're barely in the green. This is E-Trade Pro. And then we also use Thinkorswim as well. Yeah, uranium, well, uranium's like high and low at the same time. Like it has a multiple year premium. 
But then also, too, the way some things are going, people see a lot of upside with it. But my idea with that play in the short term is just there's a government bill. They keep giving funding for it, and there's going to be one where they just got funding, and then their CCJ or like these U.S. companies, I think they're going to approve another one. So I'm waiting on that. Yeah, man, that's one of my favorite songs. I'm Boeing, Boeing, back, back to Cali, Cali, you know, Boeing. Boeing back to Cali. Number one, number one on iTunes. Number two, next to Argentina, Boomba, Boomba, Boomba. Very good song, I tell you. Very, very good. You have no idea. All about Argentina. Oh, man. They've been making headlines. I think Mr. Malay was in the headlines today. We haven't heard about Venezuela. Or not Venezuela. Who was it? Was it Venezuela? Bukele? The guy who bought their Ecuador. Ecuador. The Bitcoin. I haven't heard much. Or is it El Salvador? I thought it was Ecuador. El Salvador, my bad. Okay, bonds are finally moving up. Bro, they're just, everybody's just taking turns. So again, now bonds are hitting near their high of the day while Spy came down to VWAP after hitting the high of the day. Bukele, El Salvador. And then oil hit that high, calming down a little bit. And the gold, the gold would be nice if it moved. Oh, those JDs, I forgot we still had those. We got time on that. Where's Baba A B E O? A Biona Therapeutics five percent pop on a biotech. That uh, Cog T was moving up today. Who else? There's one more I wanted to see. Oh, Baba. Baba, China is going to be interesting next week. Even Japan, China's damn pinned. And then Spia VWAP going a little lower. Bonds are back up. So literally, though, this is literally the prices of yesterday. You could see bonds have low key been out of floor here. With all the data bad, has the expectations changed? Yes. This is what I was talking about yesterday a lot because it's kind of the elephant in the room. But as the data has came out, you know, hotter and hotter, we have gotten our expectations have gotten lower for rate cuts. And even as far as like in how fast inflation is going to come down, that, that is actually and literally changed. But the market is still elevated and people generally still believe we will get a soft or no landing scenario. Well, China data, I think there's a little bit more data next week with China. And then they're wrapping up. They could have raised, they could have cut rates today and they didn't. So that kind of disappointed. But then Japan, because that's something everybody keeps talking about Japan and, and America, right? 
you know, and we're like, oh, the repatriation or whatever happens when Japan raises rates. But if Japan does raise rates too, I mean, their neighbor is China. I there's there's going to be some level of a uh, some level of effect there. What would I get? I got a chai tea. Apparently, they're like it's not chai tea because chai means tea, so you just got a tea tea. And I'm like, I'm confused. It's called a chai tea. And then, but I thought it was chai. About that. I thought like you meant like shea. I thought it's called shea, not chai. But then they called it chai. So is it chai or is it shea? And then I'm like, wait a minute. Does it even matter? I thought this was just, I don't know. It's spiced tea. Oh, that was good. That's good though. I'm a big chai tea guy. It doesn't even have that much caffeine, but just I like it. I like the taste. It's good. Shy. Cavill. So again, bonds hit, came down, spy a little lower, back below where we opened at. Again, everything's still red. NASDAQ was down like 1%, I believe. Last time we were around here. So not too bad. Micron's just doing good on the day. Holding all the chip makers. Outperformers. Some more than others. Some less than others too. SMCI's been red all day. Apple's going lower too now. They might hit another low. Microsoft down two at the low. It's crazy because they're down two. But like didn't they just hit an all time high? Amazonians near the, all big tech is like literally hugging the low right now. Everything Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Apple, all of them are literally at the lows. Nvidia is the only one that's not. Nvidia is near the highs. The rest of them are literally just hugging their low of the day right now. Real estate names going lower. Blinken Israel has sent a negotiation team for hostage talks. time is it euro close no wait it's euro close is still another hour why is blinken talking right now oh he's been live for a minute substantial contributions to that force once the new council the uh, is is fully stood up uh, and again, I would anticipate that happens in the in the, in the coming quiet. days. That uh, process with the force will be, will be able to move forward, and then we have a, a trajectory that has at least the chance of um, putting Haiti in a more stable place. But having said all of that, every single day there are challenges to that process. There are political challenges, there are security challenges, um, and we're working to address them. But the Haitian uh, people. Are, are leading in this process. This is their their process, but they have strong support from countries throughout the region in the Caribbean uh, and well beyond. And we'll continue to try to marshal that support uh, and help them move forward. It's um, look, it's challenging, but it is it is moving, and we're committed to doing everything we can to support it. On your question of neutrality, thank you by the way, because it gives me the opportunity to maybe clarify one or the other point. Um, you're right to point out that. Sweden and Finland have took the decision to join NATO. Um, I believe we have to take, uh, we have to be aware that the geographical position, the history of neutrality in these countries, which were actually non-aligned, less neutral, Wait, um, is very different. And uh, well, after the experience of the First and Second World War, which very quiet, but give me a second, I need to check ago, something. Um, when we adopted the constitutional law on, on uh, everlasting, you wouldn't call it everlasting neutrality, it was a very important intellectual and emotional step for us, and it became part of our self-perception to a certain degree in this country. Uh, according to the Swiss model at the time, was uh, the Swiss neutrality was actually the, the buzzword. And I want to point out one thing. Our neutrality is a strictly military neutrality. We are not neutral as far as values and principles are concerned. So if a country, and it might be a permanent member of the UN Security Council, believes that he can kick out the, all the principles of the UN chart and simply invade a neighboring country, we won't stand by idly and simply watch on. We have a very clear position. 
And that is not new. This is not invented by this government. I always point out in 1956, when Soviet tanks were driving through Budapest, uh, um, the very young then, uh, fully sovereign Austria, already then at the General Assembly of the UN, uh, supported every resolution against the Soviet Union and even uh, issued one and put one on the table themselves. So our position has been always very clear. And if you ask why, then I can be very uh, clear too, because international law is for us not a luxury. It keeps us safe. We need a root-based international order. We need other countries, whether they're big or small, whether they have nukes or not, to stick to the rules, to the principle of pactus sunt servanda. So on these issues, Austria will never be neutral. But in military terms, and we show it in Ukraine, we don't deliver lethal equipment, but we deliver more humanitarian aid per capita than other countries. That is our approach in this crisis, and we'll continue on this policy. And I might, uh, my, uh, uh, might add that the neutrality has a very strong public support in Austria. Nearly 80% of the people stand behind it. So uh, uh, there's no question on this, on this matter. We fully respect the decision by our friends in Finland and Sweden, but this is not the way we have any intention of going down this now. Thank you, Excellencies. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And for those of you who are lucky enough, have a good weekend. Thanks. All right, with the quiet audio. Now, Lending Tapes hit me up for something. We were going to actually get him on here, but no, he said we said we. He had a surprise, but we're going to reschedule it. I'm going to reschedule. I forgot. Young LT, baby. The volume was very low. I will give him your best. Shout out to LT, baby. It's good, man. It's good, baby. I hope you guys are doing good. It's Friday. That's it. We're practically unchanged. I mean, we did move way more in the morning. You're right where the option market was pricing in. We've kind of been here now for about two hours. Volume is very high on this expiration day. So, yalla. Mm -hmm. We're going to a couple more hours, man. A couple more hours. Next week gets even crazier. Adobe again on the lows. That one's still dumping. Yeah, Euro, it's crazy. We got another hour. I don't know. I think the markets, at least chips got a bid. They were selling off last three days. I mean, the Adobe stuff didn't really help the overall tech exuberance AI environment, but it's still up there. Banks, strong as ever, man. I don't know. And that's something we've been talking about recently. I think that has been a, a very big pillar of strength in the market that is being overlooked. Because we're watching some days, big tech leads, sometimes it don't. Sometimes it's the chip, sometimes it's not. But, like, dude, these banks every day have just been killing it. Adabe killing me. I know. Adabe. 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 Adabe is still a dying. A dying. Adobe. Yeah, well, that was bad. Now, 1,700 on those 50 shares, that was that's only 7%. It's just big. But they they haven't moved like that since 2000. NVIDIA, pop, Boeing, pop, spy, pop, bond, pop, a little bit. I'm Boeing. You guys have never heard that till today. I feel like I say that every time. <laughs> I'm Boeing, Boeing, back, back to Cali, Cali. The tin on the Boeing guy, there was a whistleblower who was going to testify, and then he committed the thing. He offed himself, and yeah, that's why everyone's like, sketch. PPC on the high. There's a dub
But yeah, that's the tin. It sounds very like a movie. Have you ever like, I don't know. It just it's like these documentaries, and like you ever like see a documentary and you're like, what the f-? like, bro? It's, it really is like that though. <laughs> He was going to testify, and then he was killed. Like, it actually is just, like, that's it. Or he just, they died mysteriously. And it seems obvious, but then everyone just, nobody's like, hey, that's, no, just everyone moves on. Um, Boeing, Boeing. All right, Adobe's still dying. That's turning into a nightmare. Nightmare on Photoshop Street. Oh. I'm seeing I might be able to Oh I need a bounce on Adobe though And then I might even look to get some Oh, They, they have some cheaper puts so I should have just grabbed those in the morning But those didn't even go up that much That's crazy So even the Adobe's The ones closer to the money Oh, those went up 500. You still have to spend like a dollar on them. No, some of them did pretty good. Oh, 830, baby. Let's get it. And sadly, it's not Euro clothes. Again, daylight saving still. Uh, that's what we got to watch out for. But here's the deal. Where's my Where's my desk? I can't find the thing to make my desk. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, God bless you. No Euro clothes, but you have been here for two and a half hours. You got four and a half hours left to go. Sitting is the new smoking. I need you to get beside your desk and do 10 push-ups. Can't do 10, you do 5. Can't do 5, you do 4. Can't do 4, you do 2. Can't do 2, you do 1. Can't do 1, get on your knees, do a push-up, plank the worm, anything. But get the body moving. Then optometrist recommendation, stare at object 10, 20, 30 feet away. Blink a few times, relax those pretty little eyeballs. Go blink, 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 yeah, relax, man. No one's attacking you. Relax your shoulders, okay? Chest to the sun. Flex the core. Tuck the hips in. Boom, baby. You look magnificent. You know that? And and listen, all that trauma that you deal with in life, all that stress, you are storing it in your shoulders. We call those trauma traps. Please, with me, just relax your trauma traps, okay? Just drop the just drop the shoulders, man. Chest to the sun. Good posture, baby. Good posture. There you go. Relax. Relax. It's just a Friday. No big deal. Just a Friday. You know what I'm saying? Just a Friday. I don't know why you're stressing. It's just a Friday, man. No need to stress on just a Friday. Sound good? Sounds good. All right. Well, that being said, relax. Get the jitters out. Get all the trauma out there. And relax the jaw. Go, blah, 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 blah. Breathe in really deep. Go. Breathe out with your tongue out. Do the dragon breath. Go. Oh. I'm good. Where is it? Where is my resistance? Say. There you go. Yalla, Habibi. Yalla, yalla. Resistance. Hey, man. Move around. Still early, bro. Very, very early. Again, lots of volume. Big expiration day. Oh, man. I'm still hitting it, man. Let's get a couple of good sets in here. Move the body a little bit. We got another four and a half hours. You know what I'm saying? We got to gotta make sure we can last. And spies all over the place. Low ticker kind of picking up. A little cheek lay. A little bit below VWAP again. What a Friday. (sighs) 
Bro, Adobe is still dying. I keep seeing all. I need to keep one up here. I got keeping the dabe. They're keeping the dabe. All right, I'm going to hit the wall stretch, and then we'll be good. Yeah, make sure you like the video. That's even what the Twitch is saying. I love it. Tell them, baby. Tell them I'm here. Echo! Woo! Oh. I'm still here. Don't worry. Don't worry. Sweet daddy. That's it. Then we do the leg balance and we done. See? So just do that every hour, man. Do that every hour. Stay a little active. Adobe, another low. But that's not stopping. Yeah, wall stretch. It's a nice. I go to the wall. I do this like weird little stretch. It's good though. I like it. I need it. I need it. Evidently, there's three billion worth of option contracts on Bitcoin and Ethereum that are expiring. Yeah, I'm sure there's probably like a trillion dollars. Is today another one of those trillion dollar expirations, I feel like, on options? I feel like every option expiration has been a trillion dollar expiration as of late. I think there's a lot riding on all of it. Five trillion? Yeah. There you go. DGX, Zillow on the low, DGX on the high. Again, Spy still holding, Bonds barely up. Again, Spy still holding. Russell's green. So last time we were around here, Russell wasn't doing as well. So Russell's actually doing a lot better here. That's at least some good news, more or less. Them 500. I have 50. 50 shares of Adobe. But yeah, I'm down 1,800 bucks on them, 7%. Those got murk. I thought it would do the earning snapback, but no. But I can't let this. I gotta. I might have to sell this one, just cause I have bad relationship with Adobe. I forgot this thing. You could hold it for a fucking long time. I might not want to do that. Everyone just hates it because they're worried about the AI. That's it. It got treated like an AI stock, and then their AI has no. Their guidance had no AI. They killed it on earnings. I didn't even think they did that bad. They have a $25 billion buyback. They had a lot of good things there, but then the fact that their AI business didn't really uh, lead to uh, like growth or like a big uh, earnings expectation increase, it just they clapped it. Either AI or enemy of AI. <laughs> of AI crew or enemy of AI crew. Alright, that's good. Good, we all balanced out. E-O-S-E. -E. That name sounds familiar. E-O-S Energy. I think, didn't they just report... Meta break lower. Tesla's going lower. Again, Adobe. I think Adobe's the main thing. I mean, Adobe's probably adding a very big drag. Like I'm saying, all the other big tech names. Meta at the low. Apple's just not dying, but it's down one. Meta's lower. Google is still printing into the lows. Microsoft is low, but again, they just hit all-time highs. So it's a little awkward.
abandoned ship. That's kind of what's happening with the Adobe. Somebody said it earlier. I mean, this could be a stark reminder of what it will look like if AI doesn't materialize. I mean, things are just ready to die. Again, that thing was down. So I'm saying even when I bought it, it was already down like 60 bucks or 40 So they just keep selling off. But they are back to their first little we have AI at earnings. So they've given up most of that hype there. My email about the MPW article? No, I don't recall any of that. Adobe will be hurt. Well, people thought they were going to benefit, and they did for a little bit. Like they were saying, NVIDIA and Adobe were mentioned as the benefiters. But again, that uh, that last earnings here today or yesterday didn't really quite get people on board. Kind of like Marvel. Adobe is really reminiscent of Marvel. They did good on the earnings. They had the AI hype behind them. But then when you go look at their earnings, you don't really see the AI hype at all. So then it's like, uh, not so much. CL drop. Yeah, oil back to 81. Oil's back negative on the day. Adobe it might. I mean, if anything, I think the buyback will save it. But I thought it was just going to have a snapback. I thought people were going to sell it off and still kind of be more crackheady about it. But it seems like you got a little bit more worry. Disney, Microsoft flushing into the low, and then bonds moving. Disney is going up. High, low taker. I mean, you got highs, you got some lows. It's kind of 50-50, a little bit more on the low side. And then bonds. That 3M kit chart looks weird now. Oh, it's over the next three to four years. Still a lot. MO came down. PayPal. SPR, I've been seeing them again. Well, I guess Boeing was green too. There is no AI. Well, Marvel has like AI stuff, but again, their guidance and their like, I think their data center stuff wasn't as good. So it's like they, like this was one of those. That's why they sold off. It's not like they did bad, but then they're not guiding good. So pretty much if you have an AI segment, right? And, like, you're in this AI selling chips, selling software, whatever the fuck you're selling for AI. And you're in this industry. And you're guiding lower than expected for next quarter. What the hell is going on? That doesn't sound like AI. That's it. That, that's, that's the simplest way I could break it down. So, like, these companies like Marvel, Adobe, even Intel. Intel was another great example. Where it's just like, if you are in this space and you're telling me you're not expecting an increase in business, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50%, you know, then that's where people are starting to get worried. So like Marvel, they made more money and they made more money than was what was expected, but then they're not expecting to keep growing their business at a certain pace. Same thing, Adobe, their guidance was lower, even though they beat on the quarter, but it's like, if you have... AI stuff that is like, you know, taking advantage of this revolution. Why why are you not expecting to make more money? Mahaval. Then spies a little lower. Chips are just holding up. I think there's been too much hype about AI, or is it here? Well, I mean, I think it was fascinating to see how many chads use it on a day-to-day -day basis. So I definitely think something is here. But 
we are talking about it like I said this the other day, you know, like the guys on TV, they were just talking about how AI is, you know, it's the next big technology and it's going to do all of this stuff. And like, I just, it reminded me of when social media was like first getting popular and everyone had like a, there was like a social media craze on Wall Street for a little bit. But the only difference was that like social media was making money then. So like as of now, the only people really making money is NVIDIA and then anybody who works with NVIDIA, SMCI, ARM, you know, anybody like in selling the chips and then Microsoft, I guess, Copilot. So it's like then some of them are making good money and that's where everyone's like, yeah, hell yeah. But in general, I don't think we've seen and this is kind of the problem with companies like Adobe and everybody else. It's like why are they not making like a lot more money? So some, yeah, Pal Palantir had a good earnings, but I do think it's still, I still think it's early. I think it's still very, very early and we don't fully know the winners and losers. We know NVIDIA is going to win, but we also don't know for how long and, and where this is all going to pretty much lead into. And then again, like are, are some of these other names like Adobe or, anybody offering AI as a product feature is it is it actually going to make them more money and then is it going to cover their investment that that we don't know but it's definitely there in the sense of you got people talking about it it's in the conversation every single day and if you are looking at any business and thinking about the future of that business you're probably going to have AI brought up into the conversation So money in making chips, but no visible practical use. No, I wouldn't say no visible practical use. I think practical use is a is a wide spectrum depending on, on what you do. So I think there's some people who could use AI right now for what they do and have an, a, 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 an invaluable practical use for it and get so much value out of it for whatever task they're doing, their job or work. And then there's other people it really wouldn't make that big of a difference. So I think it just depends. But right now, in general, you're making the people making the most money are the people selling the, the hardware for AI, not necessarily uh, AI software that's being used by people or, again, maybe like an ecosystem, an app store, uh, again, a, a new device, but, again, the hardware, the chips, the the cloud, the data center, that's that's what it's coming down to. NVIDIA has the ecosystem. But I mean like kinda like something that evolves into like kind of like a iPhone you know the phone they had the hardware then they had the app store and then everything you know is just funneled all through that system of the iPhone like that type of ecosystem with hardware and services essentially dollar pop Dollar is back up. It's kind of shitty. Because when the data came out, the dollar, we were doing a lot worse when the dollar was a little bit lower than where it is now. So, yeah, market not liking that. Pop loading. 
This morning was weird. We didn't really have much data, and the data is kind of supportive with Empire Manufacturing. But we had a pretty nasty dump pre-market. And then the uh, consumer sentiment came out. That was like around here. Market bounced. Bonds bounced and then dropped. And then it was just kind of been slowly selling off right at what the option market was pricing yesterday. And then getting ready for next week. What are these weird candles? Why is my dollar now? My dollar chart's all messed up. MandoBeats.com Mando Beats in the mix. Welcome to the chat. What's up, baby? Tesla. Microsoft. I think we don't we don't know what's gonna happen at this AI conference. So this little like AI or NVIDIA GTC thing, nobody really knows what's gonna happen. So it's kinda wild. It's kind of wild. So there might be big announcements. There might be no announcements. Maybe it's bad. It's crazy because ne what? Next week? Is it? That's nuts. Next week we get Powell, Bank of Japan. Then you get uh, this NVIDIA conference. And then you get a, a Oprah special on Ozempic. All of this is uh, next week. Like even to start it off. Literally on Monday. So Monday to like Monday. Dude, that's going to be crazy. We're going to get NVIDIA conference and a Oprah special on Ozempic. Yeah, Oprah is making a special airing March 18th on Ozempic. It's very captivating. I forgot the title. Let me see what it's called. What's the title? Oh, it's called Oprah Special. Shame, Blame, and the Weight Loss Revolution. Yeah. And it's about shame and blame and men and, and how people manage their weight. It's going to talk about the stigma of how people manage their weight. It sounds like it's going to be a Oprah pumping Ozempic. It sounds like they're going to make Ozempic sound very, very favorable. And they're going to highlight people. And they say, don't judge. Don't judge how I lose weight. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. So, yeah. You get Ozempic. You get Ozempic. That'd be crazy. Instead of giving away cars, Oprah gives away insulin shots. The fuck? You get an Ozempic. Here you go. Don't let anyone judge you. Don't be ashamed. Here you go. Here you go. Come on, you too. Don't be ashamed. It's okay. Come on. Come on. Lose weight prep. There you go. You get one. Should be just throwing them. Just hitting kids in the head. And they're like, ah. And like, and, but they're happy about it because they're like, I'm losing weight. Oprah just hit me with an Ozempic shot. Woo! <laughs> it should be a South Park episode. It really should. It's not insulin. I know, man. That's that's the joke. That's that's the joke. It's because it gives a diabetes drug. Nobody really knows what it is, man. But they just they don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because like If you told them right now Hey yo Ozempic is a horse tranquilizer They don't care They'll still take it And Oprah would still love it You know why? Because you lost weight They don't care anymore That's it It's been Ozempic is too popular in the streets They already saw the effect You've already seen people go from big to little and that's it now. Now nobody they don't they don't care what the hell is in Ozempic. Mm hmm. A 
thousand a month. I think I think it's like sixteen hundred. I think it was like four hundred a shot. It's either two hundred or three hundred or four hundred a shot. They're pumping Ozempic like the like like the V. No man. And they're not like if you don't get Ozempic, you're fired. <laughs> That'd be crazy. I think they're doing that at Abercrombie though. But everywhere else, I don't think they have a Ozempic mandate. That'd be crazy. Uh, a lot of upgrades coming in. I think there's a lot of them Canadian. Eleven fifty six right now. Fifty cents said he's on Ozempic. No, I've not seen that. All I know is Oprah. Oprah Monday. That's gonna be the big one. I do want NVO. Like I said, I'm I kind of want to sell covered calls on Airbnb in the long term and then use that money to buy NVO at the highs. So then that way if I top ticket, I do it with free covered call money, but yeah, I like it. I'm mad. I knew about Ozempic early. I even told you guys about it. I just said I'm going to wait till it comes down in price and it like it never came down in price. NVO is the one who made Ozempic. They're the ones they can't even, they have more demand than supply, even for the next couple of years, I think. I'm sorry, that uh, the ice sounds very aggressive. I mean, wasn't the news yesterday you could buy the you could buy this shit online now on Amazon. Spy down way more than SPX. Could be the X dividend and the uh, rollover today. So some contracts, like even then, some things like the yen shifted charts already. So moving contracts could be another reason. It was good ice, right? It's gonna, it sounded really loud. So I was like, oh man. Yeah, man, it's really loud. I don't want to. Here, hold on. Sorry, I was making some crazy noises there. I just, I, I saved you. Woke up late. What's the news? Nothing really. I mean, we had bad data. Uh, on the Empire Manufacturing, bad data that should have been good, but we slipped. And then uh, consumer sentiment wasn't really anything. Came in at the margin. We went up and now down a little bit, back to within the range. We're right around where we were pricing in, and everybody's setting up for next week. Mm. Mark, it feels slow, but the volume is huge. So the volume today compared to every other day, like... What, on um, Wednesday? Wednesday we did 55 million in volume. You have almost, you almost have that volume now and it's not even Euro close. So even today right now in the morning, you're trading more than you did at the beginning of the month. So whatever happened March 4th, the whole entire day, you have more volume right now than all of March 4th, which is crazy to think about. It is options day, and there's a, there's a lot of volume. 
that's the craziest part about all of it. So feels like we're moving slower, but you're surprisingly more active than the last couple of days. I think the range is a little tighter. Remember, yesterday's range was wide. I mean, top to bottom, we moved, what, 20 points? So, yeah, you were doing that in like 10 minutes yesterday. RNA, Odabe. Odabe stopped dying. Odabe dead. Powell is Wednesday next week. Tesla red. Mike, all the big tech still at the low. Duolingo value. Nope. Three at with three M. Altria went down. Three M still holding. That chart just still looks weird now after that candle. Tesla. At least Tesla didn't break below the one sixty though today. Five seventeen. So this is one of the lower levels. We are a little bit off of yesterday's low. I mean, last time we were like comfortably at this price was Monday. So this is just where we started the week. No shit. Not too bad. I mean, again, this was last Friday. So even these lows, these low. Ah, uh, you were actually here on the low of last Friday too. Around ten a.m. So two more hours. If we're still here, this is exactly where you were last Friday. Same time. Redfin below six now. Oh, damn. They finally fell. So they got hit a little bit. Remember, Zillow is down like seven or eight percent earlier. Ulta's climbing back up. Baba is still in play. They did start slipping. We'll see coming in the next week. CCJ came down, but still up on the day. Yeah, I'm Dizzle. Mar Some of the other chip makers, they had their run earlier, kind of calmed down. VWAP on SPY, yeah, it's really... I think it's because there's really high volume. The E-Trade VWAP gets out of whack sometimes, but I just think you're getting, a, like, a shit ton of volume. So it's kind of moving things around. And very interesting price. Again, here's, like, a, what, five-day chart? But we're around Friday's lows and then the close of Monday. And then we haven't made a test of 5,100 yet, which would be if we broke below like 5, 510 or something. Yeah, interest rate on when Not only do you have an interest rate decision on Wednesday, you have a summary of economic projections. So you have a dot plot on Wednesday. That's And that's what's really going to matter. So even literally before Powell even talks you will probably have an answer on what that day will bring. And then Powell is going to have a, I, I do think he is going to have a little bit of a, of a surprise there with uh, quantitative tightening talks. How bizarre. Oh, MSOS. I want like a headline. Like this is literally the headline today. That's what I was waiting for. But I had like $300 of profit earlier. I probably want to get around like kind of closer to the nines. Well, we'll see. Any news for the bounce back? No, I think uh, 
He's getting ready for Euro clothes, but no, not really. We have 30 more minutes till Euro close. Adabe, they bounced four or five bucks from the low. Boeing new high. I think SPR is going with it. And JD is still up there. Airbnb down, Netflix. Is most of the names Russell's in the green? I think everything's down. Dow Jones, nine names green, 21 in the red. NASDAQ 100, 23 in the green, 78 in the red. And then 288 in the red on the SPY, and then 214 in the green. About Redfin. I like Redfin, but I'm up still like 90% or something. So I think if you want Redfin, just let it die again to the low prices. I don't know if it'll hit that again, but I'm up on it a lot. So I, I still kind of see it as having premium. Myrna on the low. Spy starting to slip a little bit. Bonds holding. And then I think the dollar is higher. Yeah, dollar's near the high of the day. Shit just keeps climbing. So last Friday. Damn. Damn. So we even dropped last for the dollar started coming up there. But dollar was a lot lower. So we've came back to what? Two weeks ago, Tuesday. On the dollar. And there's a big drop before then. Oh, I guess. Same price. Literally, last time the dollar was around here. So I guess not too bad. I'm trying to see if there's any other little divergence. 3M going again. Uh, 3M is about to hit 105. Oh, I guess it did hit 105 earlier. That's still insane. I, that one wick won't go away. ASPI on the high. A couple of biotechs, then tech. Low ticker picking up. Google, Snow, Microsoft. These are all on the low ticker right now. Yeah, all your big names are selling off still. NASDAQ back down to 1%. Remember I was telling you earlier last time NASDAQ, like last time SPY was here, NASDAQ was down one. So SPY is going near low of the day. I think the NASDAQ, yeah, now it's getting back there. But NASDAQ still has a little bit more room. A verb. Verb. Ver that sounds very familiar. 400% penny stock. I don't know the news, but good luck on it. SMG on the high. That's up five. And there's Jabil. We have Adabe. Adobe next week calls. 535 at 103. We think it'll bounce. I mean, if that AI conference goes good and Adobe has something, maybe that would be the catalyst. But I did. I mean, I'm still in the shares. I'm clapped on them. But I, I was expecting a little snapback. So we'll see. But I do think a little bit will rely on Powell and the AI event next week. Coin, 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 coin. Going, going. FTAI on the high. Yeah, copper. Copper's been on a run. 
and then silver as well. I mean, it's all been with gold, but as far as silver and copper, people are getting a little optimistic on some demand for commodities in the economy. ADM fighting. It can't get above that level. But maybe after the expiration, we'll see next week. Marvel vale is still holding. Arm came down a little bit. Is the bull market over? Oh, no. I don't know. I think too early to judge. You still got next week. If Powell changes, if the dot plot shows more hikes, yeah, maybe. It'll be over for a little bit. But other than that, there's no real... We shouldn't be near the end until there's a acted upon by equal or opposite force. Powell is next Wednesday. NASDAQ new low. So is that going to start picking up a little bit more aggressively? Spy near there, Dow 0.4. Russell's doing great up a quarter. You think MO will come back up? Uh, I think it still has more of this run, but like in a weird, I mean, I think this is healthy. I was saying it earlier. It's like, we, I would love for it to keep going up every day, but I mean, we just had like eight days in a row of, of major green on it. So a little bit of calming down after a 12% move, you know, being down 0.6, I think it's acceptable, but I think it'll keep going eventually. I don't know about like, I wouldn't try to time it, and I wouldn't read too much into this as much as it's just calming down. I think it's a good price. I think they could go, I think, another dollar. So pretty much where I think it was June. I think it was June of 2023. Yeah, right here, they're at like 45. They're like 45.71. They lowered their guidance. Uh, and yesterday, they raised their guidance above that point. And they did this on the Enjoy purchase. So I think they got 47. And then if you really like go back in time on some of the other stuff, I mean, I do think the 48s are slimly possible, but... As of yesterday, I was being conservative with it, but looking back through like their other earnings, I think they could get to like 47, 47.50. But give him his breather, man. Give him a breather. He's worked very, very hard. All right, you're going a little lower. 51112, EU commissioner evaluating possibility of introducing restrictions on the import of agriculture projects uh, products from Russia to EU. They say commission will come forward with a proposal shortly. Huh? I don't know. Wasn't wheat already moving? You can check wheat and corn. That'll be weird. So, like, literally, EU is saying they want to restrict agriculture products. Yeah. And then you're, like, right near the low of the day. couple points off. And, again, we haven't tested 5,100 yet. Oil's trying to work its way back up here, too. Aquil, Manu, a couple random names on the high. You're getting a little air brake green shoot. And there's MO coming down. Thank you for your service, MO. Square drop in. It's weird. Apple's trying to work its way up, but then Microsoft is just dumping. And then NVIDIA is actually still holding pretty good. CCJ climbing up a little bit. I forgot bonds too. They've just been staying pinned up there. 
is slightly higher than yesterday. But again, if you pull out the bond chart, you'll notice how pinned they are. It's just holding from yesterday's level. And then again, two weeks ago when the dollar was same price, bonds are at the same level as well. VIX is on the high now. Or at least UVXY, VIX is asked to get above 15 again. So 16, I think we get a little bit more freaked out. Apple's just finding a way to maintain. They are kind of holding up, but all the other tech names, they are in their own little world. Some pulling down, some holding up, like NVIDIA and Microsoft. That's a very stark difference today. And then Amazon and Google down. And then some small caps, some retail names up. A lot down. Again, a majority of the names are down, though, today. Oh, Tessie. Ulta's on the high. Remember, they were down a lot. I think they still might be in the red. Yeah, they're still down 3.8. Tessie near the low. Looks like the spy in the NASDAQ may be a little better. Wouldn't the VIX naturally be up with the volume? No, because if, if people close out, right? Like, it just depends. So some people may be closing out calls and puts. It just depends after 30 days, you know, or longer than 30 days of expiration, what's kind of the open interest, more or less. Yeah, snow has been very bad. Snow, that was one of those earnings hits. Some of you guys made good money on that. But they snow died and kept going. That's almost 100 bucks. All right, SPY going lower now. You're about to break a new low, and at least the bonds are moving. So maybe we'll get a little bit of an inverse. You're still two points off the low, 5110, but you are coming down here a little bit. NASDAQ down 1.18. I believe NASDAQ already hit a new low. Yeah, NASDAQ's hitting new low first. I think even the Dow, too. So SPY's kind of holding on a little better. You probably thank oil for that. And again, bonds are catching their bid. Gold is coming up to Zella on the high. Five one one out. ML Money Lion. I know Burrito Lion. Bank of America, dude. JPM, Bank of America. Look at these guys. These guys are very solid, Habibi. They are getting ready for Powell and loving it. That is wild. Every single one of these days. It don't matter how NVIDIA or Microsoft look or anything, bro. Banks. Low key there. I have four months of deposits in my bank account. What do you think about Tesla? Well, it depends what other stuff you have in your portfolio, right? Like it may be a good growth one, but I think you could do better. But, you know, if you don't have any other names in your portfolio and you're, you know, want to get something there, you can. So, but it, again, the balance, it is at a discount to the year, which is good. But I do think it was a little lower though last year. Now that I think about it. Yeah, so you're like getting it at the lows of last year, which I guess is decent. But at one point, I mean, theoretically, if you look at the beginning of January, you know, you've watched me do this on a lot of plays. You're still paying f almost 50% more. <laughs> it's kind of crazy when you look at it. Again, a hundred it, it, it was near $100, and it's still at 160 right now. So 
it's up to you and your balance. And like I'm saying, you don't have to make it your biggest one. You can balance it out with other things, but I think there's still a little bit of, of value there. Boeing outlook to stable from positive by Fitch. So they got a downgrade. And then Spy trying to get a green, new high on the bonds. Yeah, bonds going up. Is US is there USDA numbers? Oh, that was last week. Boeing is going up. Yeah, Microsoft stopped dumping. The video is still holding up. Again, Boeing, high ticker is kind of getting active. ADI, a couple of other names I'm seeing move in. And then bonds are catching a bid. I don't know where dollar. Dollar's still near the high of the day. So market's near the low of the day, dollar near the high. When you say spies dumping, what indicator am I looking at to say that? I'm just looking at the price of it. So this is the literal spy or the SPX. So as that goes down, you know, I'm usually calling out kind of the context of it's within a new low or not. So even right now, we're near the low. We're waiting for 5018 and then realistically, like maybe 5105, but 5100. Otherwise, we bounce. You're going to Cleveland. You're looking at an 88 unit property that needs three million done to it. What's uh, are they rented out now? That seems kind of expensive for Cleveland. All right. I think if one of these moves, wait till the bonds come down. But they actually broke out on that. It's completely gutted. 88 units. Needs 35 to 50. Well, good luck. I hope it works out. That could be very good. Assuming it doesn't have too much. Like, too many issues. I've been seeing a lot of... Uh, a lot of value adds recently. They've been very, very good. Chad, bingo, I wasn't able to get it figured out. Everybody had limits, like 50 to 100 people. I don't know if there's a way I could set it up with like a 1,000. I'd have to like pretty much make my own bingo cards and give them out. We have to like get the cards out and like, but then I don't know how to like record it. And then you'd have to have like the main one. Bingo is a lot, lot harder than I thought. It was a great idea. I know, man. Bingo. I, I still want to play, man. Any reason why we're red? I mean, a little bit of the follow through from yesterday and kind of everybody coming to terms with some of the data. Uh, other than that, I mean, the consumer sentiment were literally at the same spot from when that came out. But I mean, if you want to chalk it up to the data from yesterday and this morning, you kind of can. But today's data this morning was bad manufacturing data and then import export prices dropping. So would have thought there'd be a positive effect, but it seems like you're still choppy from the day before with big tech selling off and then chip makers holding up a little bit of a bid. 
the intro theme. I don't know if we could play it now. I don't know if, if now is the right time to just like go into the music, you know. I do need to go to the bathroom, but I don't think I can. It's like, you know, walking to the car. It's the Tony Tony legs. Yeah, today is a big expiration as well. So that's kind of factor. There's a lot of volume. Okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Follow me on Instagram, at the trading fraternity. Have a great Friday morning, baby. Put a smile on your face. I will be right back. Spy near the low of the day. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Of course, we'll hear from Fed Chair Jerome Powell. BOE decision out on Thursday as well as an IPO. Let's talk, though, about just how much we're going to see out of the world central bank's monetary policy for 40 percent of the world's GDP coming out next week. Of course, the BOJ, BOE and the Fed being highly watched. But there are, of course, many others. We'll keep an eye on all of that for you throughout next week from New York. That does it from us. Same time, same place next week. This was Bloomberg Real Yield and this is Bloomberg. This was the song I was mumbling. This is real. It's like a K pop Samsung ad. And they always make people look like they make concerts look so like in commercials. When someone's like at a concert, they make it look so like clean and like not crowded. And like it just seems so peaceful in that commercial. It's just like this girl, like, with enough space. She's, like, social distanced and everything. And I'm like, wow, that's amazing. And then she's just so listening. In your reporting court. David Solomon? In terms of uh, just this, this bifurcation Goldman? in the consumer nice. uh, group right now. Yeah, absolutely. Les, thanks so much. I appreciate you bringing that to us in the details of the latest Goldman shareholder letter. Now, Weiss, you own Goldman. Leslie mentioned yep. investor patience has been needed because it's been a little bit of an underperformer compared to peers. How are you feeling about the letter in the year ahead? You still well, want to stay where you are with this it, holding? Yeah, of course. Uh, it's it's really uh, been an underperformer just near term. Mm. Away from J.P. Morgan, which is new highs, but also the movement in J.P. Morgan is less. When you hit new highs, it doesn't mean you're up 20%. It means you're up a tick versus the old highs. But look, to me, Goldman is, is a microcosm of what's ha what happens in corporate America, right? You hit a misstep, and the question is not how you get knocked down, but how you get up. And when you take a look at the aggressive action that David has taken towards the businesses that were underperforming, the mistakes that were made, and just said, get them off. We're not going to stay married to them because we got involved. We're going to get divorced. And we're going to move on. So I do think you will see the capital markets open up in the second half of the year as rates come down. And that just doesn't mean IPOs and secondaries because that really hasn't picked up. We see some headline transactions. It means M&A, which is the most profitable business. So Goldman is the best position there, in my view, has the deepest benches, and I think they'll just continue to kill it. And I think David's a great steward of the company. He's done great things. He's tried new areas of growth. He's changed the market for them from just being a trading market to also being an asset gathering market, which should get a higher valuation in the market. And then maybe he needs to use that Chumbawamba tub thumping song. I get knocked down, but I get up again. Yeah. Uh, Brenda, I know you don't own Goldman, but obviously M&A has been a, a, big, a big deal the focus is because frankly it just hasn't been there mm -hmm. he's mm -hmm. talking about obviously a hopeful turnaround there so if investment banking does see a turnaround is goldman the biggest beneficiary or a name like jp morgan also stands to benefit which i know you hold yeah i mean our preference is to stick with a name like jp morgan okay. which isn't relying solely on this piece uh recovering <laughs> in order for their business to do well it's more diversified mm -hmm. uh but i i do hope <laughs> that we do see a pickup in, in m a i think it would also be healthy for the market overall mm -hmm. it's Especially if, it, if we do see M&A of small, mid-sized companies, I hope that that would help 
with evaluation discovery about how should we really be valuing these companies since they've been lagging so much uh, over the last few years relative to large cap stocks. Uh, but I also think the IPO um, you know, calendar is, it, there's a pipeline that's full, uh, but we haven't really seen a lot of activity there. But certainly think that would also be a, certainly a healthy development for the market overall to have some freshness, uh, assuming those deals come to market and act well, also would help with uh, valuation discovery within those sectors uh, that they're uh, lie in, as well as potentially mid-cap stocks, which again have lagged, but that's where we think the bigger opportunity is. Okay. Year. We're getting a new alert on Boeing. Phil LeBeau has the details. Oh, gosh, Phil, what do we got? Well, it's not a huge deal in terms of how the stock is reacting right now, but it is important to note that Fitch has downgraded the credit outlook for Boeing going from positive to stable. And the fact that they're going from positive to stable is not a surprise, given the challenges that Boeing now faces as they are uh, seeing their max production limited. They likely are going to be seeing higher costs as they work to double down and ensure uh, quality and safety is uh, at the level it should be at, which clearly it has not been uh, over the last couple of uh, quarters, if not the last year or so. So again, Fitch downgrading Boeing's credit outlook going from positive to stable. And again, not a huge reaction from the stock. I think the street looked at this and says, yeah, that seems about right. Guys, I'll send it back to you. Thank you very much, Phil. Brenda, you own it. Does it seem about right? A fair downgrade of the credit? It does. I hate to say as a shareholder, but there has been unfortunately nothing but bad news for Boeing over and over again. Uh, we've been sticking with our position, though. We, we do think that, you know, the, the pipeline for planes is not going to change. Um, we think that um, the company continues to be well positioned in that regard. But clearly, uh, there is a lot of work to be done. And whether I that's know, you know acquiring I, Spirit I'm and then bringing more of, of that planes. control over the production in house, <laughs> I think that would be it. Like I'm genuinely like I don't like Boeing planes. Like I, it sucks. Like they have like you could go on depending on how you book your flights, you could like sort your flights by plane, and you could go and get uh, a different like plane if you want. But that's the thing. Like I think we're gonna need more and more planes. But like I want planes that I actually like. That don't scare me. But anyways, Chattadonia, the day is rolling on. The market's a little bit weird and crazy. We're still a little bit overshot now from where we were pricing into the downside. But Chattadonia, we've been here for three and a half hours. We got three and a half hours left to go. Sitting is the new smoking. Welcome to Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, I need you to get beside your desk and do 10 push-ups. Can't do 10, you do 5. Can't do 5, you do 4. Can't do 4, you do 2. Can't do 2, you do 1. Can't do 1, get on your knees, do a push-up, plank the worm, anything. But get the body moving then. Optometrist recommendations. Stare at object 10, 20, 30 feet away. Blink a few times. Go blink, 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 Relax those pretty little eyeballs, baby. You've been staring at a screen for hours. Calm down a little bit. Drop the shoulders now. Relax. No one's attacking you. Why are you holding all that tension in your shoulders? They are called trauma traps. All your trauma in life, you're putting them in your shoulders. You got to relax them. Yeah, I wear glasses. I'm, I'm very nerdy. I like them. I love my glasses. It sucks because when I don't wear my glasses, I can't see and because I got used to them. But I like them. I like them a lot, man. And I like dropping my shoulders. And I like putting my chest to the sun and flexing my core and tucking my hips in and making sure my legs are in front of my, my chair because I don't want to ride a dolphin. Okay? It's good for you, man. Don't mangle that spine. Okay? And then relax the jaw. Go, Breathe in really deep. Go. Breathe out with your tongue out. Do the dragon breath. Go. There you go. Just like that. Oh, Boeing going a little higher. Yeah, man, relax the shoulders. Is that low ticker moving? Oh, I was going to say, I thought we were going green there a little bit. Hold up. Switch gears. 
Those green shoots turning red. As long as you I get knocked down, I get up again. You never gonna bring me down. I get knocked down. Or they say that about Boeing? That's an awful song to say for Boeing. <laughs> My plane falls down. It gets back up again. The FFA won't keep me down. It goes on down. And then it gets up again. They never gonna keep us down. That's awful. Why would you ever say that to Boeing? That's sad. It's a shame. Well, that little green shoot about to turn into a new low again. We actually haven't set the new low yet. Okay, I got to hit that wall stretch. Zillow's still dumping again. There's something related to that Seattle case. My plane falls down. It gets up again. FFA won't keep us down. Alright, I'm doing the stretch. I'm doing the stretch. We good. S&P raises Argentina long-term rating to triple C. Outlook stable and balance. Gold going up. Legend, I think, don't they have biotech data coming out soon? Uncle should release a Boeing diss track. <laughs> yo. Yo, yo. <laughs> Uh, yo, Dave Calhoun. Yo, this one go out today. All you mother out in Seattle. You, man, what y'all doing at work? Yo. Yo, yo. <laughs> maybe, man, maybe. I'll, we'll talk to Uncle about it. That'd be pretty funny. Next leg, next leg. Country Bowen song. See my plane keep on flying, but my door's falling off. I crack myself a beer, and then I get back on the plane. Mm, I don't know, I don't know. I've never, not, I gotta work a little bit more on it, but maybe. We could do something. Dubstep Boeing. Please remain seated. I that Yeah, that'd be kind of crazy. Ding dang. See, I see you could do a lot. I think Boeing could take over the whole music industry. They probably should. It'd be safer for all of us. Your girl thought Delta was immune from using Boeing planes? Well, some airlines have less Boeing planes, but like... I don't think domestically, like it's very hard to fly domestically without flying on a Boeing. Most people, most airlines are, uh, they have a Boeing plane. Pin Duo Duo. That could be a good earnings. I don't know if the premium, are they in the morning or are they after hours? 
So they could be a decent one. If the premiums are cheap, kind of like those Futus. But Pindo Duo did drop recently. All this bowling talk, we had him up there the whole time, too. Flying Alaska. It sucks because I've been looking at different flights because I've been like, oh, I want to go somewhere, and then I get scared of flying. And then I've been noticing, though, Alaska has the cheapest flights. It's crazy. But then I'm like, ah, the door. Yeah, Bond's coming down there again. That whole little Bond move, market barely did anything, but see what happens here. <laughs> I wonder why. How bizarre. Da, 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 da. You realize you do something more dangerous than flying every single day? Yeah, but I don't do it in a Boeing. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Feel you. But like I ain't I ain't if I don't want to interact with the Boeing, I don't have to. My car is a Mercedes. It's not a Boeing. Boeing G Wagon? Hell yeah. That'd be terrifying. <laughs> That'd be terrifying. Well, the data is bad on Wednesday. Would it be good or bad for gold? Well, there's not really like good or bad data. All that matters is does dot plot go higher or lower? If dot plot goes lower, more rate cuts, gold is going to rock it. Dot plot goes higher, gold will probably go down a little bit, but still stay elevated. Sound, 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 sound pop. A I S P L oh, air. I always pull this up every single time. Adobe just AI scare, and then that little bounce isn't holding up. So watch out if that does round two to the downside. Spy might do round two here. Again, bonds are trying to move there. They finally came down, but Spy's been staying pinned here for like 20 minutes. Boeing was just up again. They got a credit downgrade, and they are actually holding up. They are starting to drop a little bit. The dot plot will point. So I don't think I could predict what the dot plot, because remember, the one time they moved the dot plot in December, that was pretty wildly unexpected. You know what I'm saying? So I am going to be, uh, you know, more. We'll see what happens, but I do think. I just I think up is bad, but I, I think there's a slight chance it goes higher, but not as much. I do think Powell has a incentive to keep it the same, but then again, one little move on that dot plot, I mean that's it. That'll that'll be the answer. MNU? No, MNQ. I rolled over. I'm at a loss on that. I rolled over the ones from yesterday. Or from last week. I'm down on that though. Bowen, all right, Bond's trying to climb his Tesla on the low. Yeah, I see TLSS on the high. TSLS, yeah, that's it. Tesla. 509 on the SPY. Again, this is 5110. The low is two points lower. It's crazy. Last time we were here, we just did one of those two-point flushes. You've stayed pretty resilient here for about 30 minutes at this level.
Uh, Adobe's coming back down. Adabe, I need Adabe up here. Yeah, Tesla, watch anything below 160 again or like 157. I believe that's the level, then 151. One fifty one Rama CCJ Microsoft Amazon still at the low Google so it's the same thing all the big tech and then AMD is going towards the highs so is Nvidia what the hell is this it's actually kind of wild so yeah chips are pulling up while every other big tech name is literally Microsoft's flushing on the low. Yeah, NVIDIA is the only Mag 7 name up right now. Did Netflix go red? Yeah, ne ne remember Netflix was... Dude, wasn't Netflix at like 6.30 in the morning? At 6.26? Yeah, chips are holding us... Like, I mean, most of the market's red, but chips are the only thing showing signs of life right now. And a couple of random-ass names... A couple of random value names, consumer staples, and a couple of random health cares too. Uh, I don't have any plays on the banks, no. I was looking at City the other day. They got a nice upgrade, and they've been kind of trailing behind on the yearly, but they're still kind of up a lot. You're up 10% on MO and getting 10% in Divi. Oh, man, that's beautiful. I think that's kind of Colt's sister. I think she had the better gain. Hers was at like 5% getting 10. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. 10% sitting on 10% Divi. Oh, okay. AMD breaking out there again, 193. It was at 200 a couple days ago. Spy. Curling up a little bit. You've literally been in this low end of the range for like 30 minutes or so. Any trades today? I don't think so. Nope. Nothing. Some trades came back. So like even the weed plays came back. I'm still in the oil. My ZB, I made a little from yesterday, but not much. And then got clapped on Adobe earnings from yesterday. Your membership expires in two minutes. They have a timer. Vinci Airports. What's this? Ah, uh, VIX is at fifteen twenty. Low key, the VIX has been climbing. Like I told you guys, 16. That's kind of the fear level, I think. Markets, I think everyone trips out. Last time we started breaking 16, we closed below it. But I do think anything above 16 starts getting a little bit more uneasy. Spy. I saw the spy. It opened up my eyes. I saw the spy. Everything's all time highs, especially in the video. Spies going lower. Another new low. Actually, almost. I thought it did. It looked like it on the spy. SPX hasn't done it yet. No other catalyst for the day. Not really. No more data, but again, I mean, next week there's a ton of events, like from the start of it, like the start of the week. You'll get a rig count at 1 p.m., and then that's it. Friday, everybody's already off the weekend. It was the weekend before Powell. It's already almost 10. I mean, we're burning through time. Europe did only close 30 minutes ago. That's the crazy part. Oh, shit. So that was Euro close?
So that little pop and drop was literally on Euro close. CCJ. Adabe still coming down. Again, I thought you hit a low. Bond selling off finally there. CCJ is trying to climb back up. Dollar still near the high of the day. Up over a tenth of a percent. Powell gives bad news. Uh, the only Powell doesn't have to give you bad news. So that's the beauty of the dot plot. This is why I'm so excited about it is because Powell could be fake as hell. All that matters is what the dot plot says. And like what I mean is that Powell could just Powell could be like, oh, dude, like I'm super optimistic. And Powell could say the most bullish things ever. But if that dot plot shows no rate cuts and they change that, everybody is going to kind of vomit off of that so really it doesn't really matter about what powell thinks about the narrative all that matters is if the dot plot is there if the dot plot goes higher then then you know how the fed feels about the recent data if that dot plot goes lower then you know how they feel speaking of lower that is your new low i think you did it now yeah five one zero six all right ladies and gentlemen we are probably gonna have a 5100 test in our future you may, maybe we'll test it, maybe go right to the number, but that's it. Anything below here, you'll have like 5104. There's a couple of air brake moments, but it's it's all about 5100. And then if we can't hold 5100, 5090, down to like 5080. So it could start moving 10, 20 points at a time. But it's a big level. Bond's starting to give up too. Again, dollar is also near the high as well. We are at the gulag. UVX watch share is coming back, baby. Oh, Mr. Hunt. Let's go. <laughs> I know he wants the whore, baby. Pump it down. It's a party. Well, we'll see. It just sucks because we're still, like, so high. Like, the level of... uh. I don't know. We're s the market is so resilient. We're literally... This is like where we were at the beginning of the week. That's the crazy part. We're like right about lower than where we were at on Monday. So, however we felt on Monday... Actually, no. Even SPX isn't even lower. Jeez. So, Monday morning, we were trading below 5,100. Just missed the pump. We haven't pumped it up in weeks. It felt like it was a a weekly occurrence. And now we haven't we haven't had one in a while. First time this year, QQQ and SPY printing two red weekly candles. Well, does it was last week? Was that red? This looks like your biggest red weekly candle. I guess the volume. So maybe that candle was barely red. But yeah, you haven't seen that in a minute. BDX on the high. Wasn't that one of the earnings? Or that was BWX. Watch the dollar might go up here. I think dollar's trying to skyrocket back above 28. And if it gets above there, I mean, again, you're you're back into a couple weeks ago. Everything has already gone back in time. 
if we close this week red, it'll be the first back-to-back red week since October of 2023. Wow. <laughs> That's wild because but like it seems like that was far away, but not too far away, but then that makes a lot of sense cuz that was when everything, I mean it was October. PGR on the high progressive. Interesting. Spy still going lower. See if the chips start giving up. That won't be good. Literally, market goes lower. Adobe gets a green. MO below 44. Pfizer coming down. Here. Uh, Tesla hasn't flushed yet, but it's, it's hanging on. Yeah, here's popping up. Damn, 10% in one candle. Remember, Turtle, they had news the other day. I forgot what it was. Was it, was it earnings or they... I want to say they got funding. They had something yesterday. They got a price target raise. Oh, yeah, they acquired PDP. And then they had a CEO change and then a share buyback. <laughs> so they bought somebody, earnings, share buyback, got rid of their CEO. I'm going to play the stupid pop. I mean, see what's even... Uh, here's the... Are you ready for the beauty? You know what we could check right now? We could check how much the market is pricing in for the end of the day. Hmm. So even right now, what, like 30 minutes after Euro close? It's like, what? Two... Two eleven, two fifteen. We will use two fifteen. So right now, end of the day, market is pricing in another another point four percent. And that'd be to that'd be to break even. So that means we either close at negative half a percent from here or we close at negative one point two. And then if you think the market is gonna move more than point four in the next what, three hours, two hours, then these plays should pay out. But that's kind of how we're feeling here on the option chain. Ugly day. Bond just gave up a lot of it here. I think it's ugly just because we've kind of had multiple days in a row. It was like a couple of weeks ago and when, when we did have those breakdowns and we were like, okay, we're kind of calming down. But it has been literally run up, cool down, wait till the next catalyst, and then literally next week. I mean, if Powell's good, we're going to be ripping. And then if Powell's bad, then it's over. But... For now, I feel like it's the same same setup we've done all year. Couple blocks higher, couple blocks lower, wait for the gap. Gap on event, couple blocks higher, couple blocks lower, gap on the event, and then we just keep rinsing and repeating. SCCO. I just did what the market was pricing in by looking at the uh, at the money straddle prices. Gold took a dump on that. Interesting. Again, so did bonds, and then dollars still elevating. 
again, here is popping. They had a little bit of follow through news from yesterday too. Does that mean for certain either of those options will happen? No. The market maker could be wrong. So that's the whole point. If you think that's kind of like this. Have you ever been like sports betting? Do you know like sports betting where they're like under or over? And they give you like a spread that you need to make. And they're like, you know, Lakers plus four. And, you know, or Lakers minus four or something like that. That's kind of what it's showing you. So you're getting the, yeah, you're getting the line, the probability. So then that way, if you think that's not going to happen, you go for the under and then you could, or you know the option chain is pricing in a little bit, it's expensive. And then vice versa, if you think it's going to move more, then you could go with the over. Or again, you could use it to get a general idea of where you think things are going to go. Twitch got clapped? Why'd Twitch get clapped? I don't think Twitch got clapped. Did you get clapped, Twitch? No, they said they're there. They said they're chilling. Baker Hughes rig count 629 versus 662. Confirm Twitch got clapped. Never mind, you got clapped, but then unclapped. But the rest of the Twitch says they're working. Again, Baker Hughes rig count coming out now. Oil kind of moving. We up. Where's my mouse? Here, still going. And Spy right there at that low. Again, we hit another low. I don't know how much lower. How much lower? Did we go? Five one oh four. So I don't know. It's either you get close to the fifty one and just bounce, or we find out. Oh, TSVT. They do have a FDA panel meeting. So again, remember I brought up this one in Jern yesterday. I didn't play any of them, but these are the biotech stuff on the schedule for today. 270 bio halted. Yeah, bro, Boeing. They went up after their credit got downgraded, and then they said, okay, we give up. And then Bonds gave a little bit there, a decent amount, actually. Bonds is right back to open. Bonds did nothing today. I mean, ironically, Spy could quickly get back to unchanged. Not, I don't know if it'll go back to, like, unchanged on the day, but, like, back to opening. X on the high. So remember, they've been dying and popping on the hole in the pond steel thing. But X getting a little pop there. VIX, is it going up? Uh oh, we're at 1550. So this is getting interesting. This is where we 1580. Like I'm saying, 16. Anything 16. We will see how the markets really feel. I mean, the market's pricing in another 0.4. So I think if we do actually move 0.4, the VIX should go up. How bizarre. <laughs> JTAI? I have no idea. Jet, uh, Jet AI? I feel like I've heard about this. I think it was one of those, just one of the hype names. But yeah, I have no idea. All that Josh weed talk I had to hit this dispensary. What? Dude, it's like fucking 10 a.m. still. Yeah, it's like legit 10 a.m. What do you mean? What the fuck? We're talking MSOS, weed ETF. East Coast, it's still like a solid 1 p.m., dog. That's like lunch break. I'm still, I don't know. I'm still not either way, man. Just don't tell me about it, but I don't know. I don't know how I influenced that. I don't think I did. I think you had a plan. I think that was premeditated. <laughs> I think you had that intention way prior to the, to the weed play. Is 
Is it good to carry cash? I mean, cash still pays out a ton. I'm st I'm not an enemy of cash. I like cash right now, but you just I don't like too much cash. I think there is uh, the law of or was it the law of diminishing returns? I think that applies to cash very well, because literally, if you hold a bunch of cash and you do not get an opportunity to deploy it at the most optimal time, then literally you're you're literally like you're 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 losing value. Like you're not you're returning less because then inflation and then the assets got higher. So it's just like don't have too much cash. But in general, I mean, it, having a little bit, as you see, you know, quick drops. And then especially if you're focusing on the stuff at a good at a good price and a good discount, they could go a, go a long, long way. ECB concludes asset quality reviews of Finco Bank. I don't know this Finco Bank. And then SPY popping a little bit more. So I, th I thought we were about to get a little messy. Bonds did. Bonds literally break even. How bizarre. It's time all oh, long term. It's good though. Long term needed a breather. Like I was saying, I don't do the long term has been a natural. So enjoy it. Enjoy the ups, but we we need a we need a little bit of a pullback. The seven worst large cap stocks so far in the stock market this year: Rivian down fifty three, Vinfast down forty, Mobileye down thirty five, Tesla down thirty five. Snap down 33, Affirm down 31, and Boeing down 30. They're yoloing your account for AMD calls. Just real, can I have a dollar? Before you do that, send me a dollar. I'm trying to get in on this. I'm not a broker. I can't offer you any sort of, but like, let me just, just get a dollar real quick. Yeah, Snap was doing very well this year. And then that earnings just got murdered. If you could choose one for your long-term SoFi or Tesla, which would it be? Oh, Tim got me. Thank you. One dollar, Bob. One dollar. <laughs> mm -mm. I don't know, man. Who's the debt? Like, is this a scenario from the devil? Because I feel like only the devil give you crazy-ass options where you're like, all right, you could only pick two, Donald Trump or Joe Biden. I'm like, what? Oh, you're like, like, how come like Coca-Cola isn't on that list? I can't buy Coca-Cola. Why do I have to buy SoFi or Tesla? I can't get a Coca-Cola. I can't get Starbucks. No Starbucks on that list. No Pfizer. You know what I'm saying? I can't. It's just only SoFi or Tesla. It's always these, always the same too. I would vote for Kennedy if he ran. Exactly. He would be so out of pocket. It sucks because I feel like people would get mad. They're like, you'd vote for him? And I'm like, I have to. He's made me laugh so many times in my life. How would I not? Oh, $2. Oh, you know that's like the dirtiest thing to do on prices, right? Oh, dude, that's cold. 
No, nah, because you can't do it. Have you ever seen that on Price is Right where the one person says $1 and then the next person is like $2 and they're like, oh. It's crazy. That's crazy. And then Spy getting a little vertical, a little green shoot off the bottom, back to the first little pin level uh, around Euro close. Y'all truly love Pfizer as a hold or it's a joke? <laughs> so, like, I personally, I don't like Fi Pfizer as a company, but I really do like their stock at this price uh, with where it's at. So, yeah, no, I'm I'm holding that in the long term, but I'm not like, a, you know, like I don't have a Pfizer. I don't have a Pfizer sticker on my laptop. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't listen to Taylor Swift songs just because I love Pfizer so much or anything like that. Price is wrong, Bob. 201. No. No. Ah! Yeah, 201. It's a funny question. No, I, it's a really funny question. Yeah, the six and a half percent divvy yield while being at multi year lows. Yeah, I mean, and they got patents, they got a lot of cash, and then the company's been around for over a hundred years. So that's I don't know. I'm just getting it at a very nice discount. I'm a big fan, but I don't like the company. I think uh they're quite unethical. Same thing with Altria. I think Altria's fucking hilarious. Y'all know Altria used to fucking sell us cheese and cigarettes at the same time. <laughs> I love America. Y'all get y'all fucking 15 years later. Y'all want to act all, all high and mighty with me on the morality. Okay, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now we all of us, oh, yeah. And then and we got like 18 wars that we fight in right now. They were selling you fucking Marlboro Reds. And fucking cheese whiz from the same company. <laughs> That's insane. And beer. Yeah, they got that ABM. They own something else too. They had they used to have a crazy pipeline. Of like everything Altria, so they they had to divest. But my goodness, how bizarre! Ah, uh, the big tech name stopped dying for a little bit. How bizarre! <laughs> how bizarre! And then I'm going to go to the bathroom. Follow me on Instagram. It's already 10. It's crazy. Follow me on Instagram at the trading fraternity. I love you. God bless you. I will be our B. <laughs> this is interesting now. The Homeland Security of DHS appears to be a sticking point here because it involves the border. That's probably not a shocker. And reports uh, would suggest that we basically get a continuing resolution for that one agency, and then the rest, the other five bills come together in what we're so cute now in Washington, we're calling a criminibus CR. Wow. Wow, that's and what I haven't heard I, before. I've heard Crumbus. Did, did you? I heard, yeah, I, if this is new to you, then I, I'm <laughs> proud of myself. Um, is, is this getting a little bit too cute for you, or could something like that pass? Yeah, but I'm a budget geek. Of course it could pass. The people don't care. Voters don't care. 
Um, you know, the, there's a very small percentage of voters in the right wing who care a lot about spending, and most voters really, really don't care, and they don't follow this. I will go to my grave uh, believing that shutdowns don't have any impact whatsoever in politics. People just don't care about them. Um, so uh, can this pass? Sure, it can pass. Just about anything can pass when you're spending money in Washington. question is, will it on time? I think there's a will to do that, mm -hmm. but the place is so dysfunctional. Again, they may accidentally slip past the deadline as they almost did last week and uh, will do again in the future. Spending time with Mick Mulvaney here on Bloomberg TV and radio. You might have heard about the letter from uh, White House counsel Edward Siskel wrote a note to Mike Johnson making fun of him in the effort to impeach Joe Biden. I write to you today, he says in the letter, because it is clear the House Republican impeachment is over. Is he right? No, I mean, keep in mind the way the Trump, the first Trump impeachment worked. The second one was different because that was January 6th. It was very quick. The first Trump mm -hmm. impeachment actually started with an impeachment inquiry. The general consensus on the Hill at the time was that there was no basis for an actual impeachment, but Nancy Pelosi needed to sort of salve her, her to, to, to give something to her left wing. So she gave an impeachment inquiry. And that's when Trump made the stunning decision uh, to release the transcript of his conversation with Zelensky in Ukraine, which is what then led immediately to the impeachment uh, shortly after that. So I think that Republicans are looking their hands over and say, look, the, the, the Trump screwed up and gave him a bunch of evidence that uh, they didn't have, and it turned into impeachment. Maybe the Democrats will make the same type of mistake. I'm not aware of the evidence they say they've collected. They say they've got some good stuff. They have to have a smoking gun um, to go after the president. They really, really do. Um, but my guess is this impeachment inquiry will go on for as long as it's still politically beneficial to the Republicans. Amazing. Uh, I've only got a minute left, Mick. You heard what the chair of the NRCC is talking about. Richard Hudson says Republicans are not going to lose the House in November. They're actually going to grow the majority. He's pointing to low yeah. polling for Joe Biden. He's pointing to redistricting that turned out to, in the speaker's words, be a wash. Do you agree with that? It's fascinating. I, 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 I'm skeptical because I understand the general sort of direction that Washington is going. I understand the seats that are at risk and the Biden seats versus I get all that. But there's some data yeah. out there that would, might support what Richard is saying, what Hudson is saying. They're, the the, the uh, Republicans are up by more than 10 points the last time I checked on a generic ballot. They were up by six mm -hmm. in 2010. The, the folks I've talked to who are not crazy in the Republican conference would tell you, look, Mick, we don't know. We might lose 30 seats. We might win 30 seats. We might tie. We have no idea. It's all over the map right now. And I think that Amazing. might be right. Hudson's not necessarily wrong. We'll play this tape back when the time comes. Mick, it's great to see you. Don't be a stranger. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Mick Mulvaney back with us on Bloomberg, former acting chief of staff, the White House, former congressman, co-founder of the Freedom Caucus. We assemble the panel next. Rick Davis and Jeannie Shanzano are with us. Like every Friday, our closers are coming up as we hit the campaign trail and look at the impact of these legal rulings. This is Bloomberg. I've never seen this commercial. What's this? Royal Caribbean? This looks exciting. Wow. Seafire. Oh, that's it. That's that's amazing. St. Paddy's. Amara. I see a lot of Mara in the chat. I see a lot of Bitcoin. Nick Mulvaney. Isn't that the Bud Light guy, girl? I think. But I, I think that's a common name, I guess. Yeah, because I was you had me thinking there for I was like I think I just did hear Nick Mulvaney. Is that the name or no Dylan Mulvaney? That's the Bud Light one. Not Nick Mulvaney. 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 That's crazy thing. My goodness, Chattadonia. Y'all feeling good though? Honestly, you got. You're a little bit more than what we priced. At one point early in the morning, we priced in 0.7. Contracts are expecting a little bit more of a move. Bonds gave up, but not not really much to digest. It's not like anything I would say is even like new info making us too crazy. Again, I think a little bit of jitters getting ready position for next week. Still a big expiration day today. There's a ton of volume, which I think is impacting a lot of the the movements that you're seeing here today, to say the least. And then... 
not to mention just that little weird digestion. You're still elevated above all else. 1% down on the NASDAQ. Never felt so never felt so high. Never felt so bullish. It's so weird to describe. That's literally every day at these levels. Feeling great, baby. Every day is good, man. Make it great. Make it great. You make it great, baby. Mm -mm. You want Philo? I don't know. I don't know. I gotta ask you. You feeling lucky? It's, that's what matters. You gotta. Do you feel lucky? Are you feeling lucky? I want you to feel lucky. This ain't even the philo, but I want you to feel lucky. You know that? You got to start feeling lucky. Bank of Japan lead plans to guide short-term rate to 0 to 0.1 range. Nikki, you're getting a Nikki rumor right now. Watch the yen. So literally, bro, they've been trying to fucking hammer these home this week. It hasn't really hit as hard. So literally, you got a rumor right now. Bank of Japan, but it's still kind of uh, it's being soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, you got to start feeling lucky. Best way to get blessed is feel blessed. Hey, man, bonds moving. It's weird. The yen's not moving on that, but bonds are. So see what happens there. And then SPY, this was the first low of the day. You're getting a little bit higher into the Euro close candle. I'm still in the Baba calls from yesterday, yeah. Mm-hmm. AI bouncing the contract. Yeah, it bounced that the, that's why it gapped up. It is the rollover, but it's weird that the uh the yen right now is not moving on that, but bonds bonds reacted more. I don't know if that's off of the headline or if it's just reacting to the great United States of America. You know what I'm saying? VP Harris to deliver marks about the White House admin achievements in marijuana pardons. Kamala Harris? <laughs> I say it like that because I'm like, I'm pretty sure she got the most marijuana convictions under her belt. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if this was like 2K, she have Hall of Fame put you in jail for weed badge. Like, she on Hall of Fame. That's why I'm like, what do you mean? Is she presenting something on, oh, yeah, marijuana pardons. Kamala, you put them all there, Kamala. Kamala used to be a menace, you know, before she became the fun-loving vice president we all know and love. How come we never hang out? I never see you. Kamala, why don't I never see you? Anyways, she used to be a menace. <laughs> Most confirmed. <laughs> No, for real, though. For real, though, bro. You have no idea. You have no idea. Camelo is a menace. They used to put people in jail for, like, weed. I always thought that was dumb. I'm sorry, whether... I was like, all right, calm down. Calm down. But, like, she used to, like... She'd throw a motherfucker in jail real quick. She jokes about it. Yeah, because if you're aware about it and joke about it, that means it can affect you. So, there you go. I respect her for it. Actually, I don't. So, like another example, like Joe Biden jokes about being old. Therefore, he is not old anymore because he could joke about it. So, if you need any more examples, let me know. But I think it's pretty clear. Brevin Howard cuts 10% of traders 
amid hedge fund losses. Spy going up. Market got vertical. Let me know if the uh, yen gets a little pop. Am Dizzle. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. No no weed pop unless Kamala comes out and says a lot. But like I said, you got a little bit of the, the weed news today. But I'm surprised this close to the election and the closer we get, weed is, is getting awfully quiet. I love you, cuts. I bless you. I love the love, man. Receive the love. Love is good, man. Enjoy life. Enjoy it. A good online quick mortgage company? Well, <laughs> some people might not like this, but Rocket Mortgage, <laughs> all the UMC homies ain't going to like this, but Rocket Mortgage, that's like literally what they're known for. You ain't seen the commercials? I used to see Rocket Rocket Mortgage commercials while getting gas. Yeah, Rocket Mortgage is actually like really easy though. Like if you really wanted like a, it's kind of like a retail mortgage. Like UWM, like UMC is really cheap. You'll get a better deal at UMC. They're wholesale. But like Rocket Mortgage is a very like consumer friendly. And you could just like go on there, click a couple buttons. And that's a, yeah, Arquite. Ar, 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 Arquite. Mortgage parts. Hey, heard you're looking to get a mortgage. Glad you could afford it in this environment. Apply today. We'll give you a guaranteed mortgage and get you approved in as little as two days. Even though it's the most complex financial transaction you'll ever make, we'll make it simple. You'll do nothing and probably get overcharged in some areas where we make our margin. Let us know if you have any questions. We're better than the big banks though, because Wells Fargo is even worse. Awesome. Have a wonderful evening. Bye. AI spits facts. He can't lie. He can lie, actually. Can you use trading money? If you recognize it as, like, income and have, like, tax filings. So... Usually if it's not like solid, verified trading money, more or less. And like, maybe you have four years history, that could go a long way. But like, are you paying yourself as a company or is this just like under your name as an individual? Because that's where it could make a real big difference. But check, I mean, hit them up if you want to do it easy online. Or again, find like a mortgage broker. Or check out UMC. And then they'll, they'll let you know. They'll ask you for all your forms and shit. Give it to them and see what they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hit up a call real estate guy first. Yeah, they all know a lender. Everybody does. And see, always shop it around. See what you'll need. But, like, if they're down to give you a standard mortgage, if, like, you have all the forms and income, at that point you just shop around for the best one. I didn't use trading as my income. But I have to show my trading account to show proof of down. Yeah. Uh, that that will work. You guys know that. At one point. At one point. You can use your long term as a proof of funds. You may you may even need your long term one day. Just to show somebody. <laughs> yeah. If you were like. If somebody. And if you were like. Oh. 
Like, even if somebody wanted proof of funds for you to go see a house, if that was the case, if your long term is big enough, you can. But like, even in like a mortgage setting, if you were trying to tell them, hey, like, here's my situation and like, this is how I'm paying my down payment, they they will want proof. So, and if you are f force uh, funding it from there, like you could send it to them and that will be the, like, they will, they will accept that. I did to buy my business. Yeah, it's your money. Like, I'm telling you, it's your assets. So, like, you have a, like, that's why, I like, the more and more. So, the crazy part is that small little YouTube account, when I'm like, yo, if you make, if you could save 200 bucks, 300 bucks a month, it's like now you have, like, 20K proof of funds to a degree. If you ever did need that for something, it's kind of wild to think about on top of everything else and just having the cash. My money and I need it now. You did that. You showed TD Portfolio when I bought my house two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> you could pay $10 for any proof of funds online. Yeah. I mean, usually you try not to present fraudulent documents uh, <laughs> when purchasing assets. So, you know. I feel, but you, uh, you do have <laughs> your long term, <laughs> you know, he's like, yeah, bro, you could just fucking lie about everything on everything. Uh, I don't get it. Fucking good advice, Josh. Cool. The fuck? Or just wire fraud. Duh. I guess you could do that too. You could do that as a possibility. I mean, I mean, if in the realm of possibility, I guess. Mm. I'm surprised. I'll look that reverse split helped it out for a little bit. So hopefully that lasts. We'll see. Any reminder the bingo? Yeah, it was two. We couldn't, we couldn't execute. There's no way to do it with like a thousand people unless we like make a real ass bingo game. <laughs> it's kind of wild. Everywhere had like lim. We could do like thirty people. I found one with like thirty to a hundred people easy. We could do that, but other than that, nah. And then bond slightly up. Ooh, long-term reviews, maybe. The quarter is wrapping up. The quarter is wrapping up. BCT is wild. I think it's cool we created the community. I think it's cool too, man. It's good. Chattadonia goes hard. They go hard, bro. Yeah, GCT, damn. They did report this morning. They killed it. They killed it. Coin creeping up. We're getting ready for work. Good luck. Enjoy it. Enjoy it.
if you have time, you may want to stick around. It may be, may be a good moment. It may be. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how are you feeling? I have a philo, man. I have a philo for you today. Today, I don't even know, man. Honestly, oof. This one, this one might be an emotional roller coaster for philo. I don't know if, or I could, I could do a non-emotional one. And and I could I could wait. There's a there's a lot there's a lot that goes into this uh, for today. But before I do anything, before I do anything, for real, good work. And those of y'all taking personal responsibility, those of y'all getting into philo, taking your accountability, and above all else, man, just trying to improve. And people really putting in the effort, and people putting in the effort to to do the right thing consciously. Building up that inner voice, man. Getting locked in, bro. I love to see it. And like I said, every day, man, it really is. Uh, and it, on it, it kind of relates to one thing, man. It, it just don't ever underestimate, man. It's a beauty uh, to have a place to even talk about it. I mean, it's one thing. I hope you uh, spend enough time. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I hope individually and real big shout out to those who individually, like, really put in time for this. Because, man, it's one thing to have an uh, area where you could talk about it. And spend time with it, you know, but above all else, man, like it's it is going to be on you. But it's it's an honor to be here. It's an honor to have all of you. And I guess I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, I don't really have a philo for today. OK, I don't really have a, a philo for today. I have I, I have something. It's very like random. OK, but I, I it did really stick out to me. But. It I don't have a philo because I got kind of I got kind of caught off guard yesterday. I got caught off guard and and there's a big piece of news and something happened and I want to share it with you guys, but I have to uh confirm everything. Okay? But I'll tell you the the simple part about it. Simply and sadly we lost another one of our brothers. And I never know what to do in these scenarios. You know that? Or when shit happens, I'm never... That's why I always say I got to wait a little bit and see. And I got to, like, really confirm, like, what's going down. But at the end of the day, it's just like... I, mean, I told you, there a lot of stuff happens uh, over the years, bro. And that's why I'm saying sometimes I'm like, I don't know what I should speak on or whatnot. But this one, man, this one was very, very deep to me. Uh, very, very, like, triple OG Chad, bro. So I'll get you some more info on that. But all in all, man, I think that's a good way to start off Philo. I mean, you will be able to per pay your respects once I have, uh, you know, more info on that. And you'll be able to show your love for somebody who literally, like, literally, they were just in here uh, not even a couple of days ago, I'm pretty sure. I just saw them. That's why, I, like, it blew my mind to to think about. But somebody who is with, with me from, like, 20 or 30 people, bro, you have no idea. It's wild. And that's why I say, man, it's a, it's a blessing that we have what we have, man. And all of you, bro, you have no idea. I'm so grateful, and I hope you're grateful of, of everybody else, man. Everybody brings their own little light to the chat on a day-in, day-out basis, you know, so... It's good. I found somebody, one of uh, one of their friends who was, they introduced somebody to the Chad. They reached out to me. So it was, it was, again, very, very sad, bro. But like I said, man, just grateful for all of you. And I hope you, uh, I hope you're grateful for everything. And, and like I just said, man, be grateful. The opportunity you guys have every single day, bro. You have no idea. Uh, it is, uh, it really is a blessing that you are all here right now. 
So don't ever take that for granted. And I say that in a sense like, yo, man, like I know I know I know our brother is it was smiling down from heaven and he knows damn well too. You know, he would be all about telling you, man, stay on your grind. And like for real, like put in your effort, man, put in your work, make the most of your life while doing it. You know, be excited. Wake up, man. Like, you know, this is a small good decision philosophy. I mean, I'll 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 tell you, you'll know who this person is once I say it too. And that's why I'm saying, man, just all in, bro. You guys keep it up, man, and, and keep living it on. And when it's all said and done, though, I do hope you guys be positive, be joyful, and recognize that every single day you, you have really is a blessing. And, you know, it's very easy to take things for granted. And this is why one of the number one things I always tell you, richest man in Babylon, or excuse me, Earl Nightingale, bro, you become what you think about. And just don't ever forget, Chattadonia. It is very easy to take for granted the things that we did not buy and the things that were given to us for free in life. From day one, it's so easy for us to take for granted. Our brains, our bodies, our, our literally your family, your emotions, and so many things, the things that, that you were given. It is so easy to place little value on that and place value on things that are replaced that are easily replaced you get a car you crash it you could get a new one you get a house it burns down you could get a new one you know what i'm saying something happens to your body you can't get a new body you know there's a lot of things where it's like damn you know earl nighting or, or, yeah, earl nightingale man this one always stood out don't ever forget that so I, I told you it was going to be an emotional roller coaster today. Welcome welcome to Philo, Chattadonia. But I'll give you more info as I get it on that situation uh, again. But, you know, rest in peace. I have not said who it is, but shout out to Chad, bro, for real. But I did have – that's why – well, this is what I was going to say. I didn't really have a Philo because I – this – it kind of, like, got me in a – in a in a weird mood yesterday when I found out, I was like, "Damn, you! I, I don't know, y'all don't. It's it's hard to describe. I don't know. Some of you, you've already, I've already told you, kind of what it's like, and like you've experienced it. We have lost some of our brothers and sisters in the Chad, but it was just, I was like, man, it was a it was a night of prayer, uh, to say the least. And I wasn't really, uh, I don't know what I was really thinking about, man. It was kind of, I was thinking about a lot of different things. It was a trip, but. I don't have a philo, but I did hear something. So I would like to share with you what I what I heard. And I, I do get behind this. I do like this. I do like this one a lot. And actually, it's for, uh, I, I don't know, this one, it's, it's weird. And I don't, because this is, we're going to make a big jump here. And then as we make this big jump, this this isn't for everybody. This isn't for everybody. I only want to talk to... To one small group of people in, in here. Some of you will admit this. Some of you won't. Okay? But what I want to... Or who I want to talk to... Is the addicts. Is there any addicts in the Chad? Anybody? Do you... You know, step number one. Are you an addict? Addict? Oh, me, a lot of addicts. I went to rehab. I am, yeah, wow. I smoke cigs. Stop smoking, former addict. Wow. No way, a lot of addicts. Well, I said small group. That's good, though, honestly. <laughs> it's good, you know that? It's good. It's good. That's very good to see. It's interesting. You guys all came to the market. But it's good. See, the thing about an addict, this is what I I just, I heard this in passing. And I was like, damn. And it was just saying how you are a special group of people. I'm, I, I consider myself an addict. I think I'm very addicted to a lot of things. 
I mean, you guys have seen me literally show up here every single day. <laughs> I be still, I still, I mean, I played a lot of 2Ks in my life. There's a lot of things, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm very, I've, I've done everything in life, actually. A lot of things. Oh, man. But it's a special group of people. And God loves the addicts. I hope you know that. And the, the whole thing about an addict is that everything that the being an addict shows you is it shows you some really, really big concept. God loves the addicts and it shows you something bigger. It tells you something. The way you know how you could like think about it. If you addicted, you could get into something easily. You get into it fast. You into it. You know what it proves? The fact that you are an addict shows that you are hardwired to worship. Stop it. That's why you're special. Because being an addict is just a different form of worship. That's all. You can worship a bottle like the same, like it's the same thing. You don't, I, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody worship God. I always say what you put your time to. It is. You could be addicted. And you're a worshiper. You may not be worshiping God, but you're a worshiper. That's why, you're again, you call it an addiction or worship. could be another synonym. It shows that you got a soul that wants to be captive by something. Oh, that one's deep. That literally means, like, your soul, you want something to worship. To give in to every day. Wow, every day. Wow, put my time every day. So it's very simple. It's a very special group of people. I hope all of you understand that. If it does apply to you, the number one key is realizing that the power is in the switch. The power is being able to take how you are hardwired. And put that same energy of desire daily, addiction, the way you get into it easily, fall into something, stay so just obsessed with it on your mind. It's all about what you switch it into. It's the duality of life. That's the whole point. The same thing, that same worship personality you have. You could either use it <laughs> to get addicted to something, good or bad, whatever you want. So the whole point is, be mindful. You possess it. But the power is in the switch. And you do have a special ability. If you can easily get involved in the things. And love them and get addicted to them. It may have hurt you in a lot of areas in life. But if you are able to switch that into a positive worship. That's the spirit of worship. It's just directed in a different area. So, Chattadonia, I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you I hope you put your time and worship in all the right and good places and get the best out of you and your potential. And I hope you take this philo to the bank. But that is your philosophy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed. We're live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open. Drop your thumbs up on the video. You're on mobile, press hot chat, X out the chat, hit the thumbs up button. Second link for the nightly watch is the main channel. First link for the Scream Alerts boot camp and real estate course. Follow me on Instagram at the trading fraternity. That's it. That's it, man. That's, that's your day. Not really. We're not done. Oh, I think Biden's about to be on. Friends of Ireland. Wow. Wow. Matter about the evil, it matter about the evil, it matter about the weapons, it matter about
at the farm <laughs> I ain't gotta see it to believe it If it's signing then it's needed Then my eyes don't need a reason I won't even try to explain it Let's just say I got a feeling I'm gonna sing my praise like David But the king is still a killer Listen up and go and get the tropes Hope you know you ain't scared of them They scared of you And I know you might be scared to take that point of view You see the arrows in my back Yup, son, that's gon' happen too But the harvest on the way You gon' barter every day That means you have to make a trade Either life or it's the grave The result will not remain Every day will bring a change Kinda funny and it's strange How the hope will pave the way You hearing what I say? The only difference between you and them comes down to faith There's a difference in the man who believes in a better day Cause once you believe it's past You're willing to wilt away we was never willing to be the same We want it all in the long run They want it all today My father is really awesome Don't bother with giving snakes Regardless, I can't control it So either way, giving thanks Yep, you could take that one to the bank A leader without a rank A speaker without a face A people without a race They eating without a taste They scheming without a safe The meanings have been replaced Another time, another place We could talk about it Keep some oil in them lamps Don't get caught without it Want them once, want them twice Then never talk about it If you never get a second chance Then that ain't meant to happen What I understand is You ain't trying to understand Take a hundred, hundred grand Then a hundred undergrads Pay them all to make a plan But they couldn't comprehend What it means to never die But somehow still be born again It's a letter to the people I'm penning it like I'm Paul It don't matter about the evil It matter about the God It don't matter about the weapons It matter about how you want All that matters is the Weather when weather to bet the farm. God bless you, Miguel. I will get it to their family. Yeah, man. Moment of silence for all the fallen Chaz. Nah, man. For real. For real. I'll get you guys more info. I didn't even want to bring. I don't want to. Like, that's why I said. Sometimes I don't know how to tell you guys certain things. And that's why I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't want you guys to, to be too sad. I was pretty sad about it. I'm still pretty sad about it in general. I think it's uh, just another reminder, bro. But, like, this one was like, oh. You have no idea, bro. Like, it's already, it's, it's hard every single time. It's crazy. It's been a crazy couple of weeks, man. Crazy couple of weeks, to say the least. We disclosed the name. Well, I want, I don't know, uh, like, yeah, everything, like, the full details. And, like, I don't like to, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if it's my business to be saying it. So a lot of things, like even when certain things happen, I don't necessarily know if it's my business. So some things I refrain from. But uh, when I do find out more, I will I will let you know if I can. Messages won't show. I see yours. Hit him with the divvy. Don't forget to play the golden ticket. Mega Millions, 850. That's not... I only play it if it goes to a billion. But, like, I've never won. I mean, I'm sure you're aware. But I don't know. I've never won. I don't really have too good of luck on the lottery. Like, I think I've won maybe like 20 bucks. Like, I got like 20 bucks back. Is gold going a little lower? Yeah, I kind of I kind of fell into the moment of silence there for a little bit. 
Mm-hmm. We chilled out. We did not do much, though. Point six seven still on the day. Five one one six. Tesla went green, really? Oh yeah, I have two Tessies. Tessie is green. Why did I think that was Nvidia? Nvidia looks great though. One point one. Ma uh, AMD's up. Marvel. What was the other one? Ulta and Adobe. Adabe. Adabe. Yeah, yeah, the Adabe people. Oh wait, aren't I speaking right now? Hold on, I should be live. Oh, they ended it. Fuck. I only talked for a couple minutes anyways. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some. Oh, is this the weed one? Yeah, maybe, actually. I, I got one we might... I don't know when it's going to start. This isn't... This sucks because they started this 50 minutes ago, but they haven't started... But there's the uh, Vice President Harris convenes meeting, a uh, roundtable conversation about marijuana reform. So she's actually having a marijuana. I don't. This is. That's crazy. I don't think Fat Joe is going to be there. I don't know why Terror Squad would would be enlisted for this conversation. Apparently, it started 50 minutes ago, but that might move some weed stocks. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> As a prosecutor, uh, dude, I can't make this up. This is crazy. As a prosecutor, Kamala Harris oversaw more than 1,900 cannabis-related convictions in San Francisco. That's just in San Fran. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What up, Twitch? Oh, we just got raided? Let's go, baby. Figuring out money. 61 people. What's going on, man? You got stream dump. What's up, Sparks? Oh, well, listen. I'd like to show you guys something. If you guys are my new friends, I hope you get a long term, but this is what we call horn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Long term. Wait, what do you mean? Hailstone, I've seen you before. I've seen you before. Why I say you came from the raiding party? What up, Life Fiend? What's going on, Doppler? Yeah, that's the horn, baby. God bless you guys. Thank you for being here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you guys do get a long term. You guys got a long term figuring out money? What's your guys' favorite long term stock? What do you got? What do you got, baby? What's your favorite long term? That's it. I think we might even do long term reviews right now. We're going to listen to Kamala Harris talk about weed, which is funny. Doppler. I'm always here Say, saying, saying they're coming in, saying that you're, you crossed the border into Chad, Chattadonia. We got a friendly border policy, though. It's, what's up? I saw there's no rocket ships. What do you consider long term? A stock that you would buy today and that you wouldn't sell for 10 years, no matter what. It's 10 years minimum you're going to hold on to. Mm-mm. Hydra, Home, Enphase, LMT, Meta, Palantir, O, Tesla, Pfizer, Ulta, RTX. Okay, not bad. Maybe a year out, Southern Copper is overpriced. Uranium stocks, yeah, they're just going to dump 17% tomorrow and go up 18% the next day. And go down five, then up five, then down four, then up four. 
Long term, make the FOMO go away. It's good, man. Maybe not as many long terms. The YouTube love to answer that question. You guys are like, I love the long term, Joshua. Here are all of my long term plays. But yeah, Camilla. I want to see what Camilla is going to say. Bro, 1,900. 1,900 convictions in San Francisco alone. Bro, that's like more than half of the chat right now. I think more than half of the chat probably is a pothead. Kamala would have put you in jail in 2012. Just throwing your ass in jail. The commission thing with real estate, I need to see what the to be the moderator, shit. moderator the what the, the streets, the, like what it is, but are, I think it's, know, it might change the structure price, how agents get paid in certain areas. But today, when the but then again, it is like the National Association of Realtors. So I, can't I wonder if that's going to have a difference sure on it. I'm sure it's going to be a very impactful meeting to hear all your impactful stories. What the and, fuck? Uh, we're going to keep this intimate. Fat Joe from Terror Joe Squad. Jackson. We thank you for being here, but what the I'll fuck? Give a statement to. Okay. Now lean back. Now lean back. Uh, all the way up. Thank you, Fat Joe, for, for being thank here. You, Fat Joe. Um, Harris, thank you, Fat Joe. Kamala Harris just said, "Thank you, Fat Joe." Your voice on so many critical issues. What the fuck? It's Fat to Joe. The gift of your artistry, Holy you shit! Um, Governor Bashir. I thought you were just you. fucking um, with me. I said earlier to the group at the table. I thought homie was carry. He said Fat Joe is there, Josh. I said, yeah, right. Terror squad. Fucking party. elbows up, and leaning back. Why the fuck would do we have do we have like that here? Publicly applauded. This is the weirdest for being so man forward leaning. I feel like this is like having the courage uh, the to FBI trying to set us up certain traditions. Fuck that. And critically evaluate narcs. whether what we've been doing is smart. Yeah, fucking miss marijuana smart. conviction. And your leadership. And then Fat Joe like, oh, what's up, guys? guys? Don't worry. Thank you. We ain't going um, so to snitch on you. Fuck no, I don't believe, I believe you. I believe the promise of America suspicious. includes equal justice under the law. Yeah, fucking Fat Joe. And for too many, our criminal justice system <laughs> has failed to live up to that core principle. And I say that with full knowledge of how this system has worked, including um, my weird. experience as Why a is he doing it? And then they couldn't um, get anybody the else. The president and, and I have addressed on inequities Joe, through I'm implementation so, of long overdue criminal justice reform. Was Wiz Khalifa not um, available? For example, we have on Kim Kardashian level, banned chokeholds. We have restricted like, no nah, we warrants BXTX. and created the first BXTX. ever database <laughs> to track misconduct by law enforcement. It's fucking terror squad. Critically Get that important. That no, last all the way up. All, all the way obvious. up. This is good. He but came back. Know, he did it again. Um, all too often we have yeah, seen what about examples Snoop Snoop Dogg's of easy. where a police officer has been found to have committed misconduct in one region but then can move to another I'm region. Out right now. And this that record does not follow that individual. And then, Kamala, course, I know we don't see um, you, but let's hear from Fat Joe. This is itself. fascinating. So the fact that we have made How a did Fat Joe end up in this? This is great. Is really very significant in the push toward ensuring that we have justice in the criminal justice system. We have also been focused on reentry. Some of the work that I started back when I was DA of San Francisco in 2005, looking at what we must do to appreciate the fact that Folks who have been held accountable through the criminal justice system should also have an opportunity, once they have done their time, have paid their due, to have the ability to re-enter and be productive and do what they aspire to do, which is to help support their families and live a productive life. To that end, there are a few things that we have done that are very significant. One is we have now and recently announced making small business administration loans available to previously incarcerated individuals. That is significant because before now, they were prohibited from being eligible for small business administration loans. And I have personally met many people who were formerly incarcerated, who are hardworking, who are intelligent, who are innovative, 
and want an ability to be able to, to contribute to the economy of their community, need access to capital, could not have um, qualified for these loans, and now will be eligible. We have also expanded Pell Grants for individuals who are currently incarcerated. We know that there are many people who, while incarcerated, attempt to upgrade their education um, with an anticipation that when they are released, they will be able to put it to good use, but they are not necessarily able to afford the online courses that would help them do that. So the extension of Pell Grants to those who are currently incarcerated will facilitate more people being able to um, aspire and actually follow through on their dreams of of, of getting an education. We have also, through the Health and Human Services Department, expanded our ability and responsibility to get information to those who are currently incarcerated but soon to be released about the benefits that they are eligible for when they get out, in particular through Medicaid. Because we know that there is a moment between release and re-entering the community where we want to make sure these individuals have all the resources they need within a short period of time of release so that they can hit the ground running to live a productive life and re-enter their communities. We have also, through our administration, through Joe Biden's leadership, we have addressed inequities in federal drug policy, and that's the subject of today's meeting. Historically, there has been there are many examples, frankly, of disparities um, that follow racial lines in the criminal justice system. One well-known example is the disparity um, around sentencing for crack versus powder cocaine. And what we know is that um, the disparity is such that uh, it, it's almost 100 to 1 in terms of the kinds of sentences that people would be committed to for crack cocaine as a opposed to powder cocaine, and historically we know that certain communities would use crack cocaine versus powder cocaine because crack cocaine was just cheaper. Um, we have also addressed what we need to do around clemency and to shorten some of the excessive crack cocaine sentences. Joe Biden has been very clear about his intention and actually practiced to do that, again, acknowledging the disparities that have existed and what we have the ability to do to correct some of those going forward. We have gathered today, however, to address specifically the injustices that we have seen in federal marijuana policy. I have said many times, I believe, I think we all at this table believe, nobody should have to go to jail for smoking weed. And what we need to do is recognize that far too many people have been sent to jail for simple marijuana possession. And the impact is such that in particular, black Americans and Latinos are four times more likely, four times more likely to be arrested, arrested for marijuana possession. And the disparity is even larger when you talk about the subset of black men and Latino men. So this is an issue that must be addressed. It is work that, again, I have done over the years. It is work that we are also doing as an administration. First, I will tell you that we have pardoned tens of thousands of people with federal uh, convictions for simple marijuana possession. And today we are joined by some of the pardon recipients so that we can have a conversation about what this has meant for them as a model and inspiration for what we must right do for many others who are not at this geeking. table. He's and like their stories, smiling. I will tell you, are proof His of the importance Frederick. of pardons and what it means in the life of an individual in terms of allowing them a second chance and an ability to re-enter their community in a productive way. Second, we have issued a call to like action this is like the, for states to pardon like a Vin Diesel movie. these types of offenses, in particular on this possession. Looks like a scene of fast <laughs> that is why I have asked the governor of Kentucky you know to be here. They got Kamala, the strong woman <coughs> leader character. Governor Bashir. Um, and they got the rapper, who has gangster. Basically, and then they got the like and, smart and dude, right? The convictions like they're like of people in like Kentucky with simple marijuana possession convictions, and they can now apply for pardons. So he's going to talk with us about that as a model for what other states can and should do, and I challenge other states when to follow When does Fat Joe lead. talk? Third, we have directed the Department of Health and Human Services and the Department of Justice to reassess how marijuana is classified oh. under the federal drug schedule. That's good. And I cannot emphasize enough that they need to get to it as quickly as possible. Good, Kamala. 
and we need to stuff. have a resolution based on their findings and their assessment. But this issue is, um, is, is stark when one considers the fact that on the schedule currently, marijuana is considered as dangerous as heroin. Marijuana is considered as dangerous as heroin and more dangerous than fentanyl which is absurd, not to mention patently unfair. So I'm sure DA is working as quickly as possible and will continue to do so, and we look forward to the product of their work. And um, with that, I will conclude by saying that the work that we have achieved thus far is important, but there still is much more to do, and I thank the participants who are at this table. And Governor, again, I want to thank you for your leadership and Fat Joe for moderating our discussion today. And with that, well, I was going to say, we go thank Fat Joe for it. He has a song called I Am Crack. <laughs> That's it? Oh, boo. Boo. We didn't even. I not thought Joey Crack was going to get us with a song or something. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's it. Well, they talked a bit, little bit reclassification, the directive. So we'll see how that plays out. That's swap sleepy for fat. I know she was, she was like under President Joe. I was like, wait, which Joe? Oh, jo Joseph Biden. I thought. I'm sorry, you got another iconic Joe in your presence. You have to specify, please. That's amazing. That is amazing. Weed companies, uh, they all got a boost. This was kind of the rumor yesterday. That's why MSOS, it took like a 7% pop from the morning. Some senator or somebody was saying something about DEA reclassification again, and it jumped up in the morning. It don't doesn't. I think everything she said was kind of borderline along those lines, but we are hearing about it a little bit more. Again, this is kind of, this is a reason why I'm in the play. And we were saying, you know, closer we get to election, I think you're going to hear marijuana a lot my stoner Biden voice? Is there a stoner Biden voice? Yeah. I'm just Biden. I don't fucking have any me to smoke weed. The fuck? I don't smoke. I don't need fucking... I'm already... The life's a trip at 92. Fuck I need to get high for. My fucking age is high. I can't do no stoner. It ain't like, oh, dude. Ah. You fucking sound like the turtle? You mean you sound like a fucking turtle from Finding Nemo? <laughs> How would I find billions of dollars to give to Ukraine? Yeah, that's what I'm going to find. I'll do it, too. Yeah, prick. Fuck out of here. Would be a stoner? Fuck you. I'll legalize it if you vote for me. <laughs> no, see, I mean it. Seriously. I'm not, not joking around. You give me your vote, I'll fucking... I'll, go, I'll fucking... I'll have that hunter will fucking roll you up a blunt right now. Right now. We'll fucking do it. <laughs> Finally, crack cocaine justice. Well, I mean, I know some people, like, especially, like, the more conservative, you guys like to, like, roast. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like, justice for crack. But, like, you know, what Kamala was saying holds some merit. Like, do you realize that if you get caught with crack <laughs> versus caught with cocaine your jail sentence will most likely be significantly different. And the difference is that, like, cocaine is, like, the rich drug and crack is, like, the poor drug. So then if you get caught with the poor drug, you get in, thrown in jail. But if you get the rich drug, they like, ah, it's cool. <laughs> so there's there's some merit to that. It has been like that for a long time, for a very long time. Or I think it was from, no, I think it was the 80s. <clears throat> I don't know, I think Reagan might have something to do with that. I think, no, I think it was Reagan who caused, who made that an issue, where they, it wasn't always like that. And then they started cracking down on it, and then it just got very, like, dis, disport, disproportionately, like, okay, hold up. 1994. Kamala, yeah, Kamala oversaw 1,900 convictions in San Francisco. As a prosecutor, just for marijuana, nothing, just for weed. Not, I'm not even talking about crack 
cocaine or anything else. Thought you get cited if it's not. It just depends where you are. Like in California, I mean, you probably won't. I think it, some places might even let you go. AXSM, and then Mara finally getting a good day. Some MSTR, I guess, is coin, is crypto going up? And then we got a little bit of a boost. Nivda, cytokinesis. It sucks. Our plays are going to expire today, but I feel like they're going to get a buyout news. Cocaine will be the next legalization. I don't know. Any, you guys know there's places that have already like legalized like crazy ass drugs and they're already trying to turn back. So it's, it hasn't gone well <laughs> to say the least. It hasn't, you know, it's not as if this, uh, it's not like an idea that hasn't happened yet. It's like actually like places have already, they've been like, yeah, we'll try it. We'll legalize it. And then they're like, okay, we do want to wind this down now. We don't think it's produced the intended effect. I don't know if it ever worked for a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if they were ever like, yeah, this is really, this is, I think we, I think this is a good idea. <laughs> I think it lasted those for like a year, a year. And they're like, all right. Yeah. Tried in Oregon. I think they tried it in somewhere else too. Even San, some places in San Francisco, they're trying to close down some of the zones now. But there was somewhere else that had another. They tried it, and it wasn't. It was not the vibe. Yeah, weed coming back up. We're back green. We were kind of smashed on that play earlier. I think Philly, yeah. Same Mission Bay. Baba, I just like that China, like China's getting really bullish. And like I said, maybe it'll take a breather. So Baba hasn't gone up too much, but like all of China has been on a massive rally. So I was figuring if there was a little bit of a pullback, I wanted Baba to the upside if it gets above here. So... Thought we'd take advantage of the cheap contracts. Maybe we get lucky. This is a reload. Otherwise, that's it. Small gamble. I'm going to try to make them free. That would be the only thing that would suck is I got more than one contract. So if I can't make them free, then that, that would be bad. MSOX is MSOS times two. Oh, no shit. Steel Dynamics on the high. Where's Ulti? Ulti recovered a lot. I got... No, I got... April. I'd go with April, too, if they're cheap enough. But if they're too expensive and then it doesn't rally, then there you go. But as long as you don't spend too much. But I still like... I like shares in China. I think China is eventually going to have a nice rally. What's Coin? Was this fake coin? But I like shares in China. Options are just hard to time when it's going to, like, pop. Just because of everything going on and not going on. Because again, everyone's like, everyone thought there'd be stimulus, then that doesn't happen. Then they stimulate, and then the economy. Like, again, this little rally in China, even lately, this was their first, like, seven week rally in years. And it just, it kind of came out of nowhere after people were just saying all of their stimulus efforts they did and didn't do weren't really working. So the timing of China is very hard, but. 
there is a lot of people eyeing the the upside in China and, and playing this. So, and I'm I'm one of them. I'm a big fan. sound above nine SPF should get 40 to 50 years in prison prosecutors say how much is he in there for now and then spy just chilling man 220 eastern wow we got 30 40 minutes till power hour Why the pop? I mean, we haven't really popped. We're still at, we're like right above Euro close. That's the craziest part. I mean, it's kind of late in the day. Even for a Friday, I mean, what, it's like 11, 16. We ain't doing anything. Even around yesterday, we started kind of moving a little bit, but we're doing nothing. Like this late in the day, what were we doing last Friday? Yeah, even around this time last Friday, we were like moving. We were like stick and move. It's honestly extremely calm. Your sweet tooth is getting expensive. Are candy prices going up? Yeah, coca prices, or cocoa, not coca, <laughs> excuse me, have climbed past a record set nearly half a century ago, costing chocolate makers, bakers, and aficionados alike. Coca futures, cocoa, I'd say, say look, coca. Rose uh, another eleven hundred a metric ton to eight thousand dollars. It's eight thousand dollars a ton. More than three times the price a year ago, and forty two percent above the previous record set in July nineteen seventy seven. What are cocoa futures? Where do we see Coco? Coco. Silver. I don't see. Oh, corn, soybeans. I swear I used to see these. Yeah, CC. Oh, they don't have it on Schwab. CC. CJ. I see CC, but no, CJ don't load for me. UVXY dying. I mean, it is below 15. Boeing is on the high. ADM 2.25. Yalla Habibi, yalla. Those contracts still same on the ask down on the bid. CC, I made the grinding lake easy. Altria, first red day. Let him calm down. Pfizer. Airbnb got knocked off. He went back to his home. As long as he stays in his home, it's all that matter. Bior on the high. It's one of those biotech small cap runners. Bior, Bior, Bior. And then all the mega caps still clap. Chips is still good. They very good, man. It's not even power hour. Again, still like 30 minutes till power hour. 
a little pullback good for Emma. Very good, man. It's very good. I enjoy it, you know. I very much. I like Emma very, very well, you know. Futu still dying again. I think Futu has like, no, it should be. It's filling the gap right now. So Futu might bounce here or it goes down like another dollar or two. Maybe even $4 if you're really lucky. I still have them. Yeah, I'm up 400% on them. 30 cents to 180. The last stock I bought for the long term was MO. Today, I don't think I made a play today. Again, I've just been writing. I had other plays just come up. Adabe. Baba, where's JD? Vanny has news March 17th. What's on March 17th for them? Vanny. MO dividend is great. It's crazy how much ours has gone up over time. That's what I was looking at. Where is it? But then again, like, I guess I've just been averaging for a while now. But, like, these are all the purchases. But, like, I don't know how much this was. Oh, it doesn't show on this one. It just shows you how much we were getting. But, like, I was getting, like, 1.0 shares of drip. And then the last drip was like, it's already gone up to 4.6. My share size have increased, and I think it was 7. But like, I don't know. We're going to get a, a nice amount of drip. But I was looking at it and how much it's kind of progressed. And I was I was very, very excited to see. Uh, Vanny has earnings on March 29th. Uh, Vanny will present study at conference. Mm. I don't know. Where do you see that one? I don't have that. So happy you got me on the long-term train. Changed my life. Amen, baby. It's good, man. It's, the long-term is very rewarding, especially once it starts long-terming. Say hello, Jorge. How are you, man? Are you overseas yet? Spy head and lower. We are doing the little dance around here. See how long that lasts for. Vanny. Tides USA, largest event to accelerate peptide therapeutics. So even if Vanny, I don't know if this event is even going to have uh, anything related to GLP. 
IGUS Damn, it costs a lot to go to this event. But I don't see that Vanny's has the thing. But again, like I said, whatever they have their next, anything, if they talk GLP, that, that will be the catalyst. I see on May 17th at Boston, not March 17th. I see that. I found that headline. Yeah, it's May 15th to May 17th, so not March. We got like another month. Yeah, 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 not March, May. So yeah, that is, and it will be about GLP-1. So May 17th is the date for Vanny. ECB Villaroy says we are not far from Target. Uh, Futu still clapped. Uto. Oh, that's so. All right, I got out of the Futu. I sold out for 183. I like it, but I'm only thinking I'll make another 100 or two off of it. But I'm cool with the uh, 600% or 400%. No, we saw Fat Joe. He was there. He, they didn't. He didn't talk much, but it actually was Fat Joe at the thing. And speaking of which, where's the wheat stocks? So yeah, I just got out of Futu. I have the Baba calls. I hopefully those balance out. But Futu a good four hundred percent. Yeah, weeds up a little bit. Those aren't doing too bad. Oils at eighty one. All right, I sold out of oil too. I took like 470 in profit off the MCLs. I'm not going to hold oil over the weekend. OCGN. When those JDs came down, I 
Yeah, the JDMs or J JDM JDs up sixty percent. They were up, I think, two hundred yesterday or a hundred something. MOs are still up four hundred percent. Then that's it. Then we got out of the eBay and the other KRs. They would have expired today. Weed kind of climbing again. High ticker is actually pretty active, even on the five minutes, which JRVR. Yo, JRVR, James River. Yo, what is this? JRVR. JRVR up six. This thing's up 12% probably. Estee Lauder says slow progress on China. Key concern for analysts. JR, it's an insurance name. Uh, I don't know what's going on. They're an insurance company. Senator Brown tells Biden to block Nippon Steel deal. I think it's just an insurance name. Maybe it does what Root does. Other than that. I don't see anything on it. JRV, all I see is insurance. I mean, was there something on this today? JRVR. As company brings litigation against Fleming in response to refusal to fully negotiated purchase of JRG reform. So, yeah, something about they're in a lawsuit about selling something. Yeah, and that's why they were clapped. They were just at 10. You work with them on the daily. Uh, did it get halted? I'm going on the option chain. I wanted like stupid cheap ones. It's not filling. But yeah, looks like they had something against Flemings. Some Supreme Court case. Too soon, JRVR. Too soon. Federal prosecutors recommend federal judge sentence Sam Bankman. 40 to 50 years with 11 billion fine and forfeiture. And then Spy kind of working its way up here. ALB. What was that one? JRVR, yeah. JPM's a monster. Mm -hmm. Bank, bank. The snake the calls. Ten dollars, twenty five cents. I was trying to get some for like two cents or like five cents. <laughs> it's being very, very cheap. Very, very cheap. You know, it's cheap stock, cheap stock. And I didn't know what was going on, but I don't think I'm going to get a play on that one. Riders of the storm. Oh, JRVR, it's launching up again, though. That's another 20 cents at the high. If it wasn't for the semis, we'd be down. Yeah, maybe 2% on the NASDAQ. Again, it's been like, what, 260 days since the SPY has moved more than 2%?
on the SPY, NASDAQ has already moved more than that. Oh, shit. JRVR, 780. So maybe we should have got a play on that. That one's going nuts now. JRVR. I got it to you on the first candle. Like I said, I, oh, buyout talks. 15 a share now. Oh, no way. All right. Well, if we're talking 15 a share, I'm grabbing me 1,000 at 8. If that's if that oh that's crazy. They were just at 740. Not confirmed yet. Well, I might have to flip out of that one soon. Um uh, I think I got those at what? 790 I don't know if it is if that's the we'll have to get confirmation I think it has to do with their court case that's going to be the thing but it's already up a decent amount Yeah, JRVR or like BXTS Terror Squad Fat Joe. You know. Because the dot plot. No, I don't think today has anything to do with the dot plot. We're chilling. If anything, market's coming up. JBL, Jabil, they're selling off. JRVR already gone down there, twenty cents. General Motors, Spy. Spy's above VWAP. Spy's actually kind of looking good here. First time you could say that all day today. 5125. Yeah, you're right back to the opening. Like a little bit above it now. Remember, 5130. If we could actually hold that and bounce off of it, that would be a good one. Right on the week, but good fortune is not required for generosity, baby. <laughs> Amen, baby. God bless you. Yeah, this week, even from last week, I've had a weird, a weird little just back and forth, but I got clobbered on a couple ones. Like those weed ones, and then they came back. So, hey, man, oh, another five, baby. <laughs> hey, man, nah. God bless you yeah, JRVR. I don't. Nothing's confirmed on that yet. So it's breaking out now. I still don't have anything. No reiteration. So we will see. I was trying to snake them, and that was before we knew any. There's any rumors, but that option chain was very difficult. It still is. So again, I don't know if we have any news on that. Still. J R V R. March 11. No, everything's old still. There's still no, like, recent update on that. Yeah, again on Monday they were trading for like what nine eighty. All right. Well, hopefully that keeps going. I need to go pee. We got fifteen more minutes until power hour, and I'll be RB.
there for a little bit longer and adjust their ex expectations higher. Now, the other question is when. We've been talking kind of just before uh, we got on air about how tomorrow is actually the second anniversary since the Fed began this Fed rate hiking yep. cycle. So how long before they begin the rate cutting one? Does it have to be after the election? I don't think it has to be after the election. I mean, my base case would be towards the late summer. But what I would say is Wall Street, we on Wall Street made a mistake. On the back of a very fast, very high interest rate hiking cycle, it was reasonable to assume that those long and variable lags would be a little bit shorter than we're historically accustomed to. But history tells us it's about two years before higher rates actually start to have a bite. And to mm. your point, here we sit two years later and it is having a bite. So I'll I think it's slowly. around the corner. It is slow, but I think it's around the corner. Corner, right? Because we see every single day the data is coming in just slightly weaker than markets expect. So make the connection between like an NVIDIA that's up 80% this year with like the stuff we're seeing on everyday Americans. What's the connection that maybe we should be making? I don't know if we should be making a connection, and that's one of the challenges, right? We've got a very bifurcated market, a couple very large companies. The hype around AI are really what's driving the market higher. But the entirety of the rest of the S&P 500, right, the 493, if you will, they're struggling. <laughs> but we they're, have seen a little bit of a broadening out. We, we have, we have. But just earlier this week, we saw a survey out of small businesses that suggest forward-looking hiring plans are coming down, and they're mm -hmm. consistent with that slowdown. And so there is a very big disconnect. And even even on some of the AI, we have concerns because they're spending a lot of money, historically a lot more than they have spent, and their return on that invested capital is coming down. So if Wall Street doesn't see that return pick up, right. I worry that that sentiment could soften there so as well. So you know how there was a point in time where people looked at some of these big tech companies and almost saw them from as a haven here. Yeah. Do you think that that same dynamic is starting to uh, face the semiconductor stocks? Do you think that in some ways that if you believe that that a job market is softening, or if you believe that there are some struggles in the broader environment, that there still would be investment potentially into AI? I mean, does that start to also drop off in a way that no longer justifies these valuations? Well, what I'll say is I think semiconductors traditionally are actually a fairly cyclical investment, and they've bucked that trend because of the hype around AI, and every company in the world feels like they have to jump in, they have to ke play catch up. But I think just like the internet or just like robotics, right? AI is something that's gonna really work to shape the world, not over the next one or two or three years. It's over the next decades to The come. runway's longer. So the cycle probably should be longer, but the hype has, has really moved forward at a very quick pace. I'm gonna ask pace. the savage question here. <laughs> Go for it. Love the savage question. The savage question is if companies are investing in this environment where dollars are harder to come by, do they invest in AI or do they invest in the marginal job? I think over time it's gonna have to move back towards that marginal job because again, what we're not seeing is the return on invested capital. So there's a bit, just like in markets, there's that fear of missing out, FOMO. You have to rush in because it's worked across 2023 and 2024. I feel like companies are also playing that catch up. They hear their peers are investing in AI and therefore they have to invest in AI, but that should change. Do you invest in AI? Mm -mm. Yeah, Global Indemnity makes offer for James River. Confirm. Yeah, I have one too. 15, it says a non-binding offer was submitted a week ago. A week ago. How bizarre. Insurance insider. I think CYTK is still. Our contracts are going to expire. I'm thinking about grabbing another one. CPI punt square off the bottom. James Rivers just dancing around. So who's the other one? Bitcoin, tiny pop. Uh, what was it? Root. This is how we got into the root drama. Remember, they got their first little buyout. Adabe. Adabe don't bounce. Oh, a little bit while the market's kind of down. So again, we just popped above VWAP, got back to open for a little bit, then we came down here a little. They're not too crazy. Someone buying Bitcoin. Not 
not bad, you guys. Not bad at all. Ten more minutes till power hour. Happy Friday. A lot of lot of headlines, but the again the broader story still the same. Waiting for power. I don't have a song for that one. Dollar pin. I haven't looked at the dollar in a little bit. Very strong all day. It's still right below 28. It wants to go. When's the next Chad debate? We might need to do one. We haven't. Have we had any uh, contentious topics? Maybe we'll have to do the Chad debate for the uh, election. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, dollar's still kind of elevated. I'm surprised. I mean, bonds found a way to come back. But my goodness. Bro, JRVR is insane. The spreads and the bids dying and disappearing and reappearing. This thing is like actually nuts. STZ on the high and then GM. Somebody called GM out earlier. Yeah, chips are leading. I think without the chips, today would have been a lot uglier. Maybe even a bigger down day on the NASDAQ. You want to spread some democracy this weekend? What the? No. What is what? <laughs> Sir, how do I unsubscribe from this newsletter? What do you mean spread some democracy? It's like I mean a lot of things. I'm not. No, sir. Helldivers 2 reference. What's Helldivers? Is that, isn't that a game? I know I'm supposed to be a little more nerdy, but I don't. Helldivers is a game, correct? A new game what do you do do you dive into hell my mom probably wouldn't let me play this game well as they haven't accepted it jrvr they haven't accepted the offer it's just a rumor they said apparently it came in last week All right, Dorito. Enjoy the day, Dorito. Enjoy the weekend. Yeah, I grabbed shares of JRVR. I was gonna. I had a good flip on it, but I'm, then the news started getting confirmed. I'm like, all right, you got a hundred percent of upside, even if we take it another twenty five from here. So I got kind of greedy on that, but I'm around my price. The JR, it just depends. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if they're going to get an offer. They got an offer, but we don't know if there's like a response. Again, the market even closes here in an hour. Hell divers join up. What do, what's the game? Like, what do you do? You spread democracy amongst the galaxy. This is not a Donald Trump game. Just correct me if I'm wrong. So you go, do you build a wall in this galaxy by chance? <laughs> uh, space Jehovah Witnesses. Watch the trailer. Hell Divers 2. Trailer. The fight for freedom begins. PlayStation. Hold on, I want to hear it. Do they do it? Oh, they don't. PlayStation. The Federation of Super Earth. Keeping managed democracy safe with the lives of our heroes. Protecting freedom from tyranny with the gentle touch of an iron fist. But liberty's enemies march ever closer like Together, we must take back control of freedom. Together for managed democracy. Together for victory. Together for liberty. Together for liberty. Together, they fight for freedom. Will you? Is it supposed to be like... Kind of looks like Halo. Enlist in the galaxy's elite fighting force. 
Work together to protect your future. This looks interesting. It looks like a Halo mixed with gears. I could see that. Interesting. Join the set. It seemed like, like, is it meant to be like funny? They had the like funny announcer voice all up in there. My goodness. Let's work together. Did I play Pow? Oh, I haven't even played that one yet either. So many new popular games. I'm falling behind. I've just been playing 2K. That's it, man. Just play 2K. Spy of VWA. Bond's trying to go up here a little bit. And we got some movement with JRVR. Apparently, they got a buyout offer. We're still watching that. Adabe try to come up a little bit. Still overall clapped. Chip makers. Those are your leaders of the day. The Mag 7 did not Mag 7 today. And we are four minutes away till power hour. Until the hour begins powering. I hope you're ready. Beyond on the high. HCP. We just have Baba up there, Bidunius. Spy's doing decent. Again, this is near opening. That's the craziest part. This is like your opening candle. So, again, just like yesterday, it don't matter how today felt. It's like you're doing the same. Like, again, we spent X amount of hours. You're, you're literally right at the same spot. And even then, even if it's red, it's like you're still elevated. And you're making this whole move to end up at the same place. Dollar is elevated again today. I don't think that's a good thing. Oil's up. Again, I got out of oil at 81. Uh, weed stocks are on the high. Are they? Not the high of the day. They're starting to move. ADI, yeah, no earnings preview. I think there's a couple earnings, but not like for after hours, but for Monday. Uh, that's it, man. Our earnings, we're right. We're like wrapped up, wrapped up. MPW, I don't think MPW has announced their dividend yet. I don't think they've declared it. They have not said, I declare my dividend. <clears throat> but they gave a bonus to the, uh, to the, C CEO and the executives and the stock uh, where was it let me see is this it yeah so between now and 2027 so they plan to be around till then which is the good news but if the stock goes to seven dollars a share on MPW the executives get a hundred percent bonus, and then if the stock goes to eight fifty, they get a two hundred percent bonus, and then if the stock goes to ten dollars, they get a three hundred percent bonus. You can't make this up. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm like these fucking scammers, but then I'm also like, well, they plan on being around this long, and then at least yeah, it'll get our shares up. Unless it's in Delaware. They might be in Delaware. They might be in Alabama. So, literally, that's for MPW. $7. $7 in the next three years. By, yeah, by December 2027. They'll get a bonus. 7 8 50 and 10 They do not get a wage cut if the stock goes down. No. We should implement that. Again, weed is climbing. It topped out, what was it, like 865, almost 870 today? Mara Sega's on the high. 
All I heard is that PW two hundred percent. So it's based. It's this. They just announced this. This was just enacted. I think a couple days ago, or yesterday. So they amended and agreed on the plan. If MPW gets to seven dollars by the end of twenty twenty seven, executives get a hundred percent bonus. If it goes to eight fifty, they get a two hundred percent bonus. And then if it goes to ten dollars, they go they get a three hundred percent bonus. So not bad. My average is around eight dollars, so pretty clapped. But mine's at so two hundred. They get a two hundred percent bonus if I break even, and then I'll be up like twenty percent, and then they make a three hundred percent bonus. But then it also depends how much time that takes too, because then we are collecting the yield. Would I add? I think you could get some better name. It's high. It's very risky. It's like ex high risk, high reward. If you buy them there, there's a lot of upside in your shares and your dividend. So it's like a little bit of exposure wouldn't be too bad, but I'm still waiting for them to like confirm some things. And they're up like 40% on the month or something nuts. ADM, let's see if it breaks 16. JRVR is starting to slip. So honestly, a little less hype there from the uh, confirmation there of the news. So if that one don't go crazy, we might have to wait for, uh, what's it called? We're going to have to wait till after hours if there's any announcement on that. That one's starting to break though. MSOS, that one's still climbing. CMCL. Am I buying real estate stocks like Zillow? No. I have Redfin, but we just bought it so cheap. That's the that's the reason why I liked it. It was a real extreme bargain bin value play. But otherwise, not really. I have a couple of REITs. I don't think you need too much exposure into them. But I have them. Coins back to 243. JRVR is slipping now even more. So that one, I'm clapped down 5%. They nuked. Yeah, there was uh, something on like the real estate commissions for the National Association of Realtors. So, and then Zillow like paid a fine, I believe. I closed that of Futu. Yeah, I got 400% on that. Rivian back down. All right, this was before we even had speculation of buyout. This is where JRVR was. It was like 740 to 750. ADI. Banks are still killing it. My goodness. XLF is barely up, but JP Morgan's on the high. NYCB in the banks. I think NYCB, I mean, they bought themselves a little bit of time here. I mean, didn't, again, they got fucking Mnuchin now. So I think they'll be good. But other than that, I mean, as long as the bigger banks are healthy, and there's no other broader credit scenario like last year. I mean, I've been saying that the banks are like one of the sources of big strength here in the markets, I think, over the last like 12 to 18 months. Really, the last 12 months. And then 
Bonds buy right there. Bonds chilling. Dollar still hugging 28 on UUP. Soundhound. They do have the event. There's a couple of the AI plays that were moving today. Altria, Barely Red, Pfizer. Again, Pfizer had a gain in the morning. Wow, oil's climbing. Year-to-date bathroom breaks, 183. Not bad. Like, what's the time on that? Is that still like three a day or something? But wait, have we been able to confirm that though? I don't know. I don't think that's accurate because your last update was 171 and that was before Jerome Powell. And that was before the jolts. I don't know, man. I think you might have missed some. You took the over. I don't know. I think there's no way I've only went 14 times since then. Oh, I needed to go to the bathroom, but I hate to do this to you guys. It's your girl, Corinne, looking fly as ever in the purpula, purpula, the purple Dracula outfit. You know what I'm saying? Put she got simply, the pop collar. We are taking concrete steps she to make She got the matching real eyeliner, eyeshadow. Americans, the promise of America. Stop it. And we affirm our commitment to do all that we purple? can we call it to Dracula. put an end you to see the vicious the, the, the hate pop of collar? xenophobia here at home and around the world. You don't know about world. that life. Now, for more than a year, the United States has engaged Haitian stakeholders across the political spectrum, CARICOM, right, and other right international partners to support Haitian-led efforts for a peaceful transition of power. Since February 29th, the urgency of the support for Haitians has increased because gangs have escalated violence, exacerbating the humanitarian security and political situations. On the humanitarian front, the United States remains the single largest donor of humanitarian assistance to Haiti, with over $170 million since October 2022, including the additional $58 million we announced just this week alone, $33 million on Monday, and $25 million today. With our assistance, UN agencies and NGO partners provide life-saving assistance to more than 1.5 million Haitians. On the security front, we, urgently we, we, we are urgently mobilizing support we and the international community can immediately provide the Haitian National Police to help them restore security. We are working expeditiously with international partners and Congress to expedite the deployment of the Kenyan-led multinational support, security support mission, to which we have contributed a total of $300 million to bolster the HNP's capabilities, that's the Haitian National Police. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan spoke today to his Kenyan counterpart, Monica Juma, reaffirming a shared commitment to supporting the Haitian people and expediting the multinational security support mission to assist to the HNP. We have surged law enforcement resources to counter firearms trafficking, and the Justice Department has prosecuted those responsible for smuggling firearms into Haiti. On the political, political front, Haitians from across the political spectrum and segments of Haiti society, including religious leaders, business leaders, and civil society, made tough compromises, which resulted in a Haitian-driven de declaration released by CARICOM just this week. That declaration outlined the contours of an inclusive, broad transitional presidential council. The TPC will name an independent permanent election council, which was dissolved in 2021. We applaud Haitians for creating a roadmap to establish a new permanent electoral council to support free 
and fair elections and strengthen its democratic institution. A lot of work ahead lies, a lot of work ahead lies, uh, lies ahead, pardon me, and the United States remains committed to supporting the people of Haiti on the humanitarian and security and political fronts. With that, I'll turn it over to my colleague, Admiral John Kirby, who's gonna talk about Russia and Iran. Thank you, Corinne. As you all know, uh, we have expressed serious concerns from this podium that Russia is seeking to acquire close range ballistic missiles from Iran to enable its brutal war in Ukraine. Uh, and that Russian negotiations to acquire those close-range ballistic missiles have been active and they've been advancing. Today, I just want to call your attention to a joint statement released this morning by the United States and other G7 countries warning Iran not to go forward with the sale of close-range ballistic missiles to Russia. The G7 statement reads in part, and I quote, were Iran to proceed with pro providing ballistic missiles or related technology to Russia, we are prepared to respond swiftly and in a coordinated manner, including with new and significant measures against Iran, end quote. So we're speaking with one voice here on this matter from the United States, Canada, Japan, the EU, France, Germany, and the United Kingdom. Now, shifting gears, next week, the United States will be sending a high-level delegation to the Summit of Democracy that will be led by Secretary of State Anthony Blinken. The U.S. delegation will also include senior U.S. government officials from the NSC, from USAID, and of course from the State Department. At the summit, being hosted by the Republic of Korea, and we're very grateful for their leadership in that regard, um, the U.S. will host a high-level event on the misuse of commercial spyware. And this is a significant priority for the Biden-Harris administration. Our event will, for the first time, convene some of the most senior government officials around the world with those from civil society, from the private sector, and even from those who have been directly affected by the nefarious effects of commercial spyware. We're looking forward uh, to the conversations at the summit and to continuing the important work of strengthening democratic resilience worldwide. Thanks. Thanks. Um, John, can you say anything more um, specifically on what possible sanctions would be levied? Um, I'd heard maybe they were mulling flights. I don't know, banning flights. I, mean, I know you're going to say no, but just if you can. <laughs> no. All right, fine. But, but, <laughs> no, I'm not. I mean, as you know, we don't preview sanctions, Colleen. But, yeah. um, but, uh, but clearly, uh, we're looking at a range of options here. And without question, additional uh, sanctions would be on the table of those options. What stopped Iran from going forward with ballistic missile sales <coughs> to Russia already? Why? Why the delay? What's happening? Well, I can't speak for the mullahs. I wouldn't do that, or for the Supreme Leader. Um, we know they provided drones, not only drones them, the, the drones themselves, but the, but the ability to manufacture drones organically inside Russia. Um, and this is a burgeoning defense relationship that we've been watching very, very closely. We've talked about it many times here. Um, they have, we, we haven't seen them move forward other than the negotiation process actively advancing, and um, we really wanted to set down a marker here for Iran and for Russia. Uh, that there will be swift consequences for them to do that. What, what's, in the, what's in their calculus? Uh, I couldn't say. But this would be, obviously, um, not just really bad for the people of Ukraine, but also bad for people in the Middle East, because Iran's hoping to get something out of this, too. It's not just about sales of, of ballistic missiles to Russia. They're hoping to get Russian military technology for themselves. Thanks, Admiral. Uh, does President Biden want to see new elections in Israel and for Prime Minister Netanyahu to no longer remain in power? That's going to be up for the Israeli people to decide. So what about, uh, beyond what he said in the Oval Office, did the President find uh, good about Senator Schumer's speech? Well, the President spoke about the, the, the passion with which uh, Leader Schumer made that speech. And the President said that he knows that uh, those remarks, uh, they resonate uh, with many Americans out there. Uh, for our part, we're going to keep supporting Israel in their fight against Hamas. We're going to keep urging them to reduce civilian casualties, and we're going to keep working to get a temporary ceasefire in place so we can get the hostages back home with their families and more additional aid into the people of Gaza. The uh, Netanyahu government says it has approved uh, an operation, military as well as uh, evacuating of civilians uh, for Rafah. What is the administration's expectation about knowing what's in that plan, what comes next, what do you know at this point? We haven't seen it. Uh, we certainly uh, would welcome the opportunity to see it. And as we've said, Kelly, we uh, can't support 
uh, a major offensive in Rafa that doesn't also include a credible, achievable, executable plan uh, to take care and to, for the safety and security of the, the more than a million Gazans that are seeking refuge in Rafa to move in right now in a major way without uh, a proper accounting for all those people uh, would, as we've said, be, be a disaster. And so we're going to keep talking to the Israelis about this. Again, we, we, uh, if they've got that plan, though, we certainly would welcome the opportunity to see it. Thanks, Karim. John, you guys are issuing this warning to Iran two days after renewing a waiver that unlocked $10 billion in frozen funds. Do, don't you think Iran is paying more attention to the actions of this administration than the words? Can't speak for the Mullahs or what they're paying attention to or not. Jackie, I would remind that this sanctions waiver is renewed or up for renewal every three months. It's a quarterly thing. Um, it's a sanctions package that was actually put in place by the previous administration, by President Trump and his team, that allows for Iraq to be able to work its way off of Iranian energy uh, so that they can keep the lights on. And we're continuing to work with our Iraqi partners about how to do that. But right now, they still are dependent uh, for a lot uh, of energy from coming from Iran. And so we don't want to penalize the Iraqi people for efforts that they're still trying to get to, to wean off of that. And I would remind uh, everybody, and we've talked about this before, I think three months ago we probably talked about this before, none of this money goes to the mullahs, none of this money goes into T Tehran. The sanctions relief that is provided actually is go goes to vendors that provide humanitarian assistance to the Iranian people. So not only do the Iraqi people not suffer because of this, the Iranian people aren't gonna suffer because of this. Wouldn't it be though the Iranian people who would suffer as a result of the teeth and the warning. I mean, you say, you're saying you would suspend flights on Iran air to Europe if Iran supplies ballistic missiles to Russia. I didn't say that. Press report said that. It's not, but it's not like, you know, the Ayatollah flies commercial. I mean, that's the Iranian people would be the ones who'd be harmed by that if that comes to pass. It's also not like the, the, the regime and the IRGC are, sit, are thinking this is some sort of windfall, like they're gonna, like this is somehow gonna make a big difference in their support for terrorist networks in the region. I mean, they continue to support Hezbollah, Hamas, the Houthis, I could go on and on. Um, that hasn't changed since 2018 when these waivers have been, have been passed by this administration and the previous one. Wait now, hold on a second. So we, this is, you're talking about one of the most heavily sanctioned countries on the planet, and we're still gonna look at additional options if we need to. We've been nothing but clear and direct, and quite frankly, forceful in pushing back on Iran's activities in the region. In the last three months alone, since the last renewal, you had an Iran-backed proxy kill three American soldiers in a drone attack in Jordan, the Houthis in, in the Red Sea firing anti-ship and ballistic missiles, suicide drones, uh, commercial vessels and Navy ships. You had, you know, three atomic bombs, uh, apparently, could be built in Iran with uh, Ura uranium's been enriched to that extent. Lincoln today addressing that very issue in Vienna, saying there's still an issue of the IAEA inspectors. I mean, what have they done in the last three months to justify another renewal of this waiver? It's a renewal that we go through every quarter. Uh, we, and it's, it's really about not penalizing the Iraqi people and the fact that they're still heavily dependent on Iranian, Iranian energy. But in the last three months, look what else we've done. We've gone after Houthi capabilities ashore. We've got a coalition of ships in the Red Sea protecting against uh, Houthi attacks on shipping there. We have struck back and forcefully against some of these militia groups in, in Iraq and Syria. We continue to have sanctions in place. Uh, uh, significant sanctions on the Iranian regime for multiple reasons. They're, they're protesters, they're you know, going after protesters, the support for terrorist networks, the, their nuclear program. I mean, there's a lot of sanctions in place. And oh, by the way, we're still conducting interdiction operations at sea to try to prevent their shipment of, of material and arms to some of these groups. So the idea that we're just laying back and not doing anything on Iran just doesn't, doesn't, just flies in the face of the, of the facts. Thank you, Admiral. So you said the U.S. has not seen a plan to protect civilians in Rafah, yet Netanyahu has already authorized an invasion of Rafah, and that is exactly the scenario that the president said would be a red line. So how is the U.S. going to respond? As far as I know, uh, they, there's not been an operation in Rafah. Uh, what we've seen today is the prime minister's office saying that they have, have seen a plan that accounts for the operational aspect, the military aspect, and the evacuation aspect. 
as I said to Kelly, we welcome an opportunity to look at that plan. We still can't get behind a plan, and we won't get behind a plan that doesn't properly account for those million and a half refugees in Gaza who need a place to go where they can be safe from the, from the fighting. Look, uh, Israel has a right to go after Hamas wherever they are. We get that. We're going to continue to support their opportunity to do that. But as we've said a hundred times, if not more, they have a special obligation as well to look after the safety and security of the, of the innocent people of Gaza who are getting caught up in this conflict, a conflict that was started by Hamas. Does that signal the turning point in the relationship, though, that the White House has not been briefed on this? You still haven't no. seen a plan to No, not at all. No, no, no. And when you talked about the president saying the speech was good and you said Senator Schumer showed a lot of passion, did the president mean the substance of the speech was good or he was just talking about the passion? Uh, I'll leave it the president's comments. Oh, oh, I wanted to, uh, Admiral, thanks, Karine. Uh, Admiral, I wanted to pivot to Haiti real quick. Okay. Um, on Jake Sullivan's conversations with his Kenyan counterpart, Karine said there was a shared commitment. I wonder if you can expound on what that means in, in more tangible terms and, and on the topic. Uh, the administration urged the speedy confirmation of Dennis Hankins. On the other side of that, you know, confirmation, uh, what are his next steps? You know, it, when does he arrive in Haiti? What, what does that look like? in the days coming forward. I'd have to refer you to my colleagues at the State Department to speak to the now the ambassador's uh, travel plans. And I, I have no doubt that he's going to want to get down there as soon as possible and get started. I mean, he's obviously been eager to, to get confirmed. And we're really, really grateful that he got confirmed and he'll be in place. That'll make a big difference down there. But again, the State Department can speak to that. As for shared commitments, um, and I do believe, uh, Kareen actually covered quite a bit of this in, in her opening statement. We have a shared commitment with, with uh, with the Haitian people and certainly uh, with the Haitian National Police to make sure that they have what they need um, to better enforce security and stability in Haiti, which is being obviously torn asunder by these, by these uh, gangs and these criminal groups. Uh, we have a shared commitment, as Kareem said, to see a political transition here uh, that is smooth, that is, uh, uh, that is credible. Uh, to uh, to uh, a new government that uh, that can represent the Haitian people and to look after their interests and of course they they just want the same as anybody would want they want to live in peace and security they want a future for their kids uh, and we want to help them from a political perspective get there um, and then again again also Kareen mentioned this the the multinational security support mission we want to make sure we're continuing to work with uh, our Kenyan partners about that we want to make sure that. The Kenyans have what they need to be effective and successful in this mission. And so we're talking to them and, of course, the Haitian government about that as well. Thanks, John. What is the White House view of the latest Hamas proposal, which is uh, 700 to 1,000 Palestinian prisoners, uh, including 100 hardened prisoners in exchange for women, children, the elderly, and ill hostages? I would say the proposal that was put forward is certainly within the bounds of, uh, in broad brushstrokes, uh, within the bounds of the deal that we've been working on now for several months. I don't want to go into more detail than that, Nancy, because I don't want to negotiate here in public. The fact that there's another delegation now heading to Doha, the fact that uh, this proposal is out there, that there are conversations about it, that's all good. That's all to the good. Now, whether it ends up looking like that, I don't know. That's what the team will, will, will work on uh, and will, will stay engaged. That's interesting because the Israeli Prime Minister called it unrealistic. But from the White House point of view, the broad do you think that that's in yeah, the range? We think it's in the broad brushstrokes of, uh, of the deal that we've been talking about. But the devil's in the details, and as I said before, Nothing's negotiated until everything is negotiated. And without getting into the specifics of, of these press reports, I can just tell you that we're, we're glad that the conversations are going. More broadly, do you believe it sounds like you're saying that things are moving in the right direction? In general, we think, look, the fact that, they're, that we still have active conversations and now another chance to meet in Doha, that's all to the good. Now, I, I know for the families out there, it's just another set of agonizing days to wait. And we understand that, too. So I, I don't want to. We're cautiously optimistic that things are moving in a good direction, but that doesn't mean that it's done, and we're going to have to stay at this till the very, very end. Um, Admiral, uh, I just go back to Iran. Maybe I'm, I'm, I didn't hear correctly, but those close-range uh, ballistic missile 
The, does the administration thing would be used in Ukraine by Russia? Is there any recent evidence that Iranian weapons have been used in the war in Iran? Drones. In, in, uh, in Ukraine? Drones. Heck yeah. Drones by the hundreds. Iranian drones have been used to kill innocent Ukrainians and hit Ukrainian infrastructure, to hit in, uh, Ukrainian defense industrial base. Absolutely. Yes, Iranian weapons have been used in Ukraine, without question. We haven't seen a consummation of this particular deal, which is why the G7 is warning against the consequences of it. Uh, and a question on the, the Taoiseach's visit. Uh, when he, he came out of the stakeout and he talked to us and he said, and I'm quoting, none of us like the use, uh, the, to see the American weapons being used in the way they are. This is not self-defense, is it? I know. We are, we've talked about this before. Uh, Israel has a right to defend itself against a still viable threat by Hamas, a group that wants to do October 7th again and again. And we are continuing to support the Israeli Defense Forces as they go after that. How they go after that threat matters. And that's the context of the conversations that we've been having at all levels, including at the president's level, with our Israeli counterparts about how they execute and prosecute these operations. We want to see the right number of civilian casualties is zero. We want to see the numbers come down. We want to see the damage to infrastructure come down. We want to see more humanitarian assistance get in. Um, it looks like Putin's going to win a new term. White House ready to prepare Shocked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. White House ready for another. It's going to be a real nail biter, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Look, um, we'll watch this and monitor it and see how it comes out. I mean, the, the idea of free and fair elections in Russia is, uh, is a misnomer. Uh, but we'll, we'll see what happens this weekend. Thank you, John. I have a couple of things for you. Um, you just referenced a uh, meeting in Doha. I'm sorry if I missed this, but are you confirming that the U.S. is sending a delegation to Doha for the we will not be uh, We will not be participating in this particular delegation to Doha, but there is a meeting in Doha of the, of the, of the counterparts. Is there a reason that a U.S. delegation is uh, I, uh, we're, I, We have been at this. MJ, literally every day, I mean, believe me, we're involved in all these conversations. The fact that we're physically not going to have a delegation there should not be taken as any kind of signal that this isn't a serious, positive move forward. We think it could be. And has the White House asked the Israeli government to see its uh, Rafa plans? We have uh, made it clear to our Israeli counterparts that we would welcome the opportunity to see <coughs> their, their plans. Well, that's a sovereign country, and these are their military plans. and. Um, certainly, they, sh they should speak to them, appropriately so. We're not interested in speaking for the IDF, but we've made it clear we would welcome the opportunity to see it. And just circling back to one thing you said earlier, um, does the U.S. think that there is an achievable and executable plan, to use your language, that guarantees the safety of civilians in Rafa before a major military incursion into the area? Well, I think I kind of answered that already, though. I mean, do you, well, do you think that's logistically and physically possible given how many people are in that region? I guess it would depend on the plan. Uh, make no mistake about it. That's a, that's a tall order. You're, you're talking about more than a million folks, probably about a million and a half, and um, in a, a strip of ground that's 12 miles wide. I mean, there's not a lot of places for them to go. So um, having our own experience at, at doing uh, non-combatant evacuations and, and uh, urban warfare uh, points to certain lessons about, um, about how this can be done and what some of the pitfalls are. I, I won't get into that uh, here from the podium, but uh, accommodating for a million and a half people in a confined urban environment uh, with not a lot of geography is a very, very tall order for any military to do. I just ask you to clarify one more thing. When the president used the red line language last weekend, was he saying that Israel going to Rafa, period, was considered a red line? Or did he mean Israel going into Rafa without a civilian evacuation plan in place, that that would be crossing a red line? I, I, I'm not going to parse the president's words. Again, we've been very consistent, MJ, that uh, we, the United States, can't support an operation in Rafa that doesn't include a executable plan for the safety and security of the million and a half Gazan refugees that are down there at Rafa. They, that, that has to be fa factored in and, and baked in and, and has to be accommodated. That's, that's our view, and that the president was restating our view. John, on humanitarian aid in Gaza, uh, the humanitarian ship Open Arms arrived in Gaza today with about 200 uh, tons of aid. 
do you see that as a one-off? Is it something that could be replicated more? I mean, it's been described as a, a pilot project. Yeah, it's difficult for me to speculate what the future is going to be on that. Um, uh, look, any assistance, any food, any humanitarian goods that can get to the people of Gaza is, is good for the people of Gaza, no matter what the size is. But we're constantly looking for multiple opportunities to get it in. I mean, well, obviously, still the, the Israelis opened up 96 gate. There are other crossings into Gaza. We would like to see them open up because trucks by the ground is the best way to do this by volume. We're working on this temporary pier uh, that, uh, that could allow for additional shipments by sea. There's just no really good port on the Gazan coast. So, I mean, whether it's a one-off or not, I don't know. But we certainly would like to see more aid get in more quickly from a variety of different ways. Has the Biden administration asked countries like France to stop talking about sending troops to Ukraine? No. But would the U.S. oppose any nation sending troops no, to Ukraine? Those are sovereign decisions that any, a nation has to make. I can just speak for this sovereign nation and this commander-in-chief, and he's made it clear that we will not put uh, U.S. boots on the ground. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, John. I have a question on Indo-Pacific and then Ukraine. So on Indo-Pacific, Fiji just decided to uphold the policing cooperation agreement with China. Uh, we know the Biden administration will be working with the uh, Pacific Islands for a few years right now, uh, but it seems that country is still cozy with China. Uh, is the United States losing the competition over there? We don't ask countries to choose between us and China. They've got to make their own decisions. These are sovereign decisions as well. Um, we are deepening our partnership with Pacific Islands uh, countries, and we're going to continue to do that across a range of, of capabilities, not just military security capabilities, but each, each nation has to decide for itself. We are not asking people to choose between the United States and China. We have a bilateral relationship with China, which we greatly value, and um, as you saw in the fall when we went to San Francisco. Regarding the uh, allies in the Indo-Pacific, we know Japan, of course, is a trustworthy ally. But we're also seeing President Biden seems to be opposing the Japanese company Nippon Steel to purchase the U.S. steel. So if Japan is not trustworthy enough to invest in the United States, uh, who else is? The, the relationship with Japan is extraordinarily strong. It's one of the strongest alliances we have in the world. Five of our seven treaty alliances are in the Pacific, and that's, that's, uh, that's a key one. And I think you're going to see it, uh, you're going to see the, the, the power and the promise of that alliance in full flower here when Prime Minister Kishida comes for the state visit. There is an awful lot to talk about. Uh, the President has also been clear about making sure that steel workers in this country know that he has their back, and he's made his, he made his views known uh, on this potential uh, merger. But that doesn't take away one bit from the terrific relationship that we have now and will continue to have with Japan. Based on Ukraine, uh, sorry. At least 20 people were killed and dozen injured in Russian double strike on uh, Odessa. Uh, what can the United States do to ensure Ukraine that needed air defense capabilities going forward, given right now the Congress situation? Your question should have been, what can the Congress do to ensure? They can pass the supplemental bill so we can get critical air defense capabilities to Ukraine. Thank you, Karin. Uh, Vladimir Putin said that uh, Russia is going to launch a nuclear power unit or some kind of a nuclear stuff into the space. So should the United States take it seriously as a serious threat? And are there any ways to deter Putin in space? I haven't heard that particular comment. so. Uh, I can't. I, I haven't heard him. I haven't heard that actually been, been said. But just broadly speaking, your question is: Do we take it seriously? Yeah, I've, obviously we do. I mean, the the nuclear rhetoric coming out of Moscow, not just from Putin, but from Lavrov and Peskov and others, uh, is is worrisome. And you have to take it seriously with a nation with that kind of capability. I would just tell you a couple of things. One, we monitor it very very closely, and we see nothing that has caused us to believe we need to change our own strategic deterrent posture. All right, just a couple more. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm the, uh, Congress is still uh, debating uh, raising the cap on, uh, on visas for uh, Afghan allies, uh, who, many of whom are, are still waiting to get into the country and waiting in pretty <clears throat> inhospitable places. Uh, what's the administration's position on the number of uh, visas that uh, the president wouldn't like uh, included Republicans are trying to keep it down under 4,000. And uh, if they don't get this into the uh, upcoming appropriations bill, is there a plan B? 
We, uh, I think I talked about this a little bit yesterday. Uh, we think that by end of summer, we'll probably, at the rate we're processing SIVs, we'll, go, we'll blow through the 7,000 we have left, and we're asking Congress for 20,000 more. And we think that that will uh, uh, really be able to help us get uh, all those worthy SIV applicants safely out of Afghanistan. How hard is the President willing to fight for that 20,000 number? He has been clear since the beginning. Um, we may have ended the war in Afghanistan. We never ended our commitment to our Afghan allies. He is 100 percent committed to doing everything he can, and the rest of the administration as well, uh, on working with Congress to get those SIV visa, uh, visa uh, allowances in place so we can get those Afghans back uh, out of Afghanistan. Thank you so much. Um, a question about the Houthis. They have warned that they will expand their operations and start attacking the ships, taking the longer route, the, the one going around uh, the Cape of Good Hope. So how serious is this threat, in your view? And also, how actively is Iran supporting the Houthis right now? They're still supporting the Houthis. They're still providing over capabilities. We keep uh, working to degrade those capabilities. And we take those threats seriously. We have to. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Admiral. Uh, there's a report that Israel is exploring using an international private security contractors to try and help protect international uh, humanitarian aid going into Gaza. Is that something that the U.S. would support? First of all, that would be up for the Israelis to speak to about how they w might uh, want to help with the security of, of um, humanitarian assistance that comes in by sea and then further distribution inland. Again, that would be for them, something for them to speak to. What I can tell you is that uh, as you know, we are already starting to move the first. Uh, no, I'm here. I just was the enjoying first components of this the temporary period. It's called a joint Listening logistics to Kirby over the and shore a tie. capability. And I heard uh, he only had like one more question. Those are just starting to move from so the east coast over there. Done, it's going to take some time to get in place. I'd wrap and it up. while we have that time before they get to put, we are working around with a little bit. Uh, allies and partners, including the Israelis, about Optinos the details of, of uh, by how that temporary pier we saw that one last night uh, yesterday too supported how the Op aid ten. that gets to the pier and gets to the people of Gaza how that happens all of that is still being discussed we're just not we're not at a point where we have final answers for that and then just to follow up on MJ's question you said that you would welcome the opportunity to review this but is it your expectation that you will get that opportunity to would, see this? we would welcome the opportunity to see it Good, Thank you, uh, Green. This week, the Russian Foreign Ministry included Jeff Selden, a VOA reporter, in its latest round of sanctions. And earlier this month, the Russian Interior Ministry issued an arrest warrant for Washington Examiner columnist Tom Rogan, who is a U.S. citizen. Uh, what's the administration's response to this effort by Moscow to intimidate and target U.S. journalists? Sadly, it's consistent with the, the Kremlin approach to particularly journalists um, and uh, and the crackdown by the Kremlin on free speech and speech, in fact, that, that Mr. Putin finds offensive or uh, inimical to his own um, uh, selfish interests. Um, so it, it's, uh, I think, just another reminder, and I think it underscores, um, first of all, the danger to uh, Americans who may be in Russia and the need not to be there, but also um, the, the real danger of an autocrat like Putin and, uh, and, and what he's really after here. Thanks, sir. Uh, Raquel, you have the last question. Wait. Thank you so much, Karin. Hi, John. Uh, two questions, John. One on the Russian election, uh, including those who are th that are taking place in Ukrainian territories. Which will, are illegitimate. Will the United States recognize these uh, no, results? Of course not. No. And uh, the, uh, on Haiti, uh, as you were saying, the White House is ready to support the transition in Haiti, but how can the U.S. help with this transition, or how effective can be the help, the $300 million, uh, be effective when it's not even clear who is in control? Yeah. And is the White House concerned that the gangs could take over the country? Well, the, the gangs already have an awful lot of influence uh, and power in certain places, particularly Port-au-Prince. There are parts of the, of the country that are not uh, suffering the instability that these uh, gangs and, and criminal thugs are, are perpetrating on the, on the Haitian people. How much more? I mean, uh, again, uh, as Corrine said right at the top, we're very committed to this, and we're going to stay committed to it. And we just announced another 25, I think, $25 million today in humanitarian assistance, and I suspect you'll see more coming from the United States, not just from us, though, but from some of our allies and partners uh, as well. Um, the, the situation on the ground is dire. We understand that, and we're doing everything we can uh, to support a truly international effort uh, to uh, 
to better improve security and stability for the Haitian people. But it could take some time. Uh, we're going to stay committed to it. Thanks, Thank, you. Thank, you Thank you so much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Colleen, what you, you got? Um, so Thank Speaker you. Johnson has Corinne said one. that Thank he Corinne would one. be willing to put forward uh, Ukraine funding, Speaker Israel Johnson. funding, Ukraine once the shutdown. All right, yeah, anyways. Anyways, Chattadoni, it's Friday. We only got 20 minutes left. How you doing? Yeah, JRVR, I'm still in there. I think that's my only play of the day. I closed out of the Futus uh, maybe like an hour ago or like 40 minutes ago. I'm barely up. I was just up like 5 6% on the uh, JRVR. Now I'm like up one and a half, about to go back down to break even. So we'll see. I don't know. I kind of like that play, though, just even holding it uh, just because if they have an offer there, we'll see. It Again, it reminds me early days of uh, young Groot. Groot or Root. And then OPTN, they just got FDA approval there. We got that there, halted. I have that on screen. Roots hitting a 52-week high. And then chip makers, your leader of the day. NVIDIA did drop a little bit there, actually. NVIDIA might close with a red. AMD held up. I think Intel flip red or, like, barely green. But Mag7 did not Mag7. It Drag7. <laughs> no? Okay boring day it's kind of how it's been every other it's like kind of exciting because you're getting like down days nasdaq's down one percent i mean there's a lot of like random small cap movers you're getting big earnings move adabe adabe oh adabe 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 came back up but like you have adabe you know so you have like one little baby earnings move and a couple of other movers but chips in mag seven yeah drag seven bro we got the drag seven that's what it was today, except for NVIDIA. So we'll see. The quad witching, a lot of arbitrage opportunities is what they used to say. Volume does go up, but generally, I mean, you kind of get a lot of movement that doesn't really take you too many places. And then, I mean, in this day and age lately, I mean, the next day, the next day, trading day, I mean, everybody starts repositioning and rebalancing pretty quickly. So not too much weed is on the high. So again, we had a lot of weed comments. So we're already in those. Again, we were we were dragged on those, and then those came back up. But the weed is starting to go up. Yeah. So they even hit a little bit higher that same day, the day before. We'll see. Watch around like eight or nine. We'll go from there. The Fat Joe effect. I can't believe that. Dude, I thought guy was messing with me. He was like, Fat Joe. I was like, why was Fat Joe go? like, dude, Terror Squad? But no, Fat Joe was there with Kamala Harris. He might still be there. I don't know. That's like, it's crazy. Fat Joe is really out here. Dude, we were just, weren't we just singing like Need for Speed songs? Fat Joe's Need for Speed. If you know, you know. If you know, you know, JRVR flirting with $8 again. You smoking with the Veep. <laughs> Maybe he's like, prove it. Prove that you really bought this reform. Spark this joint. That could have happened. That could have happened. And she's like, okay, I'm for the people. All right. <laughs> I can't do a Camilla voice. I wish I could. That'd be a lot of fun. I'd have a lot of a lot of fun with the Camilla voice. There's some girl on TikTok who does a Camilla voice. That is very, very excellent. So spy coming a little lower. MSOS. Weed stocks on the high. Bonds slightly elevated, but practically unchanged. I mean you pull out two day. Oh wait, why does my platform look like that? You pull out the two day on bonds, you'll see we're like literally right into the lows of yesterday. Not doing much. Spy, you're near the first little low of the day in the morning, like within the first 30 minutes. You saw Fat Joe at the Miami airport. Did you try to give him a hug? Because that's what I would have done. I would have been like, Fat Joe! And then just ran up to him, arms open. I would have assumed he would have been too embarrassed to say no. But you know who I am.
picking up Tesla. No, no Tesla for me. You know, even then, I was just talking. Somebody was even asking, you know, if I like like Tesla just because of the discount. But, you know, it's still up. I think it's still up like a solid 60% or, excuse me, 40 50% from like the beginning of January 2023. So they went low. I remember my child support days. You know, you guys tell me not that I should have kids, but I've already paid Tesla child support. And I remember in the depth of, in the depth of it, Tesla was was low, man. So even like 150 is still, you know what I'm saying? Like that's not it's not the cheapest. It's not like it definitely has been lower and can go lower. You never know with these guys. You never know with these guys. If we could turn back time to the lower rates, where power would say I'm lowering rates forever. What do you guys say? No? Okay. Monday green up prediction? I don't know. I think Monday we're just going to vibe. <laughs> And by that, I mean everybody's just going to be like, all right, it's the week of pow. We might get a little bit of stuff out of China. And then it will it will be Monday will be like the pregame leading into uh, Japan. But I do think people are, you know, a lot of vibing, a lot of vibing next week up until like Tuesday night, Wednesday. But Bank of Japan, data, and then pow, fireworks everywhere, bro. It's going to be it's going to be one for the books. It's going to be one for the books, man. Dude, so the weed stock just took off. I'm down. I'm taking it. Again, I just said 890. That was the previous high. So that was just like literally where I was trying to play it around uh, March there. So they're even a little bit higher. But I am down. Weed's going up. Weed's vibing. Weed's vibing. I mean, there. I don't know. When was the last time they talked reclassification? I mean, I think it did. Wasn't it here? It went up to this price, pulled back, and then went up all the way. Those are the tens. But nine sixty would be nice. This is gets you back to the higher end. Stock market gonna go crazy. I think it'll go crazy next week, yeah. <laughs> like, genuinely, I really do. I think it is going to be a crazy week. I'm pretty excited. Finally, we get Jerome and young Jerome in a SCP. That's nothing to balk at. Oh, for it will be glorious. It will be glorious, my brother. And then the NVIDIA event, I forgot. That's getting the chip makers excited. So people are going to love that. Again, weed ETF still going up. Tesla still clapped. Apple came up a little bit, but still red on the day. Again, the drag seven still dragging along. We'll take it. Gold. I closed out of oil, but oil stayed pretty solid here today. Again, bonds just that's a two day chart you're looking at. Looks very subdued to say the least. Archer Daniels back to life. Oh, getting a little bit here, yeah. Honest, I don't know if those, though. I don't think those options, though. Same price, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, on the ask. Be chilling. I think NVIDIA will sell the news. Uh, I don't know. As Does NVIDIA have a history of selling the news? I feel like there has been some letdowns with Nvidia events, but I don't I think it's a little different than an Apple event. But I'm not too sure if Nvidia has their own little history at these events, but I think uh everybody's really excited for some AI stuff, so it it just depends. Well, actually last time, well no 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 no. Last time that was last year at the beginning of last year like started the wave. Remember leather jacket? Homeboy came out with the leather jacket at one of the meetings and started announcing like guidance and stuff. I forgot about that. He started talking numbers and orders and all these beautiful things. And then everyone 
remember when we came back and everyone's like, Wah! so I was very, very hyped. Actually, there has there has been a history where he has talked about numbers. So if numbers get brought up, if growth rates get brought up, if big orders get brought up, you know, if it has to do with money, we're probably going to have a positive effect off of it. If it's if it's not, if it's just like products and and no no sales, you know, no no numbers or, or guidance on those new products, then I don't think it'll I don't think it'll do much. Well, spy got a little green there off the bottom. Ten minute rigged in twenty seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, market on close will probably be very big because of the expiration. Can you believe it? You're already here, man. You're already here to the end of the day. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. And then low ticker getting active or just a couple names. But it is 10 minute rig right there, so... You're getting your movements. Bryce. Bryce. Opro Zempic too. That's part of it. So I don't know if you want to grab some NVO. Now is your chance. Either Oprah Top or Oprah Pop. This would be your, your final opportunity. I can't believe we got scammed on those earnings plays. We got scammed heavy. Yeah, bro. Oprah Zempic. Mm, you don't get tired of getting scammed? No. Do you? You're joking. I mean, I'm reframing all comments. You've already been banned before, Jack-O-Lantern. So I'm just going to save the words for you and say I love you. Peace be with you, brother. Peace be with you. Okay, let me shop in peace. Let me shop in peace. I've had a bad experience with the NVO contracts. That's why. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of want to play the, the Oprah Zempic. But they're all far at the money, and then NVO only responds in gap-ups. And our bonds slipping a little bit. Was a she left Weight Watchers? Well, some people think she's left Weight Watchers because like she ain't doing Weight Watchers. <laughs> do you not? Do you not get it? Like, why would Oprah leave Weight Watchers? And like, did you know Oprah has lost a lot of weight recently? <laughs> I don't know if you've caught up with Oprah lately, but Oprah has also lost. A lot of weight in a very effective and fast manner. That's why it's because we got to talk about the shame and the, you know, Oprah. Do you think, oh, let me ask you this. Do you think Oprah was like, oh, I'm going to go talk to my Weight Watchers coach and eat my Weight Watchers granola bar 
And that's how I lost 70 pounds in two days. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think, I don't know. I don't think she had a private chef, man. I don't think, I think she did have a private chef, but he was cooking lobster and biscuits and just a bunch of crazy good ass shit for her, you know? Mm-hmm. And he, he lived at the house. He probably had his own house. He got, he just lived at her house. She just went there for breakfast. Mm hmm. But now she don't eat breakfast anymore. And I'll just, it's not because of Weight Watchers. So that's why people think she left. They think Oprah, because she said she was, she took a weight loss drug. She didn't disclose the name. So she might disclose that she's on Ozempic over, the, over this uh, special that we're going to be getting. So, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. The Super Chad? No. What did you say? I got... No, I have Oscars. No, man. What'd I miss? Oh, another great week. Use the Super Chat for Pita Chip. Oh, Kava. Oh, dude. That's a beautiful Super Chat. Thank you for that. I needed that reminder. <laughs> it's a baby horn. It's a baby horn because right now we're about to get into it. Thank you. God bless you, PNC. You're right. I need to try to get Kava. I will try my best. I will try my best. I hope I remember. You're giving me a very timely reminder. But yeah, now, speaking of timely reminders, holy crap. Holy crap. Speaking of timely reminders. Wow, isn't this amazing? Chatadonia, we're about to land. It is about to get very, very loud in here. So this is my time to let you know that when I say earmuffs, that is your warning. That is our safe word for you to mute your speakers because it is going to get extremely loud in here. How loud is it going to get? So loud that people have reported several ailments due to the loud noises. Anything from bleeding eardrums, eyeballs, uh, diarrhea, insomnia, a ruined day, anxiety, stress. Some people shake. Like, just because now, like, they've gotten, they just get nervous. They get cold. Some people have gotten hypothermia. I don't, makes no sense. I know. But, like, that's why I'm saying just in general, I don't know what's happening. I don't know how it affects people. But all I know is loud noises brings about a lot of dormant BBB side effects. So, that being said, when I say earmuffs, that is my warning. And that is my olive branch to you to mute your speakers so that you can protect yourself if you are prone to any of these ailments with everything that you're dealing with. Okay? Sound good? Sounds good. Great. We're on the same page? We're on the same page? Good. Good. All right. Perfect. Earmuffs. Earmuffs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're making our final approach as we make our final approach. You guys are holding on to any bags. Uh, please throw them in the overhead bins above or firmly beneath your seats. We'll be coming through the aisles with a trash bag if you'd like to dispose of those bags. But as we make this final approach, we're going to be landing here into the second link terminal. Second link terminal description. That's going to be your nightly watch list and main channel layover Sunday evening around 4 p.m. And then we're going to be taking off promptly Monday morning. 6 a.m. out of sunny San Diego, California. So you make this final approach in the San Diego International Airport. It's about 69 degrees, partly sunny, depending on where you're at and what plays you got here on this big expiration day. But market moved around a little bit. Otherwise, a beautiful day. Uh, when good news is we're no longer under COVID guidelines until the election. So no masks are required, but we do ask that you exit one row at a time and drop a GG on your way. Yeah, that's all always we appreciate you guys a business if you're interested in your call rapid awards program card please flag down your flight attendant and we'll get you that as soon as possible as always thank you for flying with the coat and hopefully have a wonderful evening Chattadonia.
It's time to bring it home. You don't have much time. You only have one minute. Go, 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 go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to bring it home. Wrap it up. Finalize those plays. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Shares, options, futures. What are you doing? Are you playing the data? Next week has Powell, Bank of Japan, NVIDIA, AI, everything you can imagine. What are you going to do? Finalize the plays. Bring it home. You have less than 10 seconds remaining. Oh, my goodness. Five, four, three, two. One. Ding 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 Seven hours in the books. I don't care if you just got here or not. I need a good game in the chat. Let's go, baby. Drop that GG. It don't matter if you made money or lost money. I know you learned something. Everybody, and members, non-members, stream alerts, brought in plays, news, information, vibes, personalities. You are in the game. God bless you in good games. That's how you play, baby. Good game. GG. Let's go. And listen, without a GG, you're more likely to get banned. You were like, I had a couple of bands today. I'm not going to twist. A couple of clappers here and there, baby. So drop the GG. Don't, don't let your history be reflected know, and keep it on the low, baby. Chop a good game. It's sportsmanship. Let's go. It's bigger than you. It's everybody. Let's go. I see you too, Twitch. Way to hold it down. Members, non members, stream alerts. You threw in the dono. You showed in love. You held it down. You are positive, baby. God bless you. Good game. GG, baby. GG. I'm You won't see me a lot. Monday through Friday, you need me less talk. Some of you like this. Some of you didn't hear this before. I was surprised. This was your first time hearing this. Come on. That's the day. Yeah, I mean, hey. God bless you. For, for, Have, a PM, Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. That's it. That's it. We made it. Shout out to the president. That's me. I want to let it keep playing, but that's it. We got to get it. Friday. You can lead it. We done, baby. We made it through another week. You're like you up for some this weed. Was a little bumpy at the end scene. of last week. I'm gonna make sure you don't bumpy. speak. Got a laptop for you. I don't know how to do that. She was weird with you. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a couple of problems. I'm gonna make sure you don't speak. Got a
Thank you for your time. You gave me an opportunity. You engaged in the community. Somebody even said it. It's pretty cool. I know, and I agree, man. And that's everybody giving their little part every single day, man. So it's an honor to see you, man. And big shout out all the Chads, bro. The ones with us, the ones not with us anymore, too, man. I love every single one of you. That is our day today. So if you got to get going, get going. You got to go get moving. I understand. Enjoy your weekend. Rest up. Uh, if you haven't heard, if you can't tell by the excitement, bro, we got a big week next week. Some would say it's going to go crazy. Some would say it's going to go crazy, baby. So rest up. Have a great weekend. Be ready. Be prepared, okay? And you enjoy it. You make the most of it. So God bless you. And thank you guys all again, for real, all of you. The members, everybody supporting. And even if you just an honorary member too, that go a long way, man. That go a long way. If you a positive individual, that go a long way, man. Anything less, you can always try again. We still love you, man. Don't worry. God bless you. Don't worry. You got to fight for your right to party. You got to fight for your right to peace, baby. But enjoy your day. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy your weekend. 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 That's all I have for you today, man. So scurry along. Scurry along if you got to get going, buckaroo. I'm sorry. I don't mean to call you a buckaroo. I'm sorry. I'm buckaroo. I don't mean it like that. You know, buckaroo. Buckaroo. I'm having to. It's Friday, baby. But anyways, so here's the deal. I'm going to get going. Uh, and I'm going to go uh, get my cloak. If you have a cloak, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you may have to leave. You may stick around if you'd like. You may be disappointed. You may not. Maybe you get initiated. Maybe you don't. Maybe it's a big letdown. Maybe. Maybe all that happens is Najee Wolf playing a guitar. And you're like, What's, what are you guys doing? You don't know what we're going to get into. You don't know. I might throw a book at you. I might not. You never know. You never know, homie. I need the law time. You better pump your brakes and deposit slow, homie. My best homie Josh used to say, one of my best friends from YouTube back in the day. Uh-huh. Down the street from my subscriptions, a school for the Chaz. He nicknamed me law time, so they would leave me alone. No, okay, they don't know. They don't know. Anyways, Chad, I'm going to go play this music, rebuke a couple of heathens. You know what I'm saying? You do the same. Enjoy if you got to go, and I'll be right back. I'll see you in a little bit, and then we will proceed into our Friday activities. That sound good? That sounds good, right? That sounds good? All right, that sounds good. I think we're going to gonna give it another listen. I'll give it another listen. Let it ride. Let it ride. Let it ride. God bless you, Chad. Oh, baby. Yeah. It's a letter to the people, I'm penning it like a ball It don't matter about the evil, it matter about the God It don't matter about the weapons, it matter about how you armed All that matters is the weather, when weather to bet the farm <laughs> I ain't gotta see it to believe it If it's signing and it's needed, then my eyes don't need a reason I won't even try to explain it, let's just say I got a feeling I'm gonna sing my praise like David, but the king is still a killer Listen up and go and get the tropes Hope you know you ain't scared of them, they scared of you And I know you might be scared to take that point of view You see them arrows in my back, yup son, that's gon' happen too But the harvest on the way, you gon' barter every day That means you have to make a trade, either life or risk the grave The result will not remain, every day will bring a change Kinda funny and it's strange, how the hope will pave the way Hearing what I say, the only difference between you and them comes down to faith. There's a difference in the man who believes in a better day. Cause once you believe it's past, you're willing to wilt away. We was never willing to be the same. We want it all in the long run, they want it all today. My father is really awesome, don't bother with giving snakes. Regardless, I can't control it, so either way, giving thanks. Yep, you could take that one to the bank. A leader without a rank, a speaker without a face, a people without a race. They eat him without a taste, they scheming without a safe. The meanings have been replaced. Another time, another place, we could talk about it. Keep some oil in them lamps, don't get caught without it. Want them once, want them twice, then never talk about it. If you never get a second chance, then that ain't meant to happen. What I understand is you ain't trying to understand. Take a hundred, hundred grand, then a hundred undergrads. Pay them all to make a plan, but they couldn't comprehend what it means to never die but so 
I might still be born again It's a letter to the people, I'm penning it like I'm Paul It don't matter about the evil, it matter about the God It don't matter about the weapons, it matter about how you want All that matters is the weather, when weather to bet the farm
think I just missed my exit. Her previous when they left me mad. My driving got my girlfriend stressing. Swimming in my ear like a bird. Where I'm sick, I'm pulling fast. Hasn't seen the 405. It took me 30 minutes just to go a mile. I came to California for the women in the vibe. But all I saw was Tesla and girls who look like guys. Now I let everybody. I'm just saying I'm surprised All these different people But none of them can drive Only in my F-350 I don't drive a fucking EV Gas tank's still on empty But I'm gonna keep on driving all week Nigga, I just missed my exit Breeze when they let me by Loaning up my F-350 I don't drive a fucking EV Gas tank still on empty But I'ma keep on driving all week I think I just missed my exit A previous when they let me mind My driving got my girlfriend stressing Screaming in my ear like a bird Said they wait an hour to charge. I know. Depo on the beat. It's a cup, baby. Yeah, boss of Chris, they said a crash. I kept the band so limber cash. I kept it cool, was moving fast. I came with nothing left with the bag. You should do the math, I ain't pulling back. I'm pulling up, you pulling that. I double down, then double day. I changed the plan, I'm full with that. And I, so, this should be your motivation. Balance growth and values. I ain't talking about it. Stop rotation, price are going up. But daddy go up, so got inflation. Told you it was tough, but it's different when you finally face it. Take it, for complacent, get your patience. If it reset, what you making? Cause it has a Surprising how much time to waste despising That could really tilt the balance Or could kill you at the margins Beg your pardon, I ain't never beg I planned it and I got it Long time Luka Doncic with the options I'm Giannis, feel like your kids with the passes I'm a holder, you a talker Getting older and I'm wiser I can run it like Eliza You can't tell me that I eat it If you've never been through fire Whoa, I'm the favorite to the yes before favorite You got motive, not no motivation Stop with all the faking Thought I told you when I'm finished Then you gonna hear me say it Brought a tear to mama's eyes We should see how far we came Another prayer in the evening Ain't promised a day So there's money that I'm saving And some money on the way Another day, another season Bitch, I ain't afraid Cause the Lord can give a lie And the Lord can take away Yeah, hey. On my job, feeling joke Caught a million for the whip Twenty dollars for the clothes So I don't forget the days That I barely stay the flow Hope you picking up the game I ain't saying this shit to glow Don't trust him, don't eat It don't matter if you dining with the king Cause your weapon take a kill you Before you blink that's a private and it's talking about the great Crazy but I'm diligent, contrary in the dissident I keep the peace, don't be naive, I'm moving like a militant I translated transitory, there was no equivalent Everything except the president is unprecedented Damn, <laughs> you might get that in a minute We're on a 
a second listen I sent him this repetition The father got all the knowledge and granted me with the wisdom The truth is still how to swallow Ain't following what I'm spitting Valley of the death, I be walking, chilling Seeing what I see, yeah, caught in vision Got a lot of skies, but they taught me lessons We gon' take it far if that's what God's willing Morning I be eating, money still my back Take a knee and thank the man Then I get back to the church, seeing houses in the evening they go to LA, brought a tear to the mama's eyes Used to see how far we came, wait, wait Ain't got time to even finish hooks I'm busy making plays and just waiting to get the puss And caught up in what they talking Cause often they overlook the progress we making Often they focus on what we couldn't You don't bring now, don't eat That's reality, that shit ain't up to me You can look but that don't mean you really see Price inflated but still the land of the free Fuck you, you ain't feeling it Me and you no semblance Mama was an immigrant and look at what we did with it You look like you think you quit but nobody gon' give a shit That's between the future you, I hope that you could deal with it Damn, <laughs> I should cool it for a minute Cause I ain't really tripping, it's different The feel of hitting, I deal with the deal of different And wholesaling for the difference I got a tree planting trees and it's feeding my children Wait up in the morning, I be eating Money still my back, take a knee and thank the man Then I get back to the track, seeing houses in the evening they go to LA, brought a tear to the mama's eyes. We should see how far we came. Another prayer in the evening. Ain't promised a day, so there's money that I'm saving. There's some money on the way. Another day, another season. Bitch, I ain't afraid, cause the Lord can give a lie and the Lord can take away. Yeah. Like Nancy, tips like Ramsey. Wish a motherfucker would, and you could call me Kathy. Ashley, all these bars, I feel like Johnson Matthew. Damn me, then you'll buy it later with a taffy. I ain't worried about a dip, I'm never selling. I ain't worried about a bitch unless it's yelling. Why you ticking and you talking like you did it? You was bitching, I was shopping while it's dipping. Hope you know not everybody make a light. They too cheap, but they don't make your waist a light. Think it's cheap, but they don't know what price you Think it's luck, but they don't ever mention time. Bitch, I slept down, I ain't overrated. Got a lot of cribs, but I don't got a lot of payments. A lot of wishes making shit look like inaugurations. Motherfucker self is how I list my occupation. Yeah, I thought this stupid shit was working. Huh? A lot of shit was moving, I ain't nervous. Bruh, it was like me before I learned it. Duh, taught about investing with a Birkin. Why? Cray like Kramer, coins like Sailor. Take you to the gym, I could probably be a trainer. Waiter, let me buy a drink for all the haters. Made that shit a double if they asked me for a favor. I don't want no trouble, so I gave it to the savior. Money off these bubbles like I was a toy maker. Word was always firm, but I never paid later. Young enough to learn, but that long term agent. Face it, y'all could probably do a little maintenance. Those are the requirements before the bank takes it. Hope this shit inspiring, the only way to explain it. Little bad environment and more about what you thinking. Thought I told you that we keep it peaceful. Chill, I don't really like you. Cause you evil, hell Made it off the ether, not the sheep, but for real Got a lot of stuff that I can teach you, still <laughs>
What up, Ken? I'm just Ken. Something, something, be a 10. I'm just... Japanese are just gonna raise by 10. Anything else will upend the financial system again. No, okay. I'm sorry. I'm having, I don't want to have too much fun. I don't want to have too much fun, baby. What's going on, Chad Adonia? Happy Friday. Another week. Another dollar. Another day. My goodness. Thank you, JP. Thank you, man, for showing love. And God bless you, too, Paja. Pajan? The Pajan? Is that, is that, did I say it correctly? Diamond? Mm. Close your eyes and imagine. Feel the magic. Wealth made the fastest. Inflation's past, they can't pass this. Could be generations changing, shaping patterns. I'm trying. Good, good. Pajan? I said it, man, but what's the plan, you guys? What do we got? What are we doing? We chilling now, man. The day is over. The week we have a even we have the biggest week next week. March is be and beware the Ides of March. We'll see what's really good with that. You know, we're gonna find out, my brother. We're gonna find out, but now we relax. Now we have our Friday Jugar Bingo. It's so we can't play it, dude. Mama's B Day on St. Patty dinner party. Still looking. Let's go, man. You got a mask. You got to tell Chat GPT, send out a thousand of them. Then I tell mama happy birthday. Happy birthday, Miss Lenman. That's amazing. Another day. That's a blessing too, man. Give her a big hug. Say thanks, mama. Do you guys do have any special birthday traditions? You're golfing? Oh. I wish I could make a cool, like, I like the sound of a golf ball hitting. It's just it's a good sound. It's a very pleasing sound. Seven for CPA exam, second of four, baby. Let's go. You do good on the other one then? You heard Drake say Uncle's new album is more important to humanity than clean water. Wow. Although that is a bold claim. You know, like, water is hella important. And you know, like, people don't even have clean water still. It's kind of a trippy concept. You know that? I would say pour one out, but that would like be totally like that, you know, but the general, like metaphorically pour one out for the people without the water. Cause like, you know, we should probably do more to get clean water. You know, like, you know, we send money to Ukraine. We should send money to clean water. You know what I'm saying? But then, then a lot of the, anytime you send money to anything though, the people just clean the money. You know what I'm saying? 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 Anyway, you know what I'm saying? They just, they say, what's up? Oh yeah, here you go. Well, here you go. You get 10% for the people who need it, 90%. We got other work to do, you know, so. Anyways, what else we got, man? What what plans we got? What plans we got for the weekend, Chattadonia? What do we have, baby? <laughs> Showing homes, open house on Sunday. Oh, the ball going in the cup. Mm-hmm, that's good, man. That's good. Chicago for St. Patty's Day. I don't really, like, celebrate St. Patty's Day. I've never, like, traditionally, because I never really had green clothing. I was kind of bullied on St. Patty's Day. Oh, I need to peep the house. I do need to check that. You need, I need to get up on that. See what's good. You're moving my son and his wife. Oh, like, you're helping them move in. And they got you doing that. You're playing with 2K with Josh over the weekend. Let's go. I waited for you. Did you make the big man build? I wanted to make a new build, actually. I had a crazy idea. I had a crazy 2K idea. Mm -hmm. I had a crazy idea. Me either, but I thought, does it get crazy in Chicago? Maybe. Would that be a fun place for spring break? Do they do anything there? I wanted to go somewhere for spring spring break, but then I was like, ah, I don't want to fly anywhere. So I was like, maybe I could just drive to the desert and be one with my people. You know, my desert people out there, I got you. I'm going to hit up some Counter-Strike. That could be fun. Not for spring break. Yeah, big jaw. Big jaw. But remind me of my idea when I when we, when we get to the 2K, I'll tell you. I had a crazy 2K idea. Traded my time for money for now. Well, then put the money to work. And let the money work while you work. And down the road, the money will come back. Say, look what I did. I worked. You need to put the money, employ the money now. 
going to Cabo in April. Ooh, bro, Cabo is like, dude, Cabo is only like two hours away. I didn't know that. It's like a two hour flight. I looked. I was thinking of going to Cabo. Cabo's nice. I don't know how the weather gets like after your good, good timing with April. I think after like certain months, it gets hella weird. But other than that, it's good. Bingo in 2K. Wow. They have a bingo in 2K, actually. They have like a little mini game. Oh, no. Tim sent me one. That one might be able to work. Uh, there's a 2K or 2K. What am I saying? There's bingo in Roblox. So there's like a, yeah, the Roblox one. He sent me it. I don't, I don't know if I still have my login for the Roblo every time. But like literally there's like a bingo in Ro. I, I think I still have Roblox downloaded. It, funny quote I saw. If it's Boeing, I ain't going. Amen. I really be like that though. Yeah, I always forget my password. Verify I'm not a bot. My password wasn't even right. Yeah, I heard CO to step down. Showing houses and doing my first rental for my brother. Let's go, baby. That sounds like a good time. What do you mean first rental? Like, is he... Did he get a rental? Or is he selling it? You dealing with tenants? One, two, three. It might be. I don't know. I have to... I have to reset my Roblox password. Login. Forgot password. I remember what email, because we do this every time. An email in with instructions has been sent. I don't see it. Yeah, but I want to check it out. I wanted to see that one. He wants a rental? Like, to live in? So he wants to, f oh, oh, like he wants to find a house for rent. You get kill, you get commission back. So if it's like one of those buildings and if it's like listed by an agent, they'll give you a commission back on rent. That always blew my mind. You're taking the Series 7 next week. Wish you luck. Good luck, bro. That's exciting. Roblox. I love Roblox has every, Roblox has ghetto everything. And I say ghetto because it's like for real. They got a 2K on Roblox. It's insane. Like you have everything. Any any activity in life you want, you can find it on Roblox. No exaggeration. Like you could, you, there's like, dude, isn't there like a guild of welders? There's like a welding world. You could go welding. It's honestly the trippiest thing ever. Yeah, bro. My password reset, though, on Roblo is not working. I've tried. They're not resetting my email, bro. You play Cod and Madden? Yeah. Literally, I've seen them. I want to play the 2K in Roblo. They got like a 2K in Roblo. I like Larry June. He's not bad. I think there is a ghetto stock market. There's everything on Roblox. There's like role playing games. Remember we tried. There's like there's really aggressive shit though too. There's some very questionable stuff as well. So you should watch out if your kids are playing Roblox. Okay, watch out. This Roblo has some some shit. Oh, I forgot Squid Games. Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm literally I'm waiting for this password. I tried every email. If you did not give you a real email, I gave you a real email. Your daughter plays the Killer Peppa Pig game. That doesn't sound friendly. What do you mean, Killer Peppa Pig? 
It's crazy though, cause I see my nephew. He be playing like games with like killing already, and he's like, "Kill him!" And I'm like, "Oh man, like you know about killing very early." It's insane. So I don't know, but like, yeah, he's they, they figure it out. They figure it out. Your office, your office blocks Roblo now. That's crazy. Oh, that's good though. I'd be concerned if anybody at your office was like, if they were using Roblo like actively. It's like we saw you were on Roblox for two hours too. Like what? Hold on. I'm the IT guy. You have to set it up. Dang. Dang, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you had to, you built the wall. You actually built the wall. Your nephew, well, I don't know, dude. I've never, I've seen my nephew play games, but I've never seen him like, inter does your nephew like interact with people? That's crazy. Honestly, I don't know. Like, I remember when I first started playing Xbox Live, like this was back in the day, man. Like it was like groundbreaking technology to have like a headset and to like talk to people on a game. Oh, dude, that was insanity. I don't think you guys remember that, but I can't believe I was on there talking to people like that's a nutty concept because like I learned bad things. I really did. That's why like I cuss like a sailor now, but like, dude, it's it's crazy. No, it was crazy. I remember the turtle beaches. Yeah, I, we, we, we went over. I had that cool halo one. You disable the chat. Good. Yeah, you don't need to talk to anybody. The fuck? Video games. These kids are aggressive on there. Even in 2K, bro. Fucking annoying in 2K. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know how. I haven't seen. I can't wait, though. Can't wait till my nephew starts getting into, like, online gaming. He still, he likes the Nintendo. He likes the Switch. He likes that, like, tennis game and shit like that. He don't, he don't. I told him. I, I'm trying to get him to play 2K. Is that wrong of me? I think he could handle it. I'm like, fuck it. His four-year-old could make him my player. He knows how basketball works. 